Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi everyone. How's the volumes? I feel like I'm, I am, it says I'm pitching, so I'm, uh, is that the word? I don't know if that's the word. I should know this. I have a degree in this. Give me a second. 1.5. That should be, is that better? Is that, is that, is that spicy? Is that, am I, am I, am I too loud? Am I too quiet? How's this? I've just changed it just by a tidge. But this should be all good. Hi, Kerry. Hi, Punjabi. Hi, Oswald. Hi, Jacob. Thank you, uh, Kerry and Oswald for the hydrate and the pasta check. I hella appreciate it. Hi, Hannah. How are you doing? Isn't it? Oh, so I was. I thought it was Monday. My mistake. Who are you banning? You're banning. Uh, you're banning butt spot. Yeah, go ban ban butt spot and then also ban cats at the end for me. If you could, Jacob. Thanks. You're a star. Yaim to vibe. It is Yaim to vibe, Dagon. Hi, Frankie. How you doing? Also, hi, Nat Raccoon. What's what's all the things? How is everyone doing? How is all the things? Hi, Sam. And is there anyone new that I've just? You are a tad loud. I think just a tad loud. Let's fix that. Advanced properties, one. One decibel, singular decibel, please. Thank you. Is this, how's this? Is this better? This should be all the things. This should be perfect. Welcome. Welcome to uh, the, Not it's not session zero, but it's not like a, like, it's not session one of uh, Jailhouse Rocky. Maybe 0 0.5? It's, it's not that either, I think. Um, this is a behind the scenes stream uh, or a BTS. Um, or a behind the stream. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of something clever. I can't think of anything. I'm sorry, guys. But today's stream, I is a special one because, um, yeah, session minus one because we haven't even got the things all all done. Um, today's stream, I have with me uh, some of the cast. We have Epic Cell, S Man Sam or Sam West, uh, and we have Jacob uh, who plays Rocky. Uh, there with me for a portion of the stream. And we're going to be talking about a few things. Um, we're going to be talking about just, or the first half of the stream, as we, the secret member of BTS. It's how did you know, Hannah? How did you know? Don't tell anyone, okay? Shh. Secrets. Um, but yeah. So like, we're gonna. The first portion is just talking with the, the cast, and we're going to be talking about like the characters, um, the chemistry one shots we ran, and just the the prep that we put on the character side of things. And like, you, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask away. Um, this is kind of like, yeah, we're interviewing them and you're interviewing me and like all the things it's, um, and just learning about the process that like goes into the stream and goes into, or the first half will be the process going into picking the, uh, the players and hello, Sammy. Uh, Sammy is also one of our, uh, remove Sam. She's one of the other cast members, but sadly she is ill tonight or she's, yeah, she's ill. So she, she cannot make it, but please can we have a get well soon to Sammy in chat? That's. I'd be very spicy. Thank you, that never squid for the uh, the luck. You're a star. Hi, how you doing? Um, yeah. So we're gonna we are going to be just talking about the process behind that. Hi, Sam East. How you doing? Also, your Kirby on screen still has my old. Does it? What is you? Let me see. Oh, oh, oh! You're the never squid. Ah, oh, interesting. Interesting. It. I think yeah. It'll take probably take some time to update. I have no clue why it's not. Maybe you might. It could be that like you've got to delete your Kirby like by unfollowing and then refollowing. Maybe. Interesting. Oh, it. I think that's the new uh, the name of your uh, your new AP squad and stuff. Because I did see your art and that's really cute. I I, I liked it. Um. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully, that'll work. Hopefully, we'll see. Um. Alas, I don't think it did. Um. But not sorry. Well, we'll see how. Well, uh, it should, maybe it's just taking sending the information to the server, and they're all fixing their things. Here's hoping. Yeah, here's hoping it'll fix itself. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be talking with the cast about just the that side uh, that side of the stream, and like preparing them for just streaming D and D and playing D and D on on not on this scale because I, I I don't I, I I I tell them not to think of it as like a big thing. Um, um, but yeah, uh, and after that, we're going to, I'm going to be building the overlay, but as I'm building the overlay, I will be talking about the, just the things I have done in regards to pre-production, post-production, 
Biggest D and D show on the internet. I can't believe. Don't don't sign me. It's not. <laughs> but I, I I appreciate that. I think yours is the biggest, isn't it? Right? Yeah, if I remember. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go go. I'm gonna go for a hot second, but we'll be right back. And uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be doing the things. See you guys in a hot sec. Hello, everyone. Once while they can hear you now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, Hi. Thank, thank you, frankly, Nomad, for following. We're doing a little behind the scenes uh, stream. Um, first, I want to introduce my guests um, after complaining the fact that OBS was was tanking just then. Um, first, we'll go with in alphabetical order, Epi. I feel like I shouldn't have pulled Epi first, actually, to be fair. Sam, introduce yourself. <laughs> Jeez, okay, hello, I'm Sam, you know me from the Clunky Squadron, I show up on streams with Kaz all the time, and he does. do Roro on Fridays with, with Kaz, you know, it's all the me, things. It's you know me. Yeah. Uh, Jacob? Uh, what's up, me Jacob, uh, you may know me for as Rocky from the Throne of Top Sands campaign, um, I also run a podcast called Just Very Mundane, uh, and I... Uh, I appear like once every three months and chat. For <laughs> <cast>. <laughs> uh, drop your link here. Um, and Epi, tell us about yourself. Um, hello, I'm Epixel or Epi if you like. Uh, I'm not a streamer, but I'm going to be joining Kaz for Jailhouse Rocky, and I'm super excited to be here. And drop drop your drop your arts. Um, Epi does some amazing. I'll work on it. No worries. If he was the only person who mentioned Jailhouse Rocky, I should, <laughs> I'll be playing Randall in Jailhouse Rocky. Yeah. No, I bet you'll never guess who I'm playing. 
He's, never he's debuting a brand new character. Mm, Rocky 2. <laughs> he's actually playing Michael. <laughs> Michael's gained sentience. Whoa. Dang. Spoiler, Which I don't, man. This is a developing story. <laughs> to be fair, I don't, I don't think it's that big of a spoiler because it did happen uh, on uh, the um, Rockyverse. He gained, sen he gained sentience. Oh. He was a big crystal. I guess, you know. Yeah. Well, that was like and, a dream. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. That's like, oh yeah, the Wicked Witch is real. It happened in the Dorothy's mind, you know? Dude, yeah, like that know. shit. Like, I had so many Wicked Witch of the West nightmares when I was a kid. <laughs> can we actually talk about, uh, <laughs> can we just talk about uh, freaking, why uh, Why am I blanking on what it's called? Oh, what, what is that movie called? <laughs> Dorothy, the Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz. Wow. My pray just froze. Can we just I don't know. That's what, never mind. Can never do mind. you want to talk about Wizard of Oz? We can talk about it. No, Dor <laughs> I, I will. I will. I'll level with you guys. Okay. Um, Thorn of Sands is actually heavily inspired by Wizard of Oz. The entire plot is just is just Wizard of Oz. I mean, a lot of D and D campaigns campaigns probably are. They have to like gather the party, and you have to get your different people. It's like a war forge. There, I mean, two. There's kind of two war forge because two of them are like constructs. There's a furry. There's a tabaxi. <laughs> My favorite. She's D &D a bard. Right? She's a bard, dude. She sings. She and, is like, true. Yo. and doesn't have a heart. So who wants to start a Wizard of Oz campaign? Or courage? My bad. I messed up. <laughs> really... No, she just doesn't have her dog at the time. She's she's happy. Does that, would she be a ranger or a thingy multi-class then? Like ranger or something? Because of the dog. Yeah, like know. ranger bard. Is that how that works? Warlock? A banger. No. Would she be a warlock? <laughs> Don't call her a banger. No, no, she... <laughs> she would be a banger if you, like, said it properly, but... Yeah, the bard scan like, fine familiar? I don't know. Um, but like, would she be a can. Because like, I don't yeah. warlocks get them, and she did get, like, slippers from the... the, the, the um... That's true. Is she a witch, or is she just a fairy? She was a witch of the... East, wasn't she? Yeah, I think, no, I think the east one's the one that gets crushed by the house. Like the north well, and south the, ones are the good got, ones. She, but no, no, but she got the slippers from the the house crush one. Huh? I thought she got him from the other one, the bubble one. No, 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 because she killed she killed that witch with her house, and then she <laughs> physics <laughs> like you just killed like you get killed by the guardians is what happened there. There was a whole movie happening with that evil witch in that town, and then the house just smashes on her. Like that would be the greatest ending to that movie. If there was like a prequel film about her, that is it. it I thought you that was you. You were getting to the joke that was the uh, the prequel. No, I mean there is a prequel movie, but it didn't do that. Mm. Oh, I see. Is it was that Oz the Great and Powerful? That's yeah, Oz. that was James yeah. Franco. Ah, I see. I see. Also, uh, Mila Kunis was green in that movie. I was very pleased. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Sam. Um, by the way, chat. Uh, because I have guests on, uh, you, I, I say this every time. I may have, a, I may miss your uh, questions. It, there is great energy today, Frankie. You are spot on because everyone here is wonderful. Um, I am likely gonna like miss out certain things in chat. Uh, so if you do have any questions or anything you want me to ask uh, the group, uh, use your channel points and redeem uh, the highlight message. So and then. I'll see your message like pop up as like a highlight message, and I'll I'll make sure to let let let, let the group know, or I'll, I'll let myself know because like you might be addressing me. Who knows? I don't know. You know, I don't. Like, don't worry about it. Um, I try to keep up with chat, but if I get into a rant, then ooh. yeah, it'll happen. It'll happen. I, I see you coming. Um, so where are we? So, um, I guess the, the first thing, um, because like we're talking like this, the whole this portion is talking about the players, and um picking the cast and just ask and just, just just talking to them about their characters and stuff um yeah so i mean like you, you made it cats welcome hunter how you doing i'm all for that show. it's it's wild it's fun it's <laughs> you will unchaos hunter. i i don't think you can do that sam i think i think you're you gonna be worse. never be able to unchaos this <laughs> you'll only add to it sam and to be fair, he could hop in if he wanted to. Don't, don't, Sam. you don't, don't, don't. Actually, don't to be, no. To be fair, he is like part of the main cast, so he could. F like, it makes sense, you know. You even well, you said that like the other day too to him. You were like, just jump in. Yeah. Now, you're, now you're giving him conflicting information. Exactly. Yeah, do whatever he wants, Sam. Yeah. If you want to hop in, come in. If you don't want to hop in, don't come in. It's up to you. Um, like, like that. I mean, that also goes up to Georgia and like. Ah, um, oh, shadows today. Shadows, did you say? 
He's gonna be in the shadows today. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Um, so the f the first thing. Um, so yeah. Um, Sam, Epi, uh, and like, and just everyone else. Like we from like this, like the the like yeah, to an extent, Jacob. Um, so yeah, like we <laughs> like they're essentially people that initially like we did like because we didn't stream D &D first. Yeah, obviously. Um, like this was an art stream beforehand. Um, but as a community grew, a community built, we had people wanting me to stream D&D because when you call Kaz a DM, it turns out you got to do a bit of D&D content. I don't know who said that that was the law, but like apparently that's it here. Um, and so like I, we did Throne Top Sands, but like before we did that, we did a few one shots. Um, and in that one shot, we had Sam, um, Jacob, uh, I think it was Sam East, so signed to Sam. Uh, Jacob was one of the players. Um, George was another. And we had a few other people come in and out for a few things. Um... But like, over time, I like having enjoyed uh, spending time with them and playing with them. I thought it'd be nice to bring them on for like a full campaign thing. Um, and so obviously they came in. And as time went on, we had like stuff like the West Marches and just playing with um, other people. I had, um, I'd gained a, and like it's still something like he's grown because like sometimes like you like it's like you the, the, with the picking cast, it's it's a tricky thing. Um, like, because you want to pick someone that's reliable, someone that can, like, make sessions on time and someone that, like, can commit to the whole thing. So, like, you, it also helps having a frame of, like, uh, a, ref a frame of reference for these kind of things, uh, which is why, like, uh, this one is a limited mini uh, campaign of three sessions. Um, and, like, I, when I when I looked for the players, I had to let them know this is going to be three sessions. These are when we're planning the sessions, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so, yeah, like, when you, when, you, when you look at, like, people and, like, you pick them and... You let them know all the situations like it's i had gone in with the west for west marches for example i had um not intentionally done this because like this wasn't meant to have like jealous rocky wasn't gonna be a thing i the way the way it was at least um but like with the, the west marches being a thing that the community does over on the discord which if you want to join you you can um the the um I had like looked at a few people that like I thought would be very fun to play with and that I thought would be fun to bring on for a full campaign. Uh, Epi being one of those uh, and also it helped when they engaged with the law as uh, as much as Epi did. Um, and Sam and AJ having played uh, with them in McClunky Squadron, I, I, I know I could rely on them both so I brought them in. Uh, Jacob, he's been very reliable and he's also, he, he understands a lot of things. So I brought him, so he's, I mean, he's got to be here because it's Rocky, but like when we initially brought him on for the, for Thor on Top Sands, that was my thought process behind it. Molly, thank you so well, much for... <laughs> you, yeah, we're going to get someone to recast <laughs> you. Thank you, Molly, for the resub. You're a star. Thank you. You're, you're, you're being, I hope you're doing well. And, um, we do need to plan that trip. I remembered. Um, where was I? A uh, Georgia, um, she's been at my table since I started playing D&D. So she was always like... I, I I had to I gave her the contract uh, when we like were like very early on into our D and D uh, hobby curry I don't know what you'd call it uh, but I told her she'd be at my table uh, regardless if I ever had a table she would be one of the first people invited and so she was uh <laughs> she was uh she was she was um she came on and like she was also there for the one shot and she enjoyed she she she's she actually helped me build a set, uh, the uh, the world trailer. Um, and Sam as well was the same situation. Them, um, they've helped me build the setting up to what it is. And so it was kind of like obvious picks with how engaged, like I almost say like, um, I, I argue that Sam and Georgia love Shirelia more than I do sometimes because they, they, they put a lot of passion into it. Um, where are we? Jake's here because he has to be exactly. Yes. He, he has to be here. It's like, it's, it's named after him. I've like had two, two whole camp. Well, we had one one shot named after him, and a whole mini series named after him. He's, he's kind of the star when you think about it. Not a, not a. Yeah, there's, there's no escape. <laughs> he, we had to. We. I just need my contract to run out, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I may have forgot to tell you it's a seven year contract. Yeah, no, you've made that very clear. Oh, cool. uh, <laughs> We're gonna milk Rocky dry. Yeah. He's gonna become dust oh, by the no. end of this. <laughs> level twenty play with the new level one character. <laughs> He is stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm so one session away from dreaming in the low fi voice. Fuck it out. <laughs> I remember was it I think one time like Sam like he 
he hopped into VC and didn't realize he had the Law 5 voice mod on. And he just, like, talked with us. And, like, we no one patted an eye. And we well, just I mean, the thing is... Because he is Law 5 boy. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, that is his normal voice. He actually puts a mod to yeah. talk normally. Yeah. To, to take up the little, the little like, the, 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 the techno in his voice. He's just the, the, the low filter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but his normal voice is electronic. Mm. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, sorry, Sam. Didn't mean that. <laughs> yeah, we've exposed him. Uh, JL has Jacob. Yeah. That's actually nice. He's got alliteration. That's nice. I like that. Um, yeah, so the first thing we're gonna, I'm gonna, like, want to ask you guys about is, um, your character choices, or, like, why you Thank wanted you to play the then. character you wanted, uh, for this. Um, Jacob, t uh, why did you want to play Rocky? <laughs> for Jailhouse why Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> why did I, for Jailhouse Rocky, specifically, uh, I just, contracts, man. Um, uh, <laughs> I talk about, like, why I wanted to <laughs> play Rocky in yeah, general. Like, yeah, in general, I think, like, uh, I, I'm at the end myself, uh, and there's a campaign I was running. Uh, my first ever campaign I was running. I created an NPC also named Rocky, uh, who was a Earth Genazi. Uh, he he was his his role was he was a demon hunter, but um, he I liked the character, and all of my players really liked the NPC, and I was like, I want to do more with him. And then when I was asked to play with Kaz, I was like, I gotta. I want to do Rocky again because like I don't really get a chance to play as much as I get to DM. Um, and so I was like, sick, I'll be Rocky again. Cause I want to be a cowboy. Um, and then I was just, I liked the idea of being a samurai as well. <laughs> and so I was like, I'll put those together. Why stop me now? Mm. Um, just because I like swords. Um, I, I don't know. I just the like aesthetic. the aesthetic. I can't explain yeah. it. It just came to me. And I was like, sick. Do I, I, I don't know if we, obviously we spoke about it on stream before. Um, but like, I remember like, cause like we, when we would thinking about the uh, what we wanted to run so i asked them do they want to do like some kind like a, a setting based on like J uh, japan or do they want to do like a wild west kind of uh, campaign everyone was like no we don't want to do wild west one person who like we don't talk to anymore um he thought he thought it was like you couldn't run a wild west campaign which oh i don't want to rant about this right now so we'll we'll get into this another day maybe um but he he said no you can't run a wild west campaign and like out of spite i was like nah fuck you i'm gonna do that mm -hmm. and but then everyone's like no 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 like it, we don't think it'll be that fun i'm like okay fine fine um <laughs> but jacob he <laughs> essentially like the way i say it is like he dressed for both assignments yeah and like <laughs> it didn't matter where he was he was ready you you want to be you want a cowboy i'm a cowboy you want a samurai i'm a samurai i'm both i'm ready yeah. hi fix um, rant, rant, rant. Not, not today. Not, not, not today. <laughs> well, well, maybe during the like building the overlay portion, we'll talk. Well, I've rant about it. Remind me after, okay? I don't. I would only keep uh, keep my guests here for too long, or longer than they want uh, to be. Um, I'll be here all day, <laughs> longer than Cads will be. To be fair, you will be because like, your day will be longer than mine. Yeah, I got. I got like another like ten hours before I would probably head to bed. So. <laughs> I guess technically I could be here for another 10 hours, you could. but I could not control the stream once you go to bed, which could be a fun challenge. I could leave it you know, on. Yeah. Kinda... Yeah. Try like, try to. <laughs> yeah. I just like, all right, guess I'm stuck here. I can't change any <laughs> overlays. I can't do anything. I put it on the starting screen, so you can't even talk to them as well. <laughs> oh, so it's just so, sick. Okay. Uh, reminds me of my streams. Mm. Wait, that, that's stone. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I just it just does. Um, All right. Next, I think Moran, you had an, you came up with Moran before we had an idea for Randall. So I think like if you want to tell us about Moran and why you wanted to play this character. Definitely. So fighter is my favorite class. Um, I mean, wizard is 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 up there, but fighter is my favorite class, absolutely. And I knew that I wanted to play a relatively simple character for this, um, sort of like a simple concept that I could use, because uh, you know our star here is Rocky, right? Mm. <laughs> um, and so I ended up building uh, Moran, who is a a shrine maiden, who's uh, also just this highly trained fighter, and we ended up placing her. Um, in Kasakawa, like the region, and I feel like that that made it very interesting because I I have a personal stake in this area of the world. 
uh, for Jailhouse Rocky. Mm. And I know we spoke because I I wanted uh, um, some thematical stuff with Echo Knight uh, for Moran. Oh yeah. We I know there was some we can't talk about that because it's a secret. Uh, <laughs> but um, there was like also that, and I also like my I. Because like, um, with every like, and like this is me uh, pulling away from Rand for a hot second. Uh, we will come back. It, it, it's relevant. I'll come back. Don't worry. Um, but with um, when like with everyone hitting level three or hitting like this level up moment, I wanted everyone to have like a special scene for all the characters. So Pymera, she had Queen summoning where like there was just this firestorm that happened around the party where all the parties had like a little vision um lo-fi boy he kind of like surged and like just began to become this wild magic barbarian and a bunch of shit just started happening to him and he started breaking up and uh, his flowers grew um more wild um and lonika had her little uh, shaman awakening moment which happened last session which if you haven't seen you should go uh go go watch task go watch go check the vods it's it's it's, it's oh fun. yeah it was great yeah thank you um I, I had a lot of fun with that um and like we we uh, we had uh, spoken behind the scenes about that um, to make sure that those scenes for all their, for all those characters was powerful and it was what they wanted uh, visually and also thematically. And so we had in mind we didn't we wanted Rocky like Rocky would become a level three samurai, but there's kind of like that experience. How does that happen? Um, and so I. I was glad, like, I think, I can't remember if, like, we, like, I was nudging you to pick an Echo Knight fight, or just fighter in general, but I did want, like, the, um, someone to, like, essentially teach Rocky, or guide Rocky, you know, not, like, it didn't even need to be, like, physically teaching him, but, like, just through, like, being around him, he would learn to become a better fighter, and through these experiences, he would, um, essentially have his level up to Samurai. We will be starting him at level 3 Samurai, but, like, we'd have, um, the plan is to have um these moments for rocky being um he he'd learn through um through osmosis it's osmosis the word i think i've just been <laughs> yes. i've been around these very competent fighting characters and he'd learn from them and moran would be the closest in skill level well not skill level the closest to what rocky would want to be in the future with his right, backstory as well when I played my Warforged character in the West Marches, mm. um, it was a, a battle master, but um, I, I made the Echo Knight, and I, I love how we worked on it. And I, when I created her, I'm like, I don't really want to play somebody who's who's hectic. Um, she's mm. a very calm character, um, and I thought that would be sort of interesting to bring into a well, a jailbreak, right? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, yeah. I, An interesting I, I, I... guidance for Rocky. She will be his rock when he needs one most. When does the, when the rock needs a rock, what, who do you call? You call Moran. <laughs> um, Sam and just saw oh, sorry, Sam's on. comment in the in the chat about Taya. Mm, yeah, I, I was about to. Do you want to do you want to talk about that with like, or do you want me to like read that first and then uh, you guys um, you give your on your character's bond or do we want to i think we want to save that don't we if i remember yeah let's save that yeah. but everybody be very excited for Taya and, and sam's character Taya because mm. uh it's awesome it is um so remove sam's uh sammy uh or remove sam she's gonna be playing Taya, um and she also streams at remove sam go check her out she's wonderful um and so she just says, I knew about the overall idea of the side campaign being in jail, so I wanted to play a very capable character who's lived the criminal life. Taya kind of morphed on her own from some original base ideas and is perfect for a new player like me. She is. She's And she's very fun. And I think a lot of what we've like got in mind for this campaign, uh, or this little uh, story arc, and like these little short form stories between all the characters, there's a lot of really cool stuff woven between all of them. Um... Let's move on to you, Sam. Tell us about Randall and why you picked Randall and what what's all the things. Unless I mean, like people, pe people who know me kind of know that I am into uh, like the reptilian races and things like that. So I I was like, well, if I'm gonna appear in a in Throne Top Sands campaign stuff, I'm gonna wanna be a cool lizardy type thing. So I picked Dragonborn, and then when when I heard, when I picked that, pretty much Kaz told me about like the lore 
implications of picking a dragonborn in this setting and i don't know if you want to go into that per i'll se? go into a bit i think like with your specific situation it's more unique but like so like when me when i was talking to sam about um dragonborn in shrey leo uh most dragonborn aren't traditionally from um um from um shrey leo they're from what i would consider my uh my world or this world's equivalent of the mediterranean and greece because a lot of the dragonborn's origin point is inspired by alexander the great's conquest and um i essentially had this idea where like these dragons who or these people wore armor of dragon uh bronze uh bronze dragons uh, were cursed and the armor melded to their skin and they ascend they were the first uh central dragonborns and secrets is like where i'm not going to go into that but then like as they uh, wandered the world some of these dragons would evolve and like the ones that like do live in trailer would uh, emulate long dragons which are like the uh, asian style uh, of dragons or like worms and nagas um depending on uh, the the various parts of the world and randall being from halagis which is the equivalent of england or the united kingdom and that kind of part of the world he um He's more Western influ influenced, uh, but then there's also a lot of really cool. Um, so I, I should pull up the art of the characters. Actually, I'm very sorry. Um, well, uh, and, and like Sammy was saying, like with since the campaign idea was sort of going to be in jail, I knew that I wanted Randall to have a little bit of a shady history, right? So I picked sort of the piratey kind of thing. And uh, Randall's kind of a character in general who you can never really know a hundred percent what's going on, like with what he's presenting you, because he's I mean, he's a rogue mastermind. I picked Rogue because I've also never really played that, and I wanted to play a character who isn't as like isn't a physical presence as much as he is more of like a mental and sneaky presence in a way, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, my big thing is I always play like the big beefcake character, so I was like, let's let's try a, a more a more RP focused character in a sense. I'm just pulling up. Well, the stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing how you use those those mastermind class abilities. Mm. Ooh, yeah, me too. I'm stressed about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! Ready, ready for because like yeah, ready to see the dumbest player become <laughs> the mastermind of the party. It'll be insane. <laughs> <laughs> My ideas will be like, what is he talking about? Mm. Um, yeah, Miranda and her giant oh, shadow yeah. Yeah. The screen right now. <laughs> this is showing all the art. So yeah, that's Moran. That's uh, Randall there. I'm gonna put Rocky and Taya, and then also Kana. Um, and AJ is the other character, but he uh, sadly couldn't make it because he's got work today. Um, but he's basically playing essentially a mus like a muscled character who's who worked worked for the mafia at one point in his um in his life, but uh, he had to take the fall uh, for something. And while taking the fall, he would get arrested and sent to Kasakawa. And when sent to Kasakao, he would get these, uh, he'd, he'd get a, a very interesting punishment, which uh, led to his arms being um, turned to gold. Uh, so that's why he's, he's got these, the I do, he's got these giant mounds of gold on his fists, uh, which makes it impossible for him to hold things, which is why on the poster he's struggling to hold his, his placard. I don't know, what, what do you call those? Is, is that a placard? Is that the word? I assume that's the word. I think so. Oh um, yeah, it's something like that. It's a word. Um, where is Rocky? There you are. Oh no, I wanted Taya for this one. Sorry, my mistake. Um, but yeah, so we talk about just the characters there. Um, the next thing I wanted to go over or discuss was the uh, the chemistry one shots and so like to those that like this is something I like. I don't know if any other streamers do this. But I wanted to like make sure everyone as players was comfortable with each other and like they their play styles all like matched and everyone just as like people they gelled well with each other. So I would basically refer to them as a chemistry one shot and I would bring in the people I wanted to play as characters. And my idea was these would um, if they didn't get on well, I would like swap them out immediately um, and then get someone else to replace or not replace them, but get someone else to be the next uh, to be. To test to see if they'd be uh, a better shot for this campaign. Well, um, Kaz, we all hate each other, so yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's 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 a scary thing. I and mean, I've been fighting. 
this whole time. Mm. So. Yeah, have you been looking at chat? Me and him are like <laughs> literally going at it. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, and so like, <laughs> there was like, we wanted to do that. Um, I mean, our friend was chemistry one shots and like the idea was it was just a very basic um, little, just like one shot. That wasn't even like a one shot. It was just like, just to see how like they use their skills uh, during combat. And like when I um to make and to make sure they like were happy with the character they picked and like comfortable with all the things, and so like we did those, um and so it was like very yeah it was very simple uh, stories, um and I wanted like the players to like just get into characters and like RP their characters and like feel what was confident. How did you guys find those uh those chemistry one shots and like the just like, the experience of, like running being running through those. That's well, I think it's always like a one? really good. Go ahead. It's always a really good idea in general for in D and D to do those kind of things, but like even more so when you're doing like a stream campaign. Uh, so I I liked it a lot. I found it really helpful, especially as someone who's like newish to the rogue mastermind to kind of like learn your abilities. Uh, but then to see how everyone else is playing their characters and see how you're going to be doing that in general is like extremely helpful, especially when you're going to be in a stream campaign. So. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was going thoughts. to say that the, the first one was good for practicing our characters' abilities, but I felt like the second uh, chemistry one shot is where we all like really started having fun and joking around mm -hmm. with each other. And the second one is what sold me on on this being great, and it's been great since. I'm glad. Like, yeah, um, I don't think we've spoke about the the actual one shots. Uh, the first one was like they had to like go through a vault and just like. Um, it like it was just me just seeing how they would s went about teamwork and then solving few very pu uh, s simple rudimentary puzzles and like um, and then just a bit of combat um, and then the second one which was uh, which in hindsight it, it was really fun and like I, I I loved just seeing how you guys all handled that situation. Um, the second one was where they were flying an airship. And they had to control like all like the various mechanics of it, making sure like that it was flying, and that it was working, and like they were getting hunted by some pirates. And, um, I wanted it to be a very like puzzly like mechanicy thing, where they did a bunch of like um cool like maneuvers as they were flying, but also do a bit of uh, airship combat. Um, but tell me how you guys uh, went about that uh, one shot. I. <laughs> How did you guys solve that puzzle and just avoid all the combat, essentially? <laughs> well, um, we let well, the mastermind be the mastermind. I threw water onto <laughs> electronics. I don't know if that ends up being the greatest <laughs> idea. In hindsight, like he said it was getting hot. I was like, cool it down with water. <laughs> like, I think that'll work. Yeah, I mean, it worked, though. You know? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just was like, let's just, I look, and the whole time in that session also, Kaz was hinting towards there being some like lightning thing coming from like the top of the spire. My ass thought that that was some genie Robin Williams guy that was helping us out. That was an evil Bahir apparently. Yeah, I, so I wanted, I wanted the pirates to fight you. Uh, and like, there'd be like them boarding you or you boarding them. But then I also wanted you guys to land onto the spire and fight a Bahir at the end of that. Um, but instead, mastermind for you guys, mastermind. I thought it was a good guy. Wait, can we play <laughs> that? That sounds really fun. <laughs> you guys did. You guys completely you neg you avoided all of it. Um, I would have flown whoa. us up to that maybe, goddamn maybe, here and been like, "Hey, genie, how you doing? Can we talk?" Maybe, uh, like, maybe the third one breath. shot. The, uh, tomorrow's one shot. Maybe we'll do that. Makes me makes good. me not having to make a map. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We saved you a bunch of work. I was going to say, all my stress has been alleviated just now. Thank you. That's not true, though. <laughs> no, no, a lot of it has, like, literally just disappeared. That's actually, like, made it made life a lot easier. Um, by the way, if you are enjoying the art, these are the characters that are appearing in the um, the uh, the mini campaign. And if you want to go check them out, go and learn a bit about the characters, especially on Instagram. If you, like, I've, there's a little bio for all the characters there as well. Um, go, check, go check out my other art if you enjoy it. If you want to, you don't need to. If you don't want to, um, no. But Kaz's art is a ten out of ten, so you should don't you should check it out. You bastard. 
<laughs> Watch him blush on screen. I'd say even 11 out of 10, to be honest. Mm. Fucking fuff stay right there. <laughs> we, yeah. all, we all love Kaz's art. Go check it out. I'm ending the stream. When I, sorry, guys. I'm behind the stream. <laughs> that was a good one. Bye, everyone. All right. Bye. See you. Okay. Um, I did actually go to the end card, but I'm going to put us back. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so like, and yeah, like the, uh, I'm going to say yeah a lot or like, um, like, um, the, the, what's it called? The, um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, but yeah, the chemistry one shots. Yeah. So like if you stream D and D or like you want to start streaming D and like you're anxious about the players, I think I would highly recommend doing this. Cause I feel like it what not only does alleviate your stress as the producer and the dm for this as it's it made me feel a lot more confident i did this even with the task group i am um, like even though we did the one shots initially i did a few chemistry one shots with them to make sure they were confident with their class they enjoyed their class and they enjoyed playing with each other and um but then also for the player side i feel like i, I assume it alleviates a lot of your stress and like the worry of like are you gonna enjoy this character are you having fun with this idea and are you even enjoying both my DMing style and your play style, and like everyone else's play styles? Um, oh, it definitely took some pressure off. Okay. Yeah, I feel a lot more confident in my choices and stuff like that after those, uh, mm. after those like session zeros. So, hell yeah. Hey. Um, yeah, I mean, I have the luxury of been playing Rocky for a bit. So. Yeah, really. <laughs> but they did help me kind of understand how Rocky would be behave with uh, mm. these new people, you know, and kind of like, I don't know. Kind Again, of. Again, I should Rocky... also say that like I immediately sent in Rocky on one of. I think my first action that I actually did in one of these chemistry one shots was to send Rocky into a fight with advantage, but he got his like one not one punch, but like I I always forget that you're lower level than us right away. Yeah, so. everyone else is level five. But Rocky he... is level three. No, he was level two at the time. Actually, that was even worse. Go uh, get him, Rocky! Yeah. Fucking punched by the thing and just throw him back like, oh, never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, like, Rocky, go. Oh, no, Rocky, no. <laughs> Why are you called Rocky? Rocky, Should do not go. What is yeah, this? Pebble mm. right now. Pebble. <laughs> little, little, little pep rock. Um, One day he'll be bolder. Dude. That was actually really good. You have, you have a like, full it evolution. Hurts, but it's good. <laughs> Rocky's yeah. the bogey bot. Middle <laughs> stage right now. Pebble, Rocky, That's, and oh. bolder. Uh, next question was about well not mine but Frankie's question was about the character design but with mentioning that like um, I talking about Rocky is actually interesting because like, that's something I think we could talk about because I like we so Jacob wanted to have a complete re not redesign of Rocky but like a different aesthetical change um, was there anything that inspired like that specific look for you um, I guess it's kind of I wanted to try new tropes. I don't know specifically. I mean, he doesn't have his cowboy hat anymore, so I figured I wanted his hair to be kind of out and about a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And I thought you know, hand bun would be fascinating. Um, fascinating. Uh, his, his outfit itself is just kind of like, you know, a mix of what he can wear in prison and kind of... Mm. It's... Because, uh, like, yeah. like, with that's uh that one like i'll get into point with everyone because everyone else is, has a similar theme with a character costume but like and like with rocky we spoke about erosion and the idea of like when uh Genasi are put under immense stress or like just changes they will change in shape and form and that's that explains why rocky looks facially very different um with like his beard for example i, I don't remember it looking i don't think he had the side ones did he on the original design did he uh no it was just pretty much a mustache oh yeah it was just mustache on the in the beard um yeah, or the goatee, yeah. Mm. but um with everyone else like i basically told all the players here's an, a the prison outfit look it was just like the shirt um and uh, the trousers and the shoes um and i sent it to them and essentially like they basically like played with that like I, the way i looked at it was like um if anyone watches jojo stone ocean um in in part six they all like they they're in a prison and like they all like have their own looks for the the uniform but they all still like it's still the same core concept 
and so i wanted them to like kind of approach in the same way where like they here's a, a, a design make it like make this morans make this kanos make this uh rockies make this tayas make this uh, randalls and it also rocky had like this um uh, this um harry which is a um a jacket like that he got from i one the high priestess from um tahashi temple i think from uh in session four or five of tas and so and that's like being a could become a part of his outfit as well um moran uh, tell us about you, what you, your your choice in the character design oh thank you for the follow hey dude six nine six nine six nine hey nice nice right um so i was either going to make because kaz has two homebrew races right the Shiyun Elf and the Kieran Born Tiefling, and I knew that I wanted to play one of those two because I wanted to use uh, Kaz's material when I played. Um, so I ended up landing on the Kieran Born Tiefling because it was very neat. So you've got sort of like a Tiefling with antlers and, and various traits, and I enjoyed doing that. And then after that, it was it was pretty much just this very simple. Um, shrine maiden based look because i love the the simplicity of their outfits mm. you know with just like the red hakama and the white kusode with the stitching on the sleeves mm -hmm. um i just thought that was neat and then i read through the lore um and there's some significance in the shirei Lyo setting of like the four winged cranes the leiko and spider lilies so i ended up putting those on her sort of jacket her sort of coat um, because I felt like that would be neat. You know, I, and I think like the, the idea of like having like a wardrobe that is changing. So like, I think, cause I remember like, this is more so in me when I was drawing the, uh, I was like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw the four winged cranes, uh, the Laco on this. <laughs> um, but then me and Epi were talking about like, what if she just had like a, um, the wardrobe changes and like those would change as she got i think and i like the because like that like makes it feel more lived in and like there's more um more to yeah, just she's, time's passing she's from a snowy place hmm. she's probably got different different coats <laughs> hmm. oh fucking hell sam how the genasis change under stress from mat mature over time urchinasis get urchinasis get erosion water genasis evaporation air genasis cyclo cyclogenesis what the fuck's that and fire genasi just combust. Beautiful sound. What do, what does what's I like? I like all of them except air genasi because that one. Yeah, I just what's that don't mean? Know what the hell that even yeah, is. what's it mean? Um, other than that, great list. Yeah, tell us about Randall. Uh, Sam Randall's design. Oh, and why you wanted why you wanted these aesthetics? Uh, I well recently we read. I mean, Fizzbands just came out, so Gem Dragonborns had just come out, so. Mm -hmm. I was like, hell yeah, like, I think aesthetically, a really cool thing would be to have, like, chips in in a gem dragonborn. Like, you might notice on his arms, there's parts that are, like, literally stripped off. Like, that is the underneath of his gems. So it's, like, going into, like, the blue crystal underneathness that looks really mm. cool. Uh, I thought that was a, a really cool idea. And in general, like, with the, the sleekness and stuff of the rogue that I was going for, I, I went off of, uh, why can't I never remember his name? Seath the Scaleless from yeah dark souls. yeah that one yeah the first one yeah first dark mm. souls uh his like general like body shape and neck longness and just how lanky and tall he is like i I, re I really thought it would look cool in this character design to go with that idea and just in general like the clothing and stuff like to accentuate that he's from a different place i wanted to give him like those poofy shakespearean pants uh <laughs> that are that are so popular in all those like pictures back in the day so just to differentiate and make make him pop as a different character from a totally different place, so. Mm. Where are we? And oh. he does. Thank you. Hiya, Carlos. Um, I'm just going to quickly sideline for a hot second. Um, we're going to talk about this later, but like we've got some cool sponsors. Not for um, which will be uh, will be I'll be showing some of them today. Um, but Carlos is one of our sponsors. Um, UK uh, Dice Roll UK. Um. And so uh, I haven't sorted out the commands for it just yet, but like, thanks for stopping by, Carlos. I'm glad you enjoy the designs. Um, sorry, continue. Sorry. Uh, was that, was that I, mean, I, I can't remember if there was any more. I feel like I had wrapped up most. Okay, no worries. I feel uh, like I cut you off enough. I also feel like you came to an end, but I wasn't sure because my brain. Big, fired. big poofy pirate hats. I like. Mm. There we go. There's another I, cool thing. 
I I was thinking about this actually when like um I was working on the um the little avatars for the uh chat uh, or for you your characters when like they're in game. And I was like, hmm, he has, like, why did he want this hat? What? Because <laughs> I, I just, because the whole thing too with Randall, like I said earlier, is that like he's, he's got like this outward, like poofy persona, but like you don't really know what's going on inside. Like it's kind of a, like a big, mm. it's a facade metaphor. almost, right? Like it's like, it's like this guy looks cra like crazy, but you don't know what's really going on inside. Hmm. Um. If Sammy, you're there, feel free to um, feel free to like if you had anything you want to say regarding the the, the designs uh, for Taya, please please do share. Um, with Kano, I there like I, I don't know what AJ would say, um, but we when when we designed Kano, we had the idea of like he's just a big burly half orc tiefling, so he's a mix of both uh, tieflings, uh, Shirley on tieflings and uh, orcs. Um, was it orcs? Yeah, half orc. Yeah, sorry, and my addition to the design i think like he wanted also like the like the whole to show his chest so the way he wears his prison outfit is he ties the shirt uh to his um to his waist but then my addition was the the big the big gold uh the gold fists and that was really that was fun for me because like um the relevance of of his gold fists is not like the 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 the, the reason for him it's 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 sad. It's 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 a shame, but just like the idea, like where like we actually had this affect his character, so he can't hold anything. I think like we give him like minus ten to slight a hand, uh, or so we gave him something. Let me check what we gave him. Uh, but basically, he can't he like literally cannot hold anything in his hands. But like, um, what's the word? We just we just, we decided to give him. Um, we took away the his yeah. Minus seven. Oh no, it wouldn't be minus seven because it's got dex. Well. So yeah, it was minus ten, but he has plus three from dex. Um, so yeah, we gave him the uh, the inability to hold things, but with because like it, like that's his character like is designed to not hold things, but it's also nice to be able to display that through the um, the personification of the character. So it's like in the poster art, for example, where he's unable to hold his placard. Um, Taya, uh, Sammy wanted to say you wanted Taya to flow with the shadows, and she does. Her, yeah, uh, her design was. I, 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 I think I was, I was talking to her about it with like. I, I spoke about this before with like uh, character design. When you like the reason I wanted uh, to pick the gray uniforms is because gray makes every color pop. It's design. That's like its whole in color theory. That's what it does. Um. So like when uh, designing this outfit, it was. I wanted to basically enhance everyone else's colors. Uh, that they wanted uh, to put, uh, uh, represent their characters, but then it was interesting. Katea was a very like was a very monotone and very grey and black in her design, so it's very fun to play with the various shades. And her colors, I think, I played a bit more with and moved them around to make them a bit more different for that. But I think like she was also the first character I colored, so I carry that over to the other ones as well. Interesting, that's very smart for the grey. What can I say, Sam? I'm just a genius. <laughs> um where are we the next thing i don't know if i'm trying to think was there anything else i wanted to say regarding you guys with your character any chat you got any questions for their designs um i do hey, there was, sorry go on. there was a question earlier that hunter asked in general i know there was uh, in the uh to have the side story i know yeah. there's that one um prison gang got drift they do <laughs> <laughs> yeah like um i'm glad i was watching stone ocean at the time because like that definitely did like inspire that like idea from the uniform because i don't think i if i wasn't watching that i wouldn't have like thought about the idea of like having the uniforms be like representative of your characters as they are and like because like, it's like they're very everyone is very distinct but like you guys also like made your characters very, like you kept them in the themes. The prison did confiscate their weapons, so like that is uh, so the weapons they're holding uh, that like are styled for them uh, may not uh, be the actual weapons they have in behind the bars. Um, the question a hunter did ask was, uh, what inspired um, us to have the side campaign? Um, so this actually goes uh, back to task session seven or eight. 
uh, where uh, Jacob needed to, to go on a hiatus. Um, what, what is, yes. is what, Sam? What is it? Oh, behind the bars. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. shit. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, nice that's one. That's pretty good. That's very dope. Oh, in hindsight, yeah. Yeah. Bastard. Change it right now. Change it right now. <laughs> I, I just changed the B BTR. I mean BTS, um, just so that anyone sees who we're building a DD stream. Um But yeah, for, for us we know it's behind the bars. Um dang, I wish I saw that Lectivize sooner, but I, I should have caught that. Um so what inspired uh, us to have the side side campaign? So yeah, it was um Jacob needed to go on hiatus because of his um because of real life just like becoming a bit too uh busy at the time. And so yeah. Me and yeah, me and Jacob like we just uh, we 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 had a little meeting, um, and we we spoke about like what c we could do to basically take Jacob away, and I personally thought it would be very interesting law wise, uh, the like and like the the relevance of like J uh, Rocky being an Earth Genasi in Hyde Eo, and also not dressed as someone who is from Shreleo, it would be a very interesting, um. It would be a very interesting thing. Yeah, to be fair, Hunter, it, like in with the like the relevance to the story, because of how like much because it, it does come back, if that makes sense. It ain't like that big of a spoiler, because it is kind of just like, like a moment happens and like there is like like it isn't spoiling the actual like events like that like perspire around it, but more so just the actual like thing that happened. Um, and so yeah, like the you can't like the reasoning behind like the uh, like what like the meanings behind uh, Rocky being arrested would like represent in the law um but at the same time it's a very clean way i thought that we could get uh, Jake, uh to like be able to step out of the campaign um and then and then like um and so he was away see away for most of the uh second half of the uh the first year of tas um but I, I just in general appreciate how dynamic your ability to like shift your narrative in D and D in general for like these stream things is for that. Like, cause normally you might go on like a hiatus in general for something like that, but instead you decided to keep going with it and then make a cool side expansion story off of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Thank you for the follow, Carlos. But yeah, no, I I, I appreciate that because like, yeah, it it was. At the moment, I think I was like, I, I didn't know what to do. And especially with a lot of the behind the scenes stuff um, that happened around that time as well. There is like, it's, it does become very shaky sometimes when it's the, and like, this is why scheduling is so important with stuff like this. I know with Jacob's situation, it was very um, unfortunate that like, it, like just life had to happen that way. And it was the same with Beth, like having to step out of the game. Um, both of them, like, just like life just kind of like happens. Um, but then in other cases, it's like sometimes people just aren't very good with committing. And so it's kind of just like, thank you, Carlos, for the prime sub, you're, you're, you're being, thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> like, yeah, some people like just like can't commit and like, um, and so, and like, that's why like you, you kind of like let them know. And like, that's why like with this mini campaign, I was like trying to be as very, clear and have everything planned out to the t regarding um regarding the um the scheduling so that, like we didn't have to like stress about scheduling and make sure everyone was there and like everyone shined for the uh the moments that we had them uh there for and so yeah and like and then like um so we had no uh no rocky for like a lot of the early part of the campaign or the second half of the campaign uh from the first year um, but then we brought him back for a Christmas one shot, which is in canon, which is a canon thing, and not canon the character, canon as in it's relevant to the plot. It's um, it's actually a little bit of a prequel to Jailhouse Rocky in a very slight way, um, and it's a very fun little level uh, twenty one shot um, Christmas campaign that was also a celebration of the community, which you can uh, find if you uh, it's in the task playlist if you uh, want to have a watch of that. It's a, it's, it's, it's a grand time. Um, you can go check it out. I don't know if I already said hello, Georgia, but hello. Um, and like, and yeah, 
um and then we and then like it was it was nice to bring him back on for that one thing because like we knew we still didn't have him for like the next half of the year and we didn't and like but like now we're finally able to get our boy back and i'm very excited to bring him back back into everything um and so like that was the reason we had to do this that was a, like we could have had it be a thing where like it just he, he shows up um but i thought it'd be very fun to have it be a little side story and also a great way to bring on more guests because i did want to have some guest players for um tas again but we just had to like there wasn't like any space for guests and this was the perfect spot and the west marches was going so i knew who i like i had like notes of who i wanted to have dan i also and like who like could commit to this and then like i reached out to everyone i wanted and like everyone i wanted said yes which is very cool um yeah it's just a really cool way like you said too where like it's a really good way to explore different aspects of the world that you're building mm -hmm. where uh instead of just having rocky show up we now get to see an interesting uh insight into how like the prison system works and like that whole lifestyle so i, th mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. inspired. i think it's really cool to see in a campaign like yeah this. I, they probably do some like things in critical role so feel feel hype like <laughs> and you're now, able to emulate you know, a fucking million dollar thing <laughs> like let's just say that you know <laughs> and now jacob whenever you want to reference this part of rocky's backstory and you know it will come up certainly um you'll be able to you know have it on video yeah <laughs> yeah exactly it'll and be like, referenceable yeah it's it's fun as well because like we when we were this is like and like when we were planning tasks uh, at the beginning I was speaking to the Grud cast about the idea of like having pre pre backstory one shots, where we explored like the characters growing up or like little experiences, like Lo Nico at the t uh, at her temple when she was a kid with Lacera, or like um, um, like Rocky when he was in uh in uh, Ronsluck, and just like and and just like little things like that, and that would like in, like that was like a very fun idea. But then also like having like these like level one one shots, is it going to be fun? Kind of thing is the question I had in mind. Uh, so it's not and so I tabled that concept. But it's nice to explore this and explore an aspect of Shreyleo that I don't even didn't expect to go to. I think it'd be a cool idea to remove any kind of stream thing from that and do it more as like a campaign diary type mm -hmm. thing where you do the event exactly and you do you do the thing with the person and then just in general like jot it down of what happened throughout the entire thing and then put it in that way mm. mom shot but being the parents Ooh, <laughs> i do want to i do want to stream the mom, mom shot that's it's one it's i don't know oh, you i don't think you were part of the community at the time uh jacob i don't think you even you 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 had a chance to play in it because you're one of the busiest people i've ever known um no what is it it's a one shot where everyone is a mom and they're retired adventurers and their children have been kidnapped all their pets have been kidnapped and they had to like just go and um rescue their children and i'm not going to spoil that the sounds whole harrowing it sounds high stakes it is but it's also very fun and it was very it's just very, like it's very fun when you're playing a tabaxi who just jumps up on a table and kicks something off of it randomly for like no reason. He Sam was Sam was very much just playing that cat energy and like my fucking oh that oh it was so good like my I almost do want to spoil it I almost don't do want don't, to spoil don't 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 oh. like I want I do want to like I think I was uh, I was talking to Shanks about running it. I, I, I do want to I do want to run it with them someday because like um one of my fav my one of my key memories as a D&D stream or not D&D stream as just someone who plays D&D is just the image in my head of Sam AJ and like their group of D&D their D&D group at 4 a.m. all pretending to be middle-aged women mums as like I'm just there watching this happen and like everyone's got their cam ons and they're all like they're they are just are they? They're basically playing their own moms, and it was hilarious. Cause like I know AJ, for example, like he was saying he was emulating his mom, and I think Ian was saying he was as well. And just like how everyone just was just playing their characters was beautiful and hilarious. And I'm like, this is D and D. This is this is why I love this game so much. Cause they were just, oh, it was just insane. It's beautiful core memory. Um, a couple of dudes being moms. Yeah. 
That's <laughs> that's how it is. And I'll I'll have to run it for you one day, Epi. I think it'll it'll be it'll be grand. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. We I know that when I was Sorry. starting the the campaign that I play in now, we did a bunch of uh, I, I call them pre sessions where I basically went grocery shopping. Mm. <laughs> that was like the extent of no, but I got to walk around the setting. Oh. And I think um, doing those pre campaign sessions or even like this for Rocky is so good for the development of a character. It's it's I highly recommend it to anyone. That actually sounds really fun. It was. Sa it was Sammy, great. Sammy, I'm gonna have to ask you to not kind of put that in the chat ever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. Sammy. I, just, I don't know why. Your I wish like is my, my command. My brain, I don't know what it is. When that was popped up <laughs> in the chat, my brain immediately like went over to chat to see that. I don't know. Lonico doing a candy heist would be crap. Her Kiko and like Hero you would like I feel like Hero you would be there. That would be really fucking fun. Fucking candy simulator. Not candy simulator, candy heist. Fucking isotope candy heist. Like it's like water deep dragon no. heist, but like it's not. Oh my god, and you're stealing it from Twiz Lars's candy factory. Cause he oh it's there! It is there as well. It is there. You guys, good luck trying to steal Twiz Lars's candy. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a gumball granny that just gets you stuck to the wall because it's just too sticky. Exactly. <laughs> the worst. I could get behind that too as well, Trojo, to be fair. Um, We may... like I. It was an idea, because I, I won't lie. I was thinking, huh, Rocky's getting a lot of special treatment right now. But it's because Jacob doesn't get to play with us this often. We're trying to, we're trying to make up for all that time that's been missed out. But yeah, yeah, I think exactly. It, Jacob is the mm. gem that you gotta appreciate. I see what you did there, cause cause it's cause it's nurture nice. He's got like a gem on his forehead. Smart. Ah, That's see, smart. I didn't even. Yeah, see, see, mastermind, nice, unintentional, unintentional masterminds. Mm. But yeah, no, it'd be fun to like do little like mini side stories with one, um, with everyone else's characters. Cause like I, it would I, uh, it'd have to. It, this would have to be like a year, like next year. I cannot like. Oh my god. The stress. Of, <laughs> I'll get into the stress of planning this out very soon, on the second half. Um, but the uh, again, chat. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask the cast, uh, fire away. Um, if I do miss it, just highlight it. Uh, send us a highlighted message because uh, I will see you that way. Um, but like, I only have like one more question. This one was another question suggested by Hunter. Was um, what excites you all about uh, this side quest or side campaign? Yeah. Did you say um, T? I said yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm most excited. excited the tea. <laughs> I am excited about the T, honestly. There's uh, gonna be a lot. No, I'm excited just to get back into the indie. I'm excited to like get back into playing, get back into Rocky. Uh that's like, you know. It's 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 nice and I'm excited to just kind of stretch my Rocky legs and my Rocky hands. <laughs> and, like, oh my god. You know. Oh you you gem, you oh you beautiful bastard you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. It's, it'll just be nice. Um, that's what I'm most excited about. And also, I always enjoy playing with new people. Like, I mean, I have not ever, besides our chemistry workshops, I haven't played with anybody that I will be playing with, uh, for the, for the jailhouse Rocky. Um, so that's nice. Um, and it, it's just, I don't know. I like it. Mm. That's it. That's it. Um, yeah so um any other, any last questions anything you guys want to say anything any questions you guys have for each other or me <laughs> feel free to ask mm, i just wanted to say that i'm stoked to see the the character interactions um it's, it's only three sessions right but a lot mm -hmm. is going to happen a lot is, pretty yeah. jam-packed so i'm very excited for that i'm very excited to see how we're going to get out of jail <laughs> <laughs> We we have, uh, we have to, to answer your question, planned. Georgia. To, to answer your question, Georgia, uh, you said I could get behind Milf Simulator. Yeah, <laughs> just think on that for a second. Uh, Georgia, by the way, she says she loves your character, um, Epi. Georgia, you are fantastic. We need to play together sometime. This uh, Hunter, I'll show you my. my uh, yeah, you said what you said, Georgia. Goddamn. Uh, <laughs> Hunter, this is my favorite thing about Kaz. I'll show you right now. Ready? And where is it? Where is it? Did you take it off? Oh no, there it is. Well, what have I done? What What are you doing? Don't you? I don't. I th I feel like I know what you're gonna do, and I don't want you to do it. 
What are you going to do? It it's done. Have you put it in the Discord? What have you done? No, it's in the chat. It's in the chat. You got to do it. It's I, I redeemed something. Oh, Bastard. I can't Show fucking believe. Us. How do you want it? Give it to me. How do you want it? Because <laughs> Even Paris in the background. <laughs> How did you even know? I didn't hear it. What did she say? She said, she just said, reveal the hair. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You want, you want it down How like this? How's this? That? Actually, here's you talking about my hair all the time. I hear you talk about it all the time. Thank you, by the way, Sam. Really... You do have very good hair. Look I, at that I, hair, I really Hunter. I appreciate it. It's, it's... it's... My favorite thing about Kaz, though, like, legitimately in... Uh, not, like, legitimately, but, like, I mean, he, he's a good friend and he's a great DM. Like, he, he's a all, all in all a great guy. Somewhere. I look forward to every morning. Oh, actually, I should read you guys some Instagrams. Don't, no, don't, please. I will mute you. I will mute you. I won't do it. I won't do it on stream. Fucking asshole, man. I love this I, guy, though. He's great. What I hate is everyone that, like, I... Everyone, essentially, I talk to. I feel like they, like... Like, I mean, like... I think... I got better at this as time went on. But, like, when... Especially when I was get, uh, early on. Like, like with Sam, you, uh, Jacob, Shanks, even... Uh, I'm trying to remember who else was like really. I think probably, nah, I think I think maybe even like done, almost even like early on in our friendships. Like the first few messages I'd send, like almost incriminating, you could say, with like if like you. It's it, it's so loving. It's I know so exactly. Loving. It's like, I just I just enjoy, I still love hanging out with you. And I loved hanging out with you then too. We were, were we were so close so fast. Like that's what I appreciate it. Hmm. It's been a beautiful friendship, but yeah, he's that's my favorite thing about Kaz. He's just a great guy. You're you're too, you're too kind. Um, yeah, bro. I gotta second that. Kaz is definitely one of the most like generous people I've run across on the internet. That just is like a true. super courteous okay. guy. Can't believe this. He's always <laughs> he's just always just kind of looking out for everybody else, you know, like just just yeah. Just... I don't know how people where you I never stay can. in these Discord things. Like I, like I meet some people and then I leave, and then it's like I've been in this one for months. Yeah, I made mean, like you know y'all are like the first people I've actually like met on the internet, <laughs> strictly from the internet that I've like consistently talked to. Um, hmm. And it's been it's been nice, you know. I also don't yeah. feel like y'all are secretly like creeps or you know. Gonna like murder oh, me I've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> oh, well, you're, you're not, it's not a secret. It's I really like stuff. feet. <laughs> I, I have to tell you that now. I'm sorry. Hmm. I actually, yeah. I shouldn't say that. Liking feet doesn't make you a creep. If anyone in chat likes feet, you're fine. <laughs> I was like, what a, what a, like, never buy it. Uh, <laughs> What I will say, uh, Squid, uh, I do tell my friends I love them, and I love I love all of these people with all my heart. Um, everyone, yeah, if, like, if you want a Discord that has like a very loving community, for sure, join join the, the vibe in, yeah. Oh, uh, you're bastard, man! Like, I, like I feel inclined to like plug the Discord, but like I feel bad now because like I, you gotta. <laughs> I said it. You gotta. Yeah, they That's are they I'm are trying to make me red, plugging. and I already am. Like I I feel the heat coming off my face right now. I feel the heat coming off of me. Yeah, no, I did. I did see that one, Sam. Um, how do I balance the combat with the party? So I want to ask how you guys like because you guys haven't had much of fucking elf Georgia smooch. <laughs> that's that's a lot of channel points. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. You guys hydrate if you want to hydrate. Uh, thank you. For, uh, I will fight the heat. The hair, to be fair, doesn't help. It's it's very, uh, very much a lot. Georgia gives smooches to you all, by the way. You're welcome. Thank you, Sam. Um, how I... I'll ask how you guys, like, from, like, the small interactions I've come about, how you guys would, like, how you guys felt with that level difference. Um, with running it, I haven't run it enough to, like, fully get it to a level I'm confident with yet. But I think with running the West Marches, I've kind of gotten to a point where I know... Uh, hydrate or die straight. No, can't can't do that. Um, I can't die straight. <laughs> Stupid joke. Um, but yeah, uh, we're uh, with running. <laughs> if you could drown me, I think it's on cooldown, so unless you couldn't drown me, I don't have enough water to drown me with. 
I'm a very good swimmer also, it's another thing. Um, with running combat, like, having run the West matches, um, like, the, there was, like, the, the knowledge that, like, a lot of players that would join in a session could be level one. So I had to take into account, like, how can I have them not instantly die? A lot of it was I trusted that the players that they would be with would not want them to die. That's, that was my first step. And that they would try to help each other wherever they could. Um, the second was I general, I like to challenge my players. I like to have them fight things that may be just a bit too tough for them. But then if they're smart yeah, about does. it. But if they're smart about it, they will like be able to overcome it. And, like I'll give it like weaknesses and strategies that you can implement and like to take advantage of. And like I like even like using the map, like use like I I give I try when I with 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 the planning font comment. So I try to give tools around the entire um uh the entire um map so like they could like they could set things on fire they could use tables as like weapons they could use just all things to like protect themselves and like to take advantage of the situation if they can the monster can do that as well but they can do that um yeah like shout out to like one one of the i mean not recent session but like one of one of raf's more recent sessions oh. where where a million goddamn like skeleton crystal monsters are coming out of a, a, the caves and i'm everyone's like we gotta get out of here and me and me and Gosman, AJ's character, we're like, no, we got to stop them because if they keep coming, we're screwed. So we looked for anything on the map to help us. And what do we see suddenly? A cannon. And we were like, holy shit, let's let's load this cannon and blow the cave down. Like, let's bring this shit down on all these skeletons because otherwise we're screwed. Exactly. Beautiful DMing by Kaz there. Mm, and it, thank you. <laughs> so, by the way, that was it was a very fun session to run. And exactly, like, that dichotomy of, like, half, not even half the group, most of the group was like, now nah, we need to run. But then you, Cosma, and Drake stayed back. Which is interesting, and, like, that, that says a lot, like, about Drake's character, but, like, he's been very much in Cosmet's corner lately, actually. Um, oh, really? Yeah, he he was on the four, uh, the other Hobgoblin, uh, Trident. Oh, he saved him, yeah, right, Yeah, right. exactly, yeah. Um, but in that encounter, um... They went for the cannon. They they used that. Like I wasn't expecting that to happen. The cannon was more so there for the for the fight beforehand, where they fought a bunch of cappers. Um, but the, the the fact that they saw and used it for that was was really cool. And like, and it's interesting because I think like one of the players was even like I didn't see the cannon, and I'm like, but that's okay. Like, but you you still did what I expect you to do. You ran, but those that like did see the cannon, they knew they could use it. And like I like I, I don't put like when I make maps, I don't, I try to put things down to, so that like because they are usable and so like um so what's it called um so that like they can take advantage of it. and that's how i go about balancing encounters like that and there's also with cr and stuff like i'm very much like if like i'm seeing they're struggling i'll make the monster just a bit weaker or i'll decrease its ac if i can or decrease its hp if i can um if i want to keep it challenging i'll just like be i'll just know how like to move the situation or I'm, I, I'm confident in my own dming uh to like move the situation from that as yeah, something like Sorry. on the fly dming is like like what i my go-to thing where it's like altering health and stuff like that i try not to alter ac until uh something has happened in combat that maybe has altered something mm. about like how they're easily easily hittable they are right like because like I, I don't like the idea of changing AC suddenly because then if someone's noticing like what what's hitting and what isn't, and if they notice that something that they would have done earlier would have hit, I f I would feel kind of bad. But uh, if you can get in a reason why the AC is changed in in combat, I think that's a fine thing too. Yeah, absolutely. Like if the armor like cracks and falls off or something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, I think like and the gods have been like narrative and like using um, description. You can. Have it be like the way they're weakened through the combat. You yeah, also would also alter health sometimes. Mm. I think hi Colin. hi Colin. Yeah, I um I like with the with AC. I think even when I just come to homebrew, if I see a monster's H, a, AC is too high, I'm like, nah, uh, I'll decrease that uh, from the get go. Because, the encounter, right? Yeah, because I, I yeah just yeah. at the beginning. Because my idea is like, if um it's it's more fun to hit the thing than like have to like just keep hitting it and struggle to hit it at the same time so i wouldn't mind boosting yeah. the the hp um but dec decreasing the the ac um, ac is a, is a pain in the ass because if the second you see something with like an above 17 ac that's like a fucking monster where you're like uh-oh 
<laughs> like, mm. yeah. Good luck. I do like it. Uh, I do like having higher seats. Like I've had, I've had certain characters. For the right or, thing, like, for sure. Yeah, I've heard I, one, mon like monster that was highly armored uh, or heavily armored, and I was like, yeah, they're gonna have a high AC, obviously. Um, and this. so my players like going in, they're aware that the AC is high, um, and but like then at that point, you know, I, the HP is usually less. Uh, but you know, with players that are a lot of them are like spellcasters or or I guess have other other ways to attack besides um, hitting a AC. specific AC. Yeah. It's it's fun to do that because it's like oh, um, now they have to think outside the box. But also then if I have like one player that their job is to swing a sword, and they can't really do much else, then it's like well this player feels left out unless they get lucky. Like then they're just gonna have to roll and hit and then be screwed ninety percent of the time because they missed. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, um, but like they can always grapple. Or try to, right? Like, there are always options. I don't know. I love a good fight. I, and a hard I, enemy. Yeah, yeah. I hope you throw a few at us. Sorry. <laughs> it's also like, like knowing you, uh, Epi, I, I feel like I have to, because I know you will, you know the game to a, a very technical, I, I, I see it as a very technical level. So I'm like, I'm thinking, hmm, how yeah. do I, how, how do I keep engaging for you all? Especially, I'm like, <laughs> that's high praise. Yeah. That's high praise. No, I'm not like the most technical. Player. out of this group I, just, uh... I will say sorry not to <laughs> okay not to not, 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 not to do your horn there's a there's a true mastermind here yeah. oh my god no 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 <laughs> even her um... name m it starts with m m starts with mastermind starts with m whoa oh my god whoa um... I, i'm looking forward to some good fights in jailhouse Rocky. i i will i do have one really cool fucking fight ready for you guys but like i've also got some cool ideas that like I think will be very interesting for you guys. Um, I wanted to ask M Spiracy exactly. Um, with like you guys knowing Rocky is lower level than you, how do you like? Does that alter your thoughts on the combat? I'm curious. <laughs> Sam's uh, well, gonna after, throw me in there immediately. Yeah. <laughs> after that, after that uh, debacle, I'm definitely gonna keep you behind us. Uh, it, this sucks because like Rocky is a close combat um, fighter uh, in the end of the day. Uh, I mean, I know there were talks with Kaz and I about giving him a specific ranged weapon, but like, I don't know, Rocky's aesthetic is katanas. He has to be close up, which sucks for now. Like when it was before, you know, everybody was kind of equally at the same playing field as he is. Mm. You know, it wasn't bad. But now that he's kind of like, he has a lot less hp and ac than all the other players it's like well he doesn't he doesn't need to go swing his sword there he that's gonna get him killed <laughs> hmm. like i almost see this as like a, a learning experience for rocky and that's why like i'm like with my, the relationship uh that he'll form with moran and even randall uh like he'll learn that like sometimes fights like and like it's it's almost like a extended lesson of the barnabas fight where not all fights can be won by physically fighting Sometimes you have to play the, the, the distance game, or sometimes you have to be like, you have to think more than just, I gotta hit the thing. Sometimes you gotta run. Mm. You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. Mm. Gotta know when um, to walk away. Know when to run. I feel like there was one last question. Um, Rocky will be humbled. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. He's, he's severely humbled. I, I took Sentinel on Moran specifically. Uh, so that I could put my Echo next to Rocky and use opportunity attacks to punish anybody who is, you know, dunking on him too hard. Mm. I, I think you will be able to get into the thick of things because you'll have at least Moran keeping an eye on you and probably Cannon too. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a very nice range in both distance, uh, in the, how, like, the group is able to like fight distance, but also be very up in it. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, is. I mean, I'm not terribly worried because I know Rocky will have his uh, his babysitters, so it'll mm. it'll be fine. His two used to babysit in the group. His like he's got to learn. His pebble um, sitters. Don't Whoa. say that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, chat. If you have any last questions, this is the time because uh, we will be going on the break in a hot second. Uh, so if you have anything, please um, fire them at me now. Anything you guys want to ask? Anything you guys want to say? Um, yeah. Um, hey, Randall. Yo. What gives you the right? 
His name does begin with R, and the right is with R. Mine also begins with R. Fun fact, the reason I came up with the name Randall is because I was talking to Jacob one day, and I was like, I want an R name. <laughs> I didn't go. know that. That was a fun That's fact. What, you don't remember that? We were literally talking. I don't have. I don't develop memories. I'll be honest. Uh, with you. <laughs> Everything <laughs> lives <laughs> together. You don't. You don't remember me asking you, being like, "Would it be too close of a name if our names both started with R?" I maybe. I. I. I, I wish I did. I just. <laughs> I came up. A fun little fact about Rocky. I actually came up with his name because uh, uh, my character is a uh, rock. Mm. Fuck! Whoa, dude, that's mind blowing. <laughs> Don't develop me. I never thought of that. Can someone add that to add a context for me? And I'll add, uh, that'll be. Um, Hunter asks, "Do you guys want to use your Kirby's on stream to uh, fight a boss?" Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, how do I do that? So when the boss comes on screen, uh, use exclamation mark join and then pick a class between priest, warrior, or mage, and your Kirby will uh, will fight a boss. Oh, okay. See but, see, but Oswald, Rocky, Rocky and Reggie doesn't sound as good. Rocky and <laughs> Reggie, Randall, yeah. that sounds good. Yeah, Rocky uh, and Reggie have the same, like... Hi, Vix. The same, eh, um, yeah, no, Vix, I, I, you know. you've just missed uh, us talking about the, the cast and stuff. Um, what gel has Rocky and, like, the the prep on their side of things? Oh, fucking hell, it's a Rathalos. I don't think I've ever seen the Rathalos in-game. Um, do you have... Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, Vix, if you have any questions regarding like chemistry one shots or just uh, like the uh, questions for the uh, any other cast, uh, feel free to ask uh, before we uh, we are going to take a little uh, hot break. Um, I did want to also I... say um, one, you guys have been. So, no, what do you, what did you want to say? It's my turn. I don't know what to do with it when it's my turn. Oh, you do it's exclamation damage. Just yeah. smite, smite. exclamation mark, smite, exclamation exc okay. exc <laughs> exc exclamation mark. Yeah, I got smite. you. Sorry. Okay. Um, I did want to also say, Hunter, I'm glad that you find the community safe. I really appreciate it because, like, we it is something. Yeah, like Sam made a good point. It's something we've we find very important, and we wanted it to be and top down, like top down tabletop as well. Like they were like one of the uh, partner servers. Um, we like we try to keep it very safe and like have it be where like even if like sometimes that you might not like want to vibe, you still like are welcomed and like there's there's someone that will like want to talk to you about something and like. Um, I'm especially now I'm seeing a huge influx in just everyone like hanging out and talking about things and that's really cool and like it's I, I've said it before and I'll say it again like it's like the whole um, the whole uh, idea of like once like it got to a certain point the community stopped being mine and it started being yours because you guys you guys give it the life and the the spark that it that it is um, Sammy has said it is a canon fact that Taya dipped Rocky's hand in a cup of warm water while he was sleeping, just saying. <laughs> I agree. Who is the party uncle? Uh, that's for all you guys. Who's 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 the party uncle? Randall. What Randall. is oh this this party at the okay, I thought yeah. we were talking about like the main one. Okay. I mean we could ask uh, them fun about the main one as well. I would I would probably say it's gonna be canon. I mean like I Reckon? feel like he's gonna be like the crazy uncle kind of pe person, isn't that like I guess it's not the crazy uncle. Who is the party uncle? But like, fuck. Hey, I, I feel like I, I, I get I get older I get older cousin vibes from canon. Yeah. Like uh, cool older cousin. Randall feels like the panicking uncle. Yes. The panicking uncle. He's like just stressed. He wants to like. I feel like he almost like has an expectation, and he wants this to go good. And like that's like so him trying to be. How do I attack as a mage? Exclamation uh, mark firebolt. firebolt. Yeah. yeah, exclamation mark firebolt. Also, uh, AJ, yeah. a question for you um, about Canon's design. Why, um, why, why, why did you pick Canon's design like that? And why, like, what, what, what drew that idea to you? And also, um, what are you most looking forward to with what uh, Jealous Rocky? These are these are chat questions. They're not my questions. Well, the first one was my question, but like, give us the answers if you can. I like, I know you're at work, so like, don't feel like you got to. Um, it's okay, you don't, Oswald. I didn't see you. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Kaz's perception check was much lower than that. Oh, here he is. Oh, hi. I'm here for the answers to answer them. This uh, is AJ. I, this, he's I, playing I, Canon. Before you go Cannon's into then, wait, 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 wait. Tell us about oh. Canon. Tell us about Canon. And tell us about yourself. 
Uh, Canon is a rambunctious, uh, sort of angry, uh, kind of half orc, also tiefling, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, just really like he he sort of has a heart of gold, uh, also also fist also of gold. gold. <laughs> uh, but like he he really just likes punching things as well. He uh, does. But. Uh, I like the de I, I I wanted this design because um it looks cool as shit. I, I like the I like the sort of contrasting colors of the hair mm. with the skin and uh, a half orc with horns. I mean anything with horns is really cool. So yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, it is gonna be is very interesting, very entertaining, and very like I I I want to just like talk about how much like with the characters and like a lot of the like the lore I'm putting into this. And like the ideas are like flowing around in my head. The it's, I think it's gonna be a very beautiful way and like interesting in how much it ties the West marches even into the main story, and how much the West, like how much all these like th th three elements of Shreleo all like kind of converge with this one little side story. And it'll be very, I think it'll be a very interesting um, story to uh, to explore with this wonderful group of people. Um, AJ, tell us about uh, your projects so that I can shout them out. My projects? Yeah, like McClunky uh, I Squadron. Mean, I'm just... Oh, for McClunky Squadron. Okay, I was going to just oh. shout out work. <laughs> <laughs> shout out my uh, boss. Uh, Give me a raise. So for McClunky Squadron, we're, just, uh, we're doing D&D &D streams every Friday. Uh, we plan other streams randomly. We also do uh, talks about TV shows. Like Marvel shows and uh, Star Wars and a bunch of other things coming out every so often. Uh, soon we're gonna be doing the boys, I think, right? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching this battle happen with like intensity right now. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about the full season three, the boys, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, uh, I think Jacob. Uh, we're planning on having you come on for that one too, so. Oh, so, uh, he, like, he knows what's happening. Just... I mean, we, we briefly talked about it. Nothing was confirmed yet, but I was like, I'm down. <laughs> I would love to have you on. I think it would be a, good, a great additional cool. person. What if I said no? What if I said I couldn't? <laughs> you <laughs> literally <laughs> asked me. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> but we didn't specify which one. I just said I would like the. Any of these are good. You know? You, you, I think you said the boys. I like the boys. I'm down. Uh, yeah, I'm 100%. Yeah, I want to. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. So yeah, oh, do I get um, a pixel art, dude? Yeah, you get a little pixel yeah. art, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get a pixel yeah. art face if you come. So I mean, like, yeah. there you go. You get a, you get a little pixel art out of it. <laughs> little pixel Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> pixel hey. Jacob. Oh, I'm left. Never mind. I'm left. <laughs> um. Okay. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Before we go for a break, um, this will probably be the last time you'll see the cast until um Sunday. I don't know Forever. just yet. Yeah. Until the session, which will be happening 17th of July, which is this Sunday, 8 p.m. BST. If you haven't already, save the date, join the Discord, and go to the event tab. Click the little interest notification, and you'll get it. RSVP. Oh, we're going to get yeah. all our uh, 100 uh, followers to come here yeah. for Casadio. Do, you got, do, we, do we have 100 over my clunky yet? Uh, we have we're very close. I think that we actually did get a couple in the interim from last I checked. So, so uh, hey go, guys, yeah, go, go, go <laughs> first of all, go follow McClunky Squadron. I don't want and get us up to 100 we're, on that. Once uh, we get to 100, we're going to do a 24 hour live stream. Not again, please. Uh, 24 hour <laughs> subathon. Not again. Uh, to get... <laughs> yeah, yeah, 24. Like, can I be part of that? Actually, you, do you want to do you want to? Everyone does it. Everyone does a 24 hour live stream. We're going 48, baby. 48 hours. Oh my God. Or... <laughs> I'll tune in for an hour and then get distracted and get bored. You, could, you, want, you want I'll to finally you... beat? I'll finally beat Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah. in that stream. But we'll plan. We'll plan a bunch of things to do in, in that time, though. So everyone can get a rest, and other people would would you know? It's not just going to be us staying awake for yeah. 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Us, you want? I mean, that's totally <laughs> viable. But it'll be like different people resting in between other people doing shit yeah like that's the that's the whole deal with the squadron thing that we want to do where multiple people are just going on and off and someone starts and someone or someone ends oh, no, and someone starts. Died. there you go mm. yeah i know dude we're getting wrecked by this rathalos here you are you are um oh damn it is but don't worry, it'll, 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 the, the fight will still be going on um but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna go on a quick break um I don't know if everyone's gonna bounce, but like, uh, I might. Some of us will still stick around as I like, might kick some of us out. Yeah, I might have uh, work to get done. But yeah, no, yeah, you do that. <laughs> Maybe um, not. <laughs> you do have your job. Me too, but 
Everybody, come watch the session. It's gonna be great. Yeah. So um, everyone play Apex Legends. It's uh, gonna be great. Oh my god. <laughs> my boy does. Uh, he does. Uh, my uh, my best friend actually works for uh, Apex Legends. I don't know if you guys know this. Oh wow! Thanks, man. No worries, AJ. We're best friends. No, I do not work for the, for them. No, I'm no, you're you're you're, to you're, you're, an, you're another you're another friend. My other friend, my other best friend, works for McClunky Squadron. Wow. Oh, what? Okay. What? Your, friend, your best friends work for McClunky right Squadron. Now. One that works for Apex Legends. Yeah. What do you want me to? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to make the joke about the, your dad working at my Nintendo. But like, <laughs> well, you're not my dad. <laughs> just say, just say my best friend works at Nintendo. I could. My best friend works at Nintendo. My my best friend owns Nintendo. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Sam, yeah, my best friend could beat this. up your best friend. You got this. Go on, Sam. Break his legs. Nintendo. Oh no, Jacob died. Um. Dang. So yeah. Uh. So yeah. Before we go on a break. Oh no. Uh, if yeah. Epi, no AJ, you first uh, tell us, um, tell us, tell us where we can find you, and then, yeah. I'm mostly yeah. just gonna be on McClunky Squadron, so check out uh McClunky Squadron. Yeah. With me and Sam and a bunch of other people. What the fuck, man? I'm I'm McClunky Four over here. On there too. Me, yeah. Sam, and that's it. That's everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Sam, you got this. Come uh, on. Dude. Cannon no longer is part of uh, the stream. I have to delete him. His art Cannon gone. Died off screen. Uh, yeah, he died off screen. <laughs> I love no, off screen. Gold, gold poisoning. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Epi, tell us where we can find you and all your cool art things. And then link your Instagram. Aw, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I've got my Instagram. No, yeah, there's a gay frog. Chat. Sorry, 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 Epi. Sorry, I need to talk about my gay frog. Uh, yeah, go follow my clunky squadron. I play a gay frog in it. Uh, sorry, I'm very sorry, Epi. I, I got very excited. Sorry, continue. <laughs> I forgive you. There's something in the water, and it's making the frogs gay. The um, frog gay. It did. It was a dragon. Yeah, I do. I do art on Instagram, uh, and you can find me in the vibe in. Um, that's about it. I'll be here on Sunday playing Shoot. jailhouse rocky look forward to it that was good that was good i got chilled i won't lie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i wanted to tell you uh, let you guys know um i can't make it this sunday oh you <laughs> bastard well oh, you already got kicked off so you're yeah, good. yeah yeah i'm Actually, already kicked true, out, true. So, so. sam tell us about you Montab. i mean like same deal as what i just said pretty much McClunky squadron we stream marvel and star wars shows and other things and Friday we do D&D, &D, Terrifying Territories, Roro, uh, all that kind of shebang. We want to do more gaming stuff. When that goddamn aisle update drops in one of these next couple weeks, I am streaming that. That is my game plan. <laughs> right, that. When that comes out in 30 years, you will see me streaming it. And uh, Rocky, tell us, oh, sorry, Jacob. Uh, I'm in Rocky Works. It's my government name. Um, it is. It is. I, uh, you can find me on my podcast, Just Very Mundane. Uh, a lot of new things are going to be happening with that. It's a podcast where we talk about kind of, we give la half life advice, half just kind of complain about regular things in life. You know, it's for it's for the normal people. It's uh, the least ironic podcast yet. Um, <laughs> me and my, uh, my, my IRL best friend, um, we do that. Uh, yes, you yeah, can yeah. also, uh, I said IRL. I don't know any of y'all IRL. <laughs> um, excuse me. I know you in real life. We just well, hang over online. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Oh my bad. Uh, we went to the same kindergarten class. Yeah, the, the one that's like the one that's in UK and America. The one that's over Discord. Yeah, of... <laughs> <laughs> Discord. Yeah. Uh, side note, real quick, I did I did know someone that like whenever everything was online, one of uh, their classes was over Discord, and I think that's funny. Like everything was done through Discord, and mm. it's hilarious. I mean, but, it uh, works. That's how. That's it how. Does. No, like, like you, you, you make you say it like a joke, but like that's how Shirei Leo was born. Like we literally did all the work over Discord. I still have the messages. I'll have to show you guys. Yeah. So it's really interesting. It's, it's it's just I think it's a funny aesthetic though, because you're going to like a chemistry class and then you're on Discord or like whatever class, you know. And everybody's and, uh, still got their original like usernames and profile <laughs> pictures. And yeah, yeah, really. Like me with a me with Cricket the Wiener Dog, <laughs> like just chatting to people. Uh, yeah, you can also find me. I guess apparently I'll be talking about the boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're just a rat uh, into that. So. <laughs> uh, that I'll be talking to. Uh, be obviously here on the stream on Sunday. Actually, hey. I can't make it. 
Oh. I'm busy. I have uh, everyone, everyone bails. <laughs> yeah. I have a McClunky stream that day, actually. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna have a very to play uh, Jailhouse Taya. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. The only one who can make it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be doing the boys' stream this Sunday at 10 p.m. or 10 o'clock. I mean, mm. there is also 10 fine... a.m. Um, 10 o'clock a.m. Wait, that's that's fine that you could write into me then. It's, it's darn about it. You got it planned. Yeah, that actually would be beneficial to him, if anything. Yeah, no, 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 you're slick. Um, but yeah, uh, and finally, there is Sammy, who is Remove Sam. Also, I don't know if you guys saw, I got spooked by someone popping something outside, terrified me. I did see that happen on the, the camera. I don't think it got picked up, I fucking shit myself. It was awful. Terrified. <laughs> well, I didn't shit myself, like, it's... But... Thank God it's not 4D here. Chill your beans. I also have TikTok. You do have TikTok. Do you want to link your TikTok? Yeah, that's pretty phasmophobia, guys. Nah, people come not, not today. To, I was saying that to Kaz recently. You fucking asshole. You know I can't do that right now. I'm too much work. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, Wait, finally remove before Sam. We, before oh. we go, can I leave you? Oh, never mind. Never mind. You're, I was gonna, you're hyped up remove Sam. Yeah, I was going to. Uh, there's remove Sam, who is the <laughs> who is playing Taya. And uh, she does a, variety, a bunch of variety streaming over on her. So when she does a bunch of cool just community stuff. She's started running a, a Westmarch styled uh, game of d, &D that she streams. And it's very fun. I play a character who's a lightning tiefling, and it's really fun. Go check it out. Um, Spoiler. No, you shut your mouth. It was, it was session one. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah. Um, anything else you guys want to say before we, we bounce? Uh, I have one last word of wisdom, and then I won't say anything else for the rest of the stream. Uh, this is to prepare for my mastermind role. Uh, so people with good singing voices should not be allowed to do karaoke. Uh, sorry, but it's not fun watching you do a little Star Search performance. I'm here to see drunk Keith fight for his life through living on a prayer, as God intended. So there you go. I got nice. that tattooed on my back. That you saying that? Yeah. All right. What the fuck? Say bye, everyone. Bye, bye everyone. everyone. Those words of wisdoms. <laughs> bye. Bye. We'll be back yeah, in a second. Words of wisdom. <laughs> they could still hear you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys in a second. Uh, before, I, no. give me a second. Before they can't hear you, they can hear me. But before I go, um, or before like I we go on a break, uh, go join the Discord while we're on break. Check out the Discord; it's cool. We do a bunch of cool things there. Uh, and also, if you want enjoy the art that you saw on stream and you want to see more, check out my Instagram and Twitter. It's where I keep everything up to date in regard to when we're streaming and stuff. So yeah, go go check the things. Um, Go check out AJ uh, and Sam over from Clunky Squadron. Jacob on a very just is it just very mundane? Is that what it is? Yeah, just very mundane. And go check out Epic Cell on Instagram and on Twitter because she does stunning work. Um, and remove Sam as well. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I very I, I forgot about you there. Um, but yeah, kar karaoke has Rocky. Ye. Huh? Hello? Hello? Oh, they can't hear. They can't hear that joke. No, no, we can't do that. They can't hear you. It's not funny when they can't hear the other half. Um, yeah, well, I'll be back in a hot second answering questions regarding the production side of streaming D and D, and just um, and just the the whole um. Hi, Cinder. I was gonna I was gonna say uh, Hunter that that is appreciated, but there is also like it's just it's it's a bit of stream echo where like um. I I, I just deafened myself. It is a bit of stream America where like you don't exactly go into other people's chats and say things like that. I do appreciate it, Hunter. It was very sweet of you, but like just bear in mind, it, some streamers will not appreciate that. Cinder being very chill, sadly, <laughs> he uh, he what's what's the word? He he is very chill and he is here, but other streamers won't be as chill. You are here to cause trouble. I appreciate it, Cinder. Alas. We are gonna go on break. Uh, I was just hanging out the jailhouse Rocky cast, and we were, we were talking about the cast and um, character side of production. Um, but yeah, go check out the discords. Go check out the other things. If you have any questions regarding the pre-production and post-production on the DM and streaming side of things, uh, feel free to ask away. Uh, I'm gonna be back in about five-ish ten minutes, and I'll be building the overlay and just talking to you guys as I do that, and then, then discussing the. Um, um no, no I, I appreciate that hunter that's very sweet of you thank you um but yeah no just 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 for futures reference i i i i know some people will not appreciate that um 
but I do I do appreciate you did that and just just for, just for future references so you no one no one does uh moan at you about it um but yeah so I'll be back uh, building the overlay and talking about the uh pre and post production and just the things that I uh have to think about and I have to put in uh, for the stream to make it work so if you have any questions or any thoughts about that feel free to ask away uh I recommend highlighting the messages that way I will see them or guarantee to see them but depending on if I have guests or not uh, with me still I will either be distracted or I will give you guys my full attention or half well I will actually would be able to give you my full attention because I would be looking at OBS the entire time that's that's how it would work that's, that would work yeah you know what Cinder give me a minute give me a motherfucking minute no 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 don't 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 no that's 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 cheating well well fight like a real man duel me um but yeah we'll see you guys in a hot second I'll be back in about five minutes. I'm going to throw a quick pre-roll before I get back on. So anyone that joins the next half hour doesn't get any ads. Um, but yeah, see you guys in a hot sec. Hi, Hunter. Just back for, uh, to say it is on a few seconds. Um, I think on phones it's for longer, or on certain uh, programs it's for longer. Um, but yeah, it's usually a small few seconds delay, and sometimes it's it's for it's for a while. Uh, also, I assume Cinder, you're making your chat watch me, um, and, <laughs> and and attack me. So what I'm gonna say is, uh, everyone go check out Cinder, and give him a follow, and just 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 say you love him, and that is funny and it's cool. Go, go say hello to him. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be right back in about five-ish minutes and we're going to go back into talking about all the things. So I'll see you guys in a hot second. It was only for a second, but I am going to come back in like a very few seconds.
Hi. Hey. <laughs> Welcome uh, to Behind the Stream. Or Behind the Bars, if you will. Um, you'll notice this is very bare-bound, so there's not a lot of stuff on stream. You guys can see chat, but you can't see um, anything else. Um, you can also see my, my, my little thing. I gotta remember not to like click on anything that isn't like for the stream. Cause I, and I know I'll get distracted. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if I actually, I'm gonna quickly just do this just in case. Cause I feel like, like if, if Twitter's open, just in case something sinful is on screen, not because I'm horny on main or anything. It's just that like Twitter's fucking weird like that. Look, I'm gonna close Twitter just straight up. All right, let's do that. There we are. And we're gonna put a cam on. Let's let's get the cam back up. Uh, import a video capture device. When it wants to load, there we are. Add existing cam. Hello. We're gonna just like do this, do this, and then do this. And we're gonna pop us over in this corner here because we don't really care about that, to be honest. So yeah, um, streamception. Yeah, this is this is all this is all the. In oh, I don't like looking at myself. <laughs> this is all the inside things. Hello, Hunter. Um, let's see. What, what's it? Where, where are we? Chaos, huh? What's that? Oh, chaos. I'm stupid. Um, also, Cinder, thank you for stopping by. I you assume you've gone back to your stream. You're a star. Um, so, yeah. Handshake. All right. So, basically, I'm going to be talking about me building the overlay and all the stuff and just like with how I plan the stream. So, you'll see like. There's like, like, here's my scenes. This is like, you can't see, I'm going to move my head, but this is just like the stream situation like that. Like that isn't really that important. Honestly, if anything, like when I, I'll change my stats. Oh, yeah. My stats here. This is just so I can see like, what's the situation for the stream. Uh, when it says offline, that's when I panic. Uh, when this is red, I just click reset and then hope it's all fine. Um, but I'm, oh shit, I pulled myself a screen. You need this. Yeah, no, um, feel free to ask questions about it. If you have any questions about how I do anything, ask away. Um, I do have like a few custom docs that I also have as well. So like, I'm like, I'm happy to go over those. Um, this is stream. That's where they see all the things. See, I did. I did. I said I was going to get distracted. I went to dis Discord. I was going to hop over to Discord to say, oh, I'm still I'm doing the, the, the buildings things, but I'm not. Um, that's where you saw the private, the private Discord for the, the Rocky stuff. You're not meant to see that. Just see us secrets um so basically yeah there's the uh the stream information which is this um which is like the tags the name of the stream like the live notification you know how it is how did i start off my twitch career i started streaming art um when i was it was two years ago it was, it was like we just hit one year uh two years actually just now very recently um I'm sp I, I, I shall. Uh, I hit about two years ago, and um, when I when I started that, I um, I was streaming just art. I was just drawing like weapons and stuff like that. And a few people came in wanting to talk about homebrew, and we just started like talking about that. And like it, it eventually snowballed. Um, I full screen your screen. I immediately tried to click on you. exactly. See, I was trying to click. I was going to click your notification. <laughs> so I was going to click your message that you sent. I read, oh shit. Um. What's the word? Um, so yeah, and I started. I started with doing art, and like that was more so just like from like I just asked my friends, like, should I just stream me me drawing? And I was like, all right, yeah. And so I do. I shared it with the people, like my art, my Instagram, uh, and I shared it with my um. I shared it with my what's it called as well, um, and just just everyone I could share it with, like, and then I it snowballed, and it's gotten bigger. And like, if anything, I feel like this this space here is the most like active I'm in, other than the Discord. Uh, secondly, what can you show up? I, I've been drawing since I was a kid. I uh, did. Uh, I stopped when I was in like sec like near the end of secondary school. I did art GCC, but like I didn't like it wasn't something I cared about. Um, but I stopped for a while, and then like I got into um, and then like I I, I started doing graphic design in college, um, and then I met my uh, my ex girlfriend at the time, or my girlfriend at the time. Um, interview time it is, and she got me. Um, to get really good at graphic design like i i took an interest in that but i got better and i started enjoying it and like i essentially uh decided you know i could do this freelance so i started freelancing graphic design 
um, and stopped drawing completely. And then I, in the last year of uni, I um, I would draw every now and then here and there, but I didn't like care much about it. Um, and then in the last year of uni, I had a project idea. And that project had me wanting to draw again. And I started drawing characters in the rubber hole style because it was very easy to draw. And I just started building on my style and like going over time. And like that's what, like I started streaming around when I had my early rubber hole stuff. You can actually check if you go to my Instagram and you scroll right to the bottom, you can see where there's a bit of my graphic design stuff. Well, not like my, like it's just where I was getting into the group of drawing. Um, but yeah. So the next thing, uh, the next, the, mo the most important thing I think about on my stream is this. Uh, this I don't know if you can see my match, you can. Uh, is this portion it's my notes it basically has everything that like of um i'm 24 um this has like all my notes for like just a lot of things this has my notes for like uh clips whenever i need them just ideas um like every, whenever i have like a guest on to interview them this is where i put my questions um this is um just ideas for things that i need to uh, remember essentially i gotta remember kaz bingo or kazinga if you will yeah twitch notes and like just just a bunch of cool uh just just things i need to remember like if i forget someone's name i'll put it in here as well just to remember um but it also has my notes for like just like talking about all the things um i want to click that but i don't want to click it what is it sam no that's not what i want to do ah I thought it was going back to Kaz by design. Because that's where I that's where all my graphics stuff. Yeah, that's the original Ermia. God dang. Yeah, no, it, it was uh it was it was old Ermia, the original piece for that. Um You 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 am I am I hating on OBS or am I hanging on OBS? Ah, I'm building my stream. Um or explaining how I build my stream. Um So like this essentially is like the um it's the thing, and like you got chat here, obviously, and my uh, levels and my volume stuff. And like it's, yeah, this is this is essentially the basic. This is OBS, um, but like what I do is like when I'm when I'm when I'm uh, streaming D and I, I have a few things. I like first of all, I start with like I try to be organized in this because like it's very easy to get lost. Like if I do if I sh if I do this for example, like you can't see. Um, Display capture. But like, look at this. Oh, well, that's awkward. Uh, oh, I can't, oh, I, I could do this. Um, but like, will this work? No, that won't work. All right, I don't know how to show you. But basically, like, you can see all these scenes. Like these, all like, if I do this, um, like here's like all just like just for like the Discord stuff. Um, here's like my like for Dean uh, the actual overlay itself. Uh, my like well, it's, there's nothing in there now. Um, but the handouts for like the landscape, the software, or just roll twenty, audio, and like what's this? I need this is just like stuff I like didn't need for the moment anymore, and got rid of it. Um, I'm gonna have to delete this because like if I forget about it, it'll be and like this this is the old overlay, isn't it? So like this isn't even the fancy one. Oh, where's a new one? I think this is a new one. Yeah, this is a new one. So it's the same kind of thing. It's um, it's the same process where like it's a bunch of like stuff. Um, it is like to be fair, I've like tailored a lot of it to what I want, and like I've gotten a lot of like I've gotten better at how I run it. It's um. But uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot better at how I like approach a lot of like just the sort of um, setup for it and like just um, the building blocks um, for all the things for that. Um, but yeah, and like so like when I when I build my my uh, my streams uh, overlay, so I start with a bunch of folders essentially. So we want to have all the audio in one place. Please let me. I knew I knew I was gonna do that because like, it's a fucking asshole. Audio. Jailhouse Rocky or Audio Jail. So I didn't know that. And I just pop it in there and I pop it there. I pop it there. So my mic is like, it's it's my mic. Um, cable audio. So like, this is um, where audio production, like the audio side of the streaming is also like a bit wonky. And is, there, is a, there is a learning curve. I would work, I will say, Hunter, like learning 
to stream is it's it's a lot of things. I I I'll I'll I'll, I'll upload. I will upload it. This is it's, it's a two parter. Like I the first half of the stream was um. I do want to do a video on like I do want to do like an actual video where I explain all of this fully um in a more concise proper way, but thank you for somebody sword play and sorcery. I will I will do a proper video about this, but I think this VOD as a whole will be very useful in general as well. Uh, the first half was us talking about chemistry one shots and just like building uh, D and D streams and like from the character side and like the player side, uh, because the idea is like you want to make sure. How do, is this still put out of stock? Thank you, Georgia. Ah, you can look at this thing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think it'll dox me. Uh, so basically, this is my how I run like the the Twitch dashboard essentially as well. So I have like the the pre rolls, the polls, predictions, and the raid and stuff like that. And like this is the same thing. Uh, production like these it should be fine now. Um, channel points, manage rewards, and this is where I keep all my um, my like my my things. Um, where are we? Blah, 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 blah. Where's Hydrate? Hydrate's right at the top. Alright. You guys don't, don't, don't drown me. It should be fine though now. Yeah, um, hopefully, uh, if you have any questions, uh, sword play sorcery, feel free to reach out and like, still ask away and like, I'm happy to answer. Um, cause like, this is like me one discussing how I approach. The sand alerts won't work. Uh, I am have, I will fix that. I don't have enough. I, I'm gonna have to go get more water. Like this, is all I got left. It's and it's not water. So it should be shit. You may. It's got ice, ice melted. I'm very sorry, Squid. I I know there's a lot of stuff, but feel free uh, to like check the vod. Uh, watch about. If you have any questions, let them ask away now, and I'll go. I'll I'll explain. It. I'll I'll go into them all. Uh, don't you worry. So this that's that's an interesting question. I will I will explain. Um. So we. It's more so, it's, it's similar to VTubing essentially. Um, it's similar to the v, uh, VTubing side of things. Um, but before I get into that, uh, the hydrating, I'll I will have that. I'll get some more water after I go for my break or my next break because I feel like this will need another break. Um, BS yeah, Squid, I'll upload this vod and we'll be I'll be going back into this uh, in the future. Uh, or I'll be doing another video on this anyway. But this will be like if you want to like watch the vod, it will I'll keep this up there and I'll upload it to my YouTube as well. Um, where are we? Um, but yeah, Hunter as well. Like, again, like, this is, a lot of it is, like, I've built on top of what, like, the base is, is. Like, the base OBS is not this, not this, it's just this, um, it's this portion here, it's this. But, like, then you learn, like, to, like, manage it all and add more to it and, like, um, and, like, add to it. Um, how long do I, uh, pre uh, spend prepping for stream generally it's like you build once you build it it's done i i don't need to touch like the only things i need to edit are like just the handouts and the art when i need to change it um so if i go if i pull the first question um or the next question what from, uh vtubing so it's i um so it was vtubing or a similar stuff png tubing really but like we adjusted around to have it be it's a it's a very new thing to our group and I don't think anyone else does it, and I'm glad because it's. I think it's really cool. Uh, but we have like these emotes that basically change their shape or change their form. Um, like if I have roll twenty open, I'll show you. Uh, so you see me here. Um, we have like we could do this, and like this like it's it's very much like no one else sees this, but like uh, the players see this, but like the NPCs like are green screened essentially into like having their uh, faces on, and like they'll change based on like uh, depending on like the um depending on the uh, the situation and like um on the the uh, the emotion that the character wants to portray and we have those basically um we have those basically uh, change 
we choose what you want to learn to do because you know there's there's ways to go about it. i'll like i will i will explain how i approach it and stuff and with this and like how i make it work and like how how to do because it. it's not that complicated honestly it's just like kind of you gotta like just like know a few things here and there um but before we did that we did have just the uh character images like if i do this um i think this is the one and then if i go over here But if I do this, like, um, you see I pop up on screen. And that's how we used to do this. Um, but I personally didn't like I Well, I did like it. I thought it, for what it was, it was very good. And it was very fun. But now, there's uh, the new way we do it is a lot better, I think. I forgot how to make light pattern. Oh, congratulations, Excat. That's exciting. That's really cool. Do I make my old place in Photoshop? I... I used to use Photoshop. I don't need this. I don't. I can hop out of this. Um, but I used to use. Um, I used to use. Uh, I used to use Photoshop when I was on Mac because I had Photoshop on Mac. Um, but when I moved over to PC, I used uh, uh, Clip Studio Paint. Uh, and so, like, yeah, and you can you can use what you want for the overlays and stuff. Um, however, you design them. I also do overlay commissions, which if you are interested, I do do those. And that's actually going to be a very interesting thing to talk about um because i that's something i want to like i want to talk about um where are we where are we sorry if i'm ignoring you in chat but i think also like i i'm gonna try pick out just the the questions regarding the the um the stream but yeah um I think the biggest thing I would recommend is like when like you are doing stuff like this is organize yourself and make sure like you're organized and you're not like because like it's messy and it can be you, like behind the screen uh, the screen stuff it can be very confusing. Um, oh yeah, we're actually listening to um, some of the task soundtrack like the welcome and the. The BRB playlist and the uh, the ending playlist, because uh, I I will be talking about the music and I'll be talking about a lot of stuff. Because um, like you you'll see here I like in uh, go over the pre production the art I'm gonna want to talk about, um, just the music the overlay visuals and just the stream prep and then like um, a bit of post production stuff. And yeah, CSP uh, Clip Studio Paint is is very good. I, I I have a lot of fun with it. It's my favorite program. Um, yeah. Where are we? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so with the prep of the stream, it's not a lot. The most comes down to like just making sure the um, right handouts are going to be seen on stream. I make sure they're all set. And sometimes I, I don't do that. Um, but because I've done a lot of it in the background and it's all ready beforehand, no stress. Uh, all the stress is taken out of it because it's I've made sure it's all sorted. Um, we do, there is a bit, with it, I guess it maybe this sort of does count towards stream prep is the initial 30 minutes um so i try to meet my so with a normal dnd group i try to meet an hour before just so we get all the hangout out of the way and like, everyone's like cool and relax and calm down but with streaming it's kind of like you've got a, there's an extra bit on top of that so we try to meet two hours before and it's not always like it doesn't always like need to happen but i'll be in, i'll usually be in vc um two hours before but not always because I, I sometimes i like i, I fall behind um, but the idea is to get like all the players chill and comfortable and ready beforehand and they're all happy and they're ready to go and then I will do a 30 minute just sound check to make sure everyone's levels are right and I'll be over discord because uh, I use discord for my calls and like, I'll make sure everyone's volumes are all set and perfect um, and then oh what's the word and yeah and like so there's like making sure making sure everyone's levels and stuff is all set um, and the music um here's this half an hour so we can just exactly like it's just it, it happens though um because like sometimes yeah and like and like i'll um uh, my players will like it, like i'll only need them for like 10 minutes like i'll just get just tell me about the fall of rome that's my go-to is ask tell me about the fall of rome and like even if they don't know what the fall of rome is it's just like um improvise improvise a, a quick just like little story about the fall of rome 
and that rambling that they go off of is just to find where the highs where the lows are and like where they get like where their middle is and i want to find specifically the middle and then make sure that's not too quiet or too loud and i want to and i want to make sure like the um the ambience music from roll 20 isn't going over and i want to make sure the um the the disc uh, the music from the stream uh for like the the, the combat and stuff isn't over the uh, the players as well the, exactly the fallen realm can be anything you want it to be how do you make it so that your players can also hear the music being played in the stream i use um the jockey music bot um some people share their screen i believe um and like, this is over discord to me i think even obs ninja i think like uh, top down tabletop for example uh they use um obs ninja and they share their screen uh scarlet quinn when he uh when i played in his one shot um he had um he what's it called it he um he shared a screen for his um who else have i played in i think some uh with mcclunky squadron when we do that sam we wouldn't hear the music uh, until like very until the most recent session but like generally he had the music playing on in the stream and we'd listen through that uh roll 20 has like a mu music option that you can use if you want to i use it now just for the ambience and like sound effects and stuff but i don't use it for anything else um the jockey music bot is what i mainly use um or fresh my brother and that's a lot less like hey um do you hold anything something like a f uh, fake session of con that's what the chemistry one shots are for uh the chemistry one shots before we even start the campaign um is to get like the the whole um just every just to make sure they're comfortable they know what they're playing they enjoy each other's company and like it's mainly just so that i can make sure that like i can trust one i can trust them and i enjoy their company and i enjoy and i think they'll be a good fit for the game um but i also want them to like feel like they can they can handle the, the energy that comes into this uh, but I do always say to them at the even like, even when I have like guests on that like that have streamed and understand the, the the pressures behind it, I try to let them know that like it's like first and foremost it's a game of D and D to them. The stream doesn't need to be a concern from them whatsoever. Uh, they don't need to look at chat. They if they if they want to be completely avoid of like just interaction from the stream. Hi chat. The only time I'll ever interact with chat is like if like a certain uh, very few situations come up. Um. Um, I didn't know they did that, x -Cat. That's actually really cool. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, like, they, um, they, um, they'll have that chemistry one to, uh, to build to, 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 uh, relax, essentially. Uh, and, like, have less stress on that part. And, like, I think, like, the players are, like, especially the one, especially Tass, for example, like, um, at the start, I don't, I, I'm not sure where Georgia and Sam were uh, in regards to this. I think Sam, like, was, he's, because he's streamed before, he's, and he's been with me a few times on stream, so he hasn't, like, uh, he isn't, he wasn't as nervous about it. Um, and, like, I don't know where, where Georgia's, uh, where your headspace was on that one, uh, specifically at the beginning, Georgia, but, like, when, um, but, like, as time went on, they, you'd see them a lot more regularly in chat, and, like, there's a lot more, like, they're able to multitask between uh, talking with chat and talking with, uh, and, like, hanging out on stream. And also, there's also, like, knowing when this with the scenes focusing on lo-fi boy so georgia can just go can hang out and chat if she wants to um or she can just pull herself away and just go take a break um and then if uh if georgia if a lone eco is having a moment then lo-fi boy can take a step back if he needs to and like they've got i think we've all gotten like our personal uh style of play we all know where like our like when i can we can take the time away. and like all like you guys don't see it but on roll 20 we had like in chat they'll say i'll be i'll be just gonna go grab a drink and they'll they'll, they'll go away for a bit and uh generally we've been pretty lucky where like we haven't like um and like we've gotten to know each other's like um how long certain things take in for stuff like this so we haven't we don't like need to like wait longer than we need to or we don't like pull them up at, at a moment where they're on a break i think in combat it's trickier because how fast combat can go uh but generally in rp moments we're very good at that Um, where are we? Uh, also, just presence on stream, kind of like today, to get used to it a little bit. Exactly, having a pr like getting just just trying to get used to the, uh, like bringing the cast on. Like I met with them all beforehand, and like the ones that didn't stream or uh, haven't don't stream as often. I like I told them don't try not to stress about it. There's like you won't need to focus on chat. If there's ever a moment that you where you'll need to focus on chat, I'll bring it up. 
and like if, if it's if it's a stress um but if you are comfortable uh, chatting with chat then you can you can play with it um where are we and exactly like it's just hanging like and like the like the regular chemistry session and just like hanging out and chatting like uh we have like lately we've been doing like group meetings where it's not really meetings it's just us hanging out it's just it's this is slightly time where like we we could be working we could be doing our thing currently we're re-watching tasks but as we're re-watching tasks we're still just hanging out and we're also just like and there's also times where we just world build together but that's us just time so that we can spend time with each other so we're getting comfortable and like we're making sure that we're all like we are actually being friends behind the scenes because like that is that's another thing i like is worth talking about is like the whole we're a bunch of friends streaming D and like it's like that i think like, cause, like this came from the twitch lease uh last last year they're like i my stance on it is like yeah you can be friends streaming D, &D but like it's it's still there's a lot that goes into it and, like as you can see like you'll you'll see there's a lot that goes into this and a lot of thought that has to go into like not even just like on the the session prep just the streaming side of things there's a lot that has to go into this and you've got to prepare for and like so like it's although it is still friends playing dini there is still an element of you've got to be like a bit more not professional but at least like you know what you kind of like know where your wits are about you in like this these kind of situations and like like not to say like my stream is highly produced but like because of the situation it is I try to make it a very, uh, very well produced stream for the lack of budget, uh, because some some uh, current APs right now are um, some current APs that are streamed are like the cast are paid, um, but like my group, like I I told them from the beginning, like this isn't a paid, like I can't pay you. Um, but some some games like you you will like you you are expected to get paid, um, but we 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 spoke about it. like I can't pay you, and, like it's. But when, like, I want to, like, if this ever goes anywhere, you, like, I, I want to bring them with me, essentially, through the entire thing. And, like, that's why, like, I said the whole thing of, like, the whole, um, the whole idea of, like, having, um, like, we wanted a Patreon beforehand. And, like, the, the, that was, like, to fund the stream. But after we funded the stream project stuff, like, the commissioning art for tokens, because we used to get tokens made a while back. Uh, before we did that though like uh, or after we did that like it, like i would pay the cast back or like we'd pay like a threat time and like uh, i mentioned how like sam and georgia for example they are always they i they have a guaranteed slot on my table at all times um like, i know i've known georgia since i began playing the game and I've, I've she has become one of my favorite people to hang out with both off the table and on the table <laughs> both uh, during a game of D&D, I had a, had a game of D&D, so she's always there. And like Sam, I like I I I I see like both Sams. I see them more than I see my family sometimes. So they're like like I and I know I can rely on them. And like with Jacob, like when I brought him in, just learn like he had a lot more experience in than I did with this. He did his own production on like an AP and stuff. Um. He and like he did like a lot of and like he did a bunch of like just editing and something. He he was very much. He had produced content before and he had a, a lot more thought into the uh, production. So I wanted him to be part of this, both as a friend, because we were friends beforehand, but also because the way he, um, he just knew I could learn from him, from, from playing with him. And like, and like, as time went on, you like, you learn some people like cannot commit to the games. And so you've just got either like you gotta like like this is why like you gotta like when you pick your players and like do the chemistry one shots but also let the players know what they're getting into you be very con uh, concise this they are streaming and if you want to make it big and you want it or you want to like be successful at streaming like that's the sex success can be what you want it to be um i like i feel very successful with tas already like we get people making fan art and like uh, it gets the art community in my discord very in uh like it, get, it gets them uh wanting to draw stuff and that like makes that like that to me is success in that on that level um for like what we are producing and exactly you got to set expectations you've got to like set make sure everyone knows what they're getting into and like sometimes even when they think they know what they're getting into they, they don't i uh, hope you enjoy your dinner fix thank you for standby uh even when they don't know what they're getting into uh they think they know what they're getting into and like um sometimes you can't help it sometimes like that just happens and like it does kind of fall um a few like situations arise where like it like you can't it has to be addressed and you've got to like um do something about it and like either like ask them to leave 
or like have a few meetings to like improve the behavior or not improve the behavior but like have them like understand that this like what where you are coming from and like what their expectations were and sometimes like it like it just doesn't work out the way you want to and sometimes like like with jacob like uh, playing rocky for example he had to take a hiatus so by taking that hiatus um oh he he, he gave me that like uh, um he told me like i'm gonna be away for this amount of time i we need to like like i want to come back and like, okay well we'll sort out something to like write you out and then you can come back in in the future um but yeah like, that's like it's um making sure like you're picking the right place and making sure every like on that side it, there's a lot of that i think that's the hardest part about the entire thing is the the player side and making sure like they're one they know what they're getting into they're gonna enjoy getting doing what they're doing and just like making sure they know what's everything that is like planned or not planned but like expected of them and like i my like my the cast of tasks they 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 are and even like extensive jealous rocky as well they are so understanding and so appreciative and just so like loving in the regards to like understanding how like uh, this is like very much like a me thing and like i'm putting in a lot of like like everything with the art with like um i'm putting a lot into like the production side of things where they will go out of their way to offer help and like actually help with stuff Sometimes they can't help with everything. Like the art, for example, like I want it to look, I want it because like the stream is one big, um, like Kaz art show essentially. <laughs> like um, with 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 my with my players uh, playing as like the characters that are like drawn by me and stuff, and and so like are they like they understand they can't help with the art. But like like for example, Sammy, she had like at the beginning, even before I even like offered like or asked for help. She reached out and said, um, if you need me to help with like the the flats or anything, um, ask. I had forgotten to ask, to be fair. I, sh I, d I didn't mean to like message her like, okay, here are the colors. Can you please, please help? Um, so many cases, so many. But, I, um, but like, she, like there was that. Um, having Sam, George, and even uh, some of the Discord, like Taken, um, Brayden, uh, Saffron, uh, Gato, um, and a few other people have like helped me with the music and produce and like picking out playlists and like these are like people that have like may have seen a few sessions or like under like i gave them an idea of what the soundtrack is for task i have a i have a very specific vibe i want to emulate and they um and they and they basically went and found me a bunch of songs and not every song they send is once i add to the playlist but like most of it generally goes in and like that's like um a lot of it is like although it's like there's not much that like like knowing and like like knowing where you like um who you can ask for help and like how much and how like how much help you they give you and stuff you have by amazing me too thank you i like but yeah no i like i know what i want and like it's just like the people like help me with that like they're very sweet with that and like so yeah like like i they didn't expect any like uh, sam um i think he was uh sam east he said um like just playing is enough like that is like that's a sense that's that's like being paid like the time that i'm spending and putting into this and the energy i give to it is enough like it gives him enough gratification where like it's it like he like he doesn't like it doesn't matter on that side of things but at the same time it's it's still something i'm like i would like to catch, uh to, to to pay them one day um You'll need to do poker catch uh, ultra um, ultra ball um, Oswald, um, but next time hopefully. Um, and so yeah, like it's like I'm, I like I tell I, I again I like I tell them every time that like, I want to play them, I just can't right now. Um, but sometimes like and like that's why like a lot of APs that you'll see online, uh, I think Twitter is like an example of this. Like you'll you'll see oh no ultra ball ultra ball, um, poker catch ultra ball. I'm oh, sorry sorry Oswald. Um, on Twitter, like I've seen a lot of people like uh, mentioning paying uh, podcast, but I think it's like it's just like making sure like they know what the expectations are, and like where like if you can or can't pay them, um, and it's like, and like there's like even um, like when you guest on other streams, like when like I've, like I've never expected to be paid for my my guest appearances be or um because i'm there to spend uh like i'm there to like to be a part of this game with them like it's not that isn't 
in like it's like they give me like uh, like whenever I guess like um the voidcast or top on tabletop uh when I when I guess it on Sin uh with Sin's community. I don't think I've guessed it on this stream yet. But like um and like the other place I've guessed it, like they've given me their time. I want to give them some of my time back, kind of thing. And it's like it's like not I don't see um they're like there's a need for that personally but like i understand um it's it's still people's time so it's on like it's um they would some people do want to get paid for that and that's fair you don't gotta pay me to advertise my stuff after all it, well i gotta it's plus also it's advertising that because it's slick ass logo i made <laughs> um we are not like and like like with uh like and for example like yeah uh with the cast um for jailhouse rocky and uh eventually tass even um because like the new overlay is is is, is where i'm like i've gotten sponsors so like i've i'm starting advertising stuff and with those advertising advertise i'm advertising my casts my stunning graphics well your stunning jewelry sorry georgia sorry sorry um but, like my um no like, i, I want to advertise everyone's uh like they're giving me their time i'd like to at least help push some of the stuff they do um so like uh jacob's um it is just uh, uh, exclamation mark D8 um, with Jacob's um, Jacob's podcast, Georgia's um, Georgia's uh, graph, uh, Georgia's jewelry sound her graphics um, and McClunky's Squadron and other stuff like that. It's like that's that goes along with all the sponsors I get or well, I have gotten for this. Um, let's see what were the other questions I had because there, there was a few that I. I, I had saw earlier. I keep forgetting to ask someone about this, but is the character outline lighting up um, when they speak an obvious feature or writes? It's right some other way, and I, I'll I'll go through that as well because I um, that's something I'm gonna like talk about because it's it's a thing. Because um, how do you find and connect all these different communities? You've mentioned before that you believe Twitch is perfect for emerging communities. What are your thoughts on the other brand community or communities that you are becoming a part of? Um, I will answer that in a second. Um, Oswald, um, I don't know if I use Franca Face Z. I don't think I've actively used. Um, I, if it's something that like is, I got better Twitch TV. I don't think I have that. I think Ob Ob OBS does have something for that, but like I um, I don't. What's it called? Oh no, I didn't mean to click shuffle. Let's do this. I didn't um. I don't have it installed for my 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 own Twitch though, but I think OBS does have something for that. There's launch activity one and one. Oh shit, that's pretty neat. I have to look into that. Um, so yeah, with with communities and stuff. So that's another thing with the friends. Um, the friends thing. I've meant like Twitch is, I think the best. Um, not the best. Sorry. Uh, with like growing through Twitch, it's a uh, a lot of um like joining other communities and like merging them is a great way for growth and meeting other content creators um dinosaur boys going to play dinosaur game i don't know if you're still lurking sam but like <laughs> um but yeah like uh i i think i think i like i i most like it was most realized when i saw like vix draws i think when i realized she's um she was just everywhere. I saw her in like a bunch of D&D streams and like fix. Um, and like I went to go check out her stuff uh, or through Top Down Tabletop. And like, I'm like, oh shit, she's really cool. And they're really cool. Like the whole group. Um, but like I had met um, a bunch of different, like you, like you basically go into like different communities and like you hang out and like gauge, is this a cool person or is this not a cool person? Do you enjoy their content? Are they fun? Uh, and like you gauge how like how you personally gauge uh, content um and those that you like like when you join their communities and become a part of their communities like and become ingrained with it like a lot of it usually kind of merges overlaps over each other and like sometimes like it's not a hundred percent overlap but like for example like um like i noticed with a few streamers or a few dnd streams like a lot of their communities kind of like are the same all over but then in other places um although the the content creators they're friends and they like they like mix across each uh mix with each other the communities don't mix 
or they like they mix but like very rarely but like that's something like it's that's still a way of like showing that the communities kind of like are merging and growing uh, together and I, I think like that's like i think like that's one of the best ways to like genuinely make uh friends through content creating creating and like building communities through content creating is like seeing how other communities do their thing and going out and reaching out to other communities and building building up into one mega community essentially uh speaking of communities i run a D, &D discord um or a art and D, D discord go check it out that's not how you spell that yeah um yeah feel free to ask any more questions if you have anything i think that's all the questions i saw in chat so i'm gonna start just explaining me i love discord mm. great 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 uh community. being charismatic helps it does it is and like i i think i've noticed over time like when i started stream i was very reserved and like it kind of like you but you build you build up on it like i find i've become a very like not not to say i'm very charismatic but like when like um like if you hang out with me in Discord, I'm usually working and very focused on my work. Um, and like I'll sometimes talk and uh, stuff like that, but like, I'll be very like focused and zoned in. And so I sometimes won't listen. Um, but like when I comes to Discord, I'm I've got like I'm, I'm like the whole the whole thing of like I am here to entertain. So like when I'm like I think it's like it's not that big of a problem when I'm when I'm streaming Dini, but when I'm doing my art, it is a it is a thought where like I am. I am thinking of like um I'm uh thinking of like how um I'm presenting myself essentially and like stuff like that. Have you ever seen someone part of your community? Uh, I have seen a few people and like I what I like is cause like the way I see it is like people that are using my space to promote, I appreciate the and like I when like I um when I see them uh, live, I, I go live. I like to, if I have the time, I'll go. You will come off to what are we talking about, by the way, Sam? But yeah, um, oh, when, when, when I used to, yeah, when I started streaming, exactly, I, I had uh, my cams on. Um, and, like that came after a while. And I, I like that was a confidence thing. Um, and like, I, feel, I, I think I had like a natural, like just like I had a natural desire to be friends with people. So like, it's like, it's, it, I found like, and I learned that, like, if I talk with people and, like, like learn the interest and, like, I gel with the interests, it can it, it becomes very easy because, like, the conversation kind of flows in on itself. Um, yeah, when people, when I see people in my community start streaming, I, like, I, my, my instinct is to go support them because, like, they, they've supported me, they've given me their time. Um, like, it's, it's not, like, something that, like, is, like, it's not, I think it's interesting, like, if, like, the viewer was entitled to getting the support from the streamer is a problem. Uh, and like, 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 if you follow me, like, you don't expect me to go follow you. But like, if you like use my self promo in my Discord to uh, like um, promote, I will go and like check out what you're doing. And I'll, if I enjoy it, I will support it, kind of thing. And like, I'll like, cause you you're, you're still using my space to like engage with people. And like, it's like, so I am, I'm using what that that, that room is there to do to promote your stuff. And like, I will go check it out. And I I will go I go like, hey, look, you're, you're doing the things. That's cool. Um. I can't, but I know, like, I'm also very much, like, I'm always working, so I can never, like, hang out with, uh, or watch other streams, and, like, this is an interesting thing, because, like, um, I was speaking about, uh, during an interview the other day, um, with, like, you, I, I discovered, as, like, I, uh, started streaming D&D, &D and just streaming in general, you stop watching streams, or you very rarely ever go to watch streams, and, like, whenever I go to a stream, I'm lurking, always lurking, and, like, you learn as, um, or not learn, but like you like realize over time that like yeah, like you you aren't watching as many streams as you want. So like now sometimes I'll like when I have my days off, I'll or at least like not when I have my days off, but like whenever like I see people go live, I'll go say hello and just say oh, hello. I'm here. I'm I'm lurking. I'm not able to hang, but I'm at least come say hello and make sure you're doing good kind of thing. Cause like just to, just to check in and give you my time. Cause like you've you, you you're cool, and like like I wouldn't follow if I didn't think you were cool. Kind of thing. Um. But yeah. Uh, pop, 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 pop. where are we? So, like, for example, like uh, Spooky Spring, like, I'll see that. I'll, I'll usually click it and just saw that one, like, that goes, um, that adds to, because, like, you, when you click on those notifications, it boosts the, um, I think it does something with their uh, analytics and boosts the situation on that end. Um, so, yeah, and we're going to build the overlay. Oh, 
how many hydras i have one two three four five six I have five. I think that's the, I did. I did do one of them. So we have five there that I need to. When I do go off my break, I will go. I will drink some water. Don't worry. Um, when we hit three, well, we'll go. Uh, we'll go drink. Drink because I can't believe. I hope by the way this is insightful and like this is like it isn't just me rambling and it is like helpful and like you guys are feeling like you're learning something or like you're enjoying the seeing the behind the scenes stuff and like just the whole side of things on that end. Um, I'm going to keep this at the top, mainly because, like, um... Because, like, you guys will, uh... Will do the things. Um, I'm glad. Where are we? You are learning too wonderful. It is very helpful. Perfect. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go down my, my, my list of things here. Oh. Thank you for the follow, Nux. Hi, welcome to the vibe in. We are talking about streaming D&D &D and how my process of, uh, streaming D&D. &D. Um... So pre-production is the, like, we can start with this stuff. This, uh, for Jailhouse Rocky, this started uh, back in January. Oh, it's fireworks. Why? October's going to be bad. There's going to be a lot of fireworks in October. Why can't you just listen to what you say for fireworks? I, I appreciate you enjoying the vibes. So thank you, Hunter. And you have a good, good, good break there, uh, Cap. Thank you for something, bye. Hopefully I'll see you in a second. It is firework time. Why is it firework time? What's happened? I don't... Nothing happens here, does it? Not for the top of my head. Um, so yeah. Pre-production. So this started back in... January this year, I think. Um, I spoke with Jacob about the idea of like a mini campaign. I think I even spoke with the main cast about this. Um, and so like that was like we, we started the idea of like... I want to do this, and I want to do this, like, um, it was a very bare bones idea. I don't know how much time I wanted to, like, put into it, I don't know how much time I wanted to prepare into it, but I had, like, these ideas, and so I'm like, okay, well, let's, 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 let's get these down. And I think around March is when I fully started thinking about it, and giving some more thought and, like, ideas. And then, so I looked for players, that was the first thing to do. Uh, this isn't, like, a list of, like, um, in order. So yeah, I looked for players, and so my initial instinct was Sam, Sam West, um, of McClunky Squad. He is the most reliable person I know, purely because I, I know he'll be there every day, um, and like that's from exp from experience. I know he's always there. Um, by the way, Nux, if you uh, if you have any questions or want to know more about uh, streaming TND or just streaming in general. Feel free to ask in chat. I will uh, be answering all the questions. Um, yeah, and so I, I I reached out for Sam, and then the next obvious uh, choice was um, Jacob from McClunky Squadron, because uh, not Jacob, sorry, uh, Asia from McClunky Squadron, because he is also just as reliable. Um, he is busier because he he does work, uh, but I had him basically written down. I want to play with him. Um, then we had from the West marches because um, I and from just their engagement in just with the law epi um i and like so i wrote noted her down because one i really enjoyed how she played in the west i thought she would be a very interesting character and very um a very good for this kind of saying um both uh, in regards to streaming but also in regards to just the world she understood it a lot better than like the general player is the way i would say it um and i enjoyed i enjoyed her company it takes you to drop. I'm very sorry, Hunter. I, but the VOD will be there, so you you will be able to like watch watch it back. Um, if you do miss any other things, and I will be doing a video on this properly and like explaining. Um, Epi was um from the West Marches, and like yeah, she 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 asked questions about the law, and she was very engaging with the law, and like she, it was the same with a like Sam and Ha. They both. They both engaged with the law as well, and, like they they really enjoyed it. And like I and like Sam's been there from the beginning with the law. He like he would hear me rant about it, and he would help me with ideas for the, a lot of the time. Um, and then the final person was Remove Sam, uh, Sammy. And we played a Civ stream with her, like you just mentioned there during the Civ stream. I really enjoyed how just into it she got with the roleplay, and how much just fun that she was to like play off of. And so she was my uh, my fourth pick, and I wanted to be just. I think I was thinking of five to six um, characters. Um, 
but they were who I wanted. And so my that's the first thing I did during uh, pre-production is like ask um, who would who would be playing and make sure like they were available. And then I also um, I also reached out to Jacob and made sure like when was he available to do this. So not only could I prepare when this is good, so I know like what to give, let the players know, but also I did um, this like gauge when Jacob was coming back and what I needed to do to task to make it seem logical that like the storyline would converge in on one another because I want I wanted them both to come together like at the end um and so we found that and then I decided all right, give me let's let's talk about characters and so I went and like started speaking with them like what, what are the ideas they want to play what's something interesting about the world they enjoyed and what was the vibes that like they wanted to to do and I did a sketch of the base prison outfit and like we just like worked around like with the art and stuff. That was like, they did a few sketches, uh, the ones that did want to sketch. They sketched, um, they sketched their, um, their characters and like the ones that didn't sketch, we like, we could mood boards for this kind of things. And like, and when we did the mood boards, um, we... I like I we brainstormed a few sketch ideas and we just like kind of like I, I I shelved those very early on only because like I just I could I could those could wait those are things I could save for later. Castception it is Castception. How do you figure out your schedule with all these exciting things coming and going? So it's tough because I have a habit of very much overbooking a lot of the time uh, and double booking. Um, but I knew Saturday, Sunday was always task week. Uh, task uh, it was D and D weekend, so I mentioned. Sundays I need I will one I will always need Sundays that was the that was the choice I made and that was like the the stipulation and there was just like making sure Jacob what what time um uh what you put part of the year was Jacob available and it was July um and so we basically just like said this is like this is when I want to do the sessions these are the three dates so it was um I think we got it basically 17th 31st of July and then 14th of August oh yeah it is because I'm going to Canada on the 18th. Um, and like that's like... So it ends at a really nice time. So like the idea is like... And then those were the three dates I said for sessions. And it lined up perfectly with everyone. Like everyone was like in around that time. I don't know if you heard that. But like I burped. Sorry, bless me. Um, Yeah, so I, I shelved the art and stuff. Uh, but I did mood board like what was the aesthetic I wanted to, to have for the, for the project. And Michelle of the Voidcast, um, he did a, um, he mentioned very early on and before we were even friends, I think, but like he saw my art and he, um, I know, how could I burp? Um, he saw early on my art, um, and referred to it as samurai hip hop. And this was before even like, it like got really detailed or to the level it is now. We referred to it as samurai hip hop. I'm like, that's really cool. And I want that to be the aesthetic of this entire project. So I, um. So I just started like thinking like how do I want to portray this and I started on mood boards. I don't have the mood boards anymore sadly. Um, but like, I started on mood boards of specific eyes. I think like one like noodle was one of them for example. And like he had like a square brush or they had a square brush in their work. Oh he's that's bold. Um, he had a square brush. And so I used that in the um, in the like that was like I felt that was the, the fit. That was perfect for this entire thing. And so, like, whenever I designed any, like, the promo art, the logo, and, like, all that, like, my idea was to use the square brush for that. Um, but then even the music, like, I'm, I I think I'm gonna, like, I'm not sure where I'm going with the music just yet. That can, I feel like that can wait. Like, I can generally do that, like, on the, um, uh, the day before. Um, but I'm also thinking I might just use the normal Tass Tantra, because, like, that fits still at the same time. Of, like, that samurai hip-hop aesthetic that I have in my head. Um, which is even more like, like the welcome, like this playlist and the other place I was playing, uh, the two places I was playing at the beginning of the stream and during the middle, like these are like, this is the like aesthetic of the musical soundscape of Tass, I, I, I feel, or just Shrey Leia in general. And so that would have fit, per that's, that, that'll fit perfectly, regardless if I use it or not for Jailhouse Rocky. Um, where are we? <laughs> So, and that's that's the other thing and like i came back to that um around may i think around may um 
around May, I like I uh, reached out, not reached out, sorry, I started doing the art and like making sure like everything was finalized visually. But this was like this was after like I was certain they wanted to play their characters. They um because like I didn't want to draw the characters if they didn't want to play that character. Cause, like then like, I would have to scrap that entire design and move it to the next thing. Um. All right. But yeah, that was like the art side of the, uh, the pre-production. Um, where are we? What are your plans for the future? Are you living week to week with your schedule? Do you have a rough time? I rough idea. I assume you mean in regards to like just the streaming side of things. Or how do I like how do I prepare like my my schedule? Generally, it's week to week. It's kind of like I know every other week is uh, D and D week. So I'll just focus, a lot of my time is spent focusing on D&D stuff. So if I need to prepare art for that, I focus on that. But I do like generally, it's, it's very much week to week. Is like, I'm very focused on the commission. But I try to like, if I know something's ahead of time, I will book it into like my calendar and try to remember that that's coming up. Um, right now, I pretty much have all of, up to August uh, fully booked. And like that's no, like that's like, I am aware of that. October I'm keeping generally free other than like the one like planned sessions that we have are being invited on um, Yeah The next thing uh, is music so I used um, so like the whole thing is <laughs> being um, Royalty free so um, we wanted to like have a specific vibe so I asked a few of my streaming friends how do they go about music? There's Sirenscape. Um, there was Norse Foundry, I think it was. Um, and a few other people. And like, I think even like uh, like the Dirkwood, for example, they did. Like, they make their own music. And like, just different places all like use their own different things for music. And then I, um, I was talking to Sam East about this. And he, uh, his partner Marcelo had mentioned um, or had suggested uh, Artlist.io, I think. Um, and I think there was another one, Epidemic Sands, I think was, that was the one. Uh, but the difference, but the two that I, like, from the difference was, um, that I wanted, um, was I wanted to be able to, like, not have to worry that, like, if I get this license now, I don't have to worry about the music later on ever again. I don't have to worry that, like, that I need to have this constant subscription. And that's the issue with Epidemic Sands, was they needed a constant subscription. So Artlist, uh, was what I used, and so if I do this... That's the wrong one. Yeah. And so like, this is what I use for like my um my music. And like I would generally like it's it's pretty easy. Like I like I would basically browse it like like <laughs> waste of time is one of like the the this um the music I use for the uh, the thing. But so I would just uh, specifically pick the genres of like uh retro, electronic, uh folk, funk, hip hop. A jazz indie and pop and um sometimes world on occasionally world and then i would also like find like is are they fitting a specific music a mood or are they, uh, is there any specific instrument i need usually at least like, if there was a synth in there like so it was um where is it synths yeah i would like be like yeah i'm gonna use that um oh hi late june welcome to the vibe in thank you for the raid hi How's your stream? How's all the things? But hi. <laughs> You're really tired. It is very, it is very uh, sleepy. I know you wanted to stop by for the stream. Um, so the, I have answered a bunch of questions. Uh, if you have any questions about streaming D&D, feel free to ask away now and I'll, I will get to them. Uh, but also um, the VOD will be up and I will be uploading it to YouTube so you you won't miss on any things. Um, you should have an interview stream in Q&A one day and spill your secrets into one day. I mean, this is kind of that. You saw this one street uh, Thursday. Now you're you're okay. You're you're good. Yeah, yeah check uh, the vod will be there. Okay, I'll keep the vod up. And it, it it's got a it, it, like we we were talking about like uh, the chemistry one shots and like we spoke with the cast or most of the cast, and then like right now he's just like talking about the um the prepare uh, the prep that I put into like the overlay and just like all the things that like building up to things. Uh, but thank you for thank you for the raid. Thank you for stopping by. And if you are gonna sleep, you you have a you have a good sleep. You had a whole list of questions ready. Go ahead, fire fire them. I I'm happy to like answer, um, and try to keep them. Ideally, I want to keep it like relevant to just streaming D and D, 
but also like feel free to like, if you if you, like um generally depending on the size of the, uh, the the answer it could be fine uh, a few things will get me like i like i know certain things will get me like uh going what did i want to rant about those two things i wanted to like rant about well like, not rant rant but like just like discuss and go in depth in i got into DD when i was um in college uh not college uni so i knew of DD like up until that point and like I learned about like um, like from like Big Bang Theory and just like just games and stuff. I think there was a there was a, in Fable uh, three there is a specific quest where you you do a uh, you you play a game of D and D. And so like I had um, I had uh, what's the word? I had um, licenses. Yeah. I, I I shall continue. It was just with someone like how like I picked the music and like uh, organized it all. So I will. I'm gonna get into that in a second. Um, but when I picked like when I when I learned to play D and I went into it and like I had the idea and like me and my uh, friend at the time uh, or it was still my friend Jacob, a uh, different Jacob, English Jacob. We were in a band. Um. Uh, we were in a, we were in a band and like I, uh, I was thinking it'd be nice to like get closer as a group and so i offered let's play DD. and so i basically made my own rules for DD because i didn't know like the way you could get the books and stuff or the the rules and stuff um but i learned about all the rules and stuff and um i i'm just gonna say good night i don't know why i was gonna wave i don't know what i was gonna like yeah good, good night uh good night june thank you for standby um but yeah i was learning about all the the um I made my own rule set essentially, and I, I actually talked about these uh, very early on um, when I was uh, started streaming. Um, I might look at them again. Like, there's some really cool ideas in there. Um, but when like I uh, started, um, we made these rules, and like we played, and like I I already I realized this isn't as fun as I thought as I wanted it to be. Like, it's kind of like cool and all, but like it like it's very inconsistent, inconcise. Uh, but then my fr then Jacob's like, oh, you know, I've actually played D&D before. So he made me, he let me embarrass myself, essentially. And, like, play with these shitty fake rules. And then turns out he knows how to play the game already. And so he offered to run a fourth ed edition game with me and uh, the rest of the band. Uh, I was the only one that did end up wanting to play. So I'm like, alright, cool, let's play. The band broke up uh, very soon after. Jacob, no, this is a different Jacob, but he's a good time. Pick up the phone, what are you, what are you doing? Oh no, give me a second. Hello Cinder, welcome to uh, Kaz.TV, what up? Hello. <laughs> Hi, you took me by surprise, what up? Am I? Always oh, because of the thing, from uh, were you having trouble with it? Hey. It's gone good, we're just talking about me uh, starting to play D&D. &D. Well, the first time I played D&D. You did a very good job. I I think I think there's the, the you got you guys chat you learn you can't hear them they can't hear you give me a second. Say they can't something. hear me. They can hear you now. They can hear you now. My <laughs> chat can hear you. I'm very sorry. I forgot. Give me a second. Let me let me turn you down just a tidge. No, make me louder. <laughs> Speak. Ba 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 ice cream and sandwiches, ice cream and sandwiches. Give me the cheese, give me your feet, give me your legs, give me your eyeballs. Am I loud enough? You're you're perfect. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, chat. You guys learning? You you guys learning? They can hear. They can hear Cass. Cool. Yeah, they can hear. Cassception. It's Cassception, and like it's another bit of streamception. I'm over on Cinder's channel right now, apparently. Yeah, this is what we do, my dude. This is the world that I live in. That's very cool. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really honest, mm -hmm. Kaz. Um, be honest. Um, I'm I, I have two things to say. The first thing is that what you're doing right now is probably actually helpful to some people. So that's the first thing, mm. which is good. <laughs> the second thing is when I see somebody that I care about doing something that is actually helpful. You want to distract them? Why do I want to distract them? What's wrong with me? Don't worry about it. I was it's... like, I was like, I was like, Kaz is, I was literally, literally, I was looking at your stream and I was like, he's not doing anything. I need to wait till he's doing something to bother him. Why? What's wrong with me, my dude? <laughs> I feel it. You, you weren't here. Like, so like, um, we have a private D&D, &D, my, my stream group or my stream team, yeah. or my, my, yeah. my D&D &D group. 
they're basically my stream team um but like i was in there and like and like i'm meant to be working i am like this is we're in crunch time for jailhouse rookie um yeah but in that time i was like you know i'm gonna be the most distracting fuck face on the planet and i was really annoying and i know i was getting annoying and i asked him like, like if i'm being annoying just tell me but i know i'm being obnoxious right now and i was like trying to do anything but work on these maps and the art and all the things because <laughs> like, i didn't want to um it's but they were very patient wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. what is delport delport of course hmm? you've been in my chat i've stolen you <laughs> but i'm looking forward to the bottles yeah no we it'll be, it'll be yeah i'm gonna leave it up and twitch will delete after two weeks but i will be downloading and uploading to youtube um listen also for folks in my chat um all jokes aside it, kaz knows a lot about this kind of stuff in terms of setting up obs i i run a janky ship because uh, it's the only life I know how to lead. But it's uh, he's aesthetic. a very intelligent dude. Check check this motherfucker out. Kaz, I'm going to just put your... Here, guys. He's a wonderful mm. dude. Check him out. Mm. I'm just... Okay. Mm. Anyway, am I good? Did I distract you well? You did a grand job. Okay. I have two. I have three questions for you. Far away. What's your favorite... Question one. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Mozzarella. Question two. Um, what is the biggest rock you've ever seen? Rocky. Okay. Question three. What is the furthest distance you've ever fallen? Uh, 205 feet. Well, tell me. What? what? Don't worry about it. When? All right, I won't worry about it. Anyway, I love you, and I'm going to but I just wanted to distract you for a You second. did a grand shot. Wait, wait, before you leave, yeah. uh, what's your favorite cheese? Oh, uh, Parmesan. Parmesan. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, what's the biggest rock you've ever seen? Dwayne Johnson. Oh, nice. That's nice. Uh, third question. Uh, how far mm -hmm. have you fallen? Uh, I hover. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Pretty tough. Um, I will say that one time when I was in when I was in college, I was I was I was I was you potentially doing I was potentially doing a hallucinogenic and and uh, uh, sledding uh, down a very steep icy hill, and there were some spiky bushes, and I put my hands out to try to stop myself from going into them and i was wearing these big gloves and i was going too fast and i don't know if you can see my stream right now I can't. but my pinky on this hand uh went like this <laughs> it went like that yeah it's like i did i couldn't feel it because it was cold and i was i wasn't on any hallucinations give me give me give me, give me a second and, give me a second. and i was and my hand I was in this glove and the glove finger was just like over here like this wait wait let me just mute this let me just let me just do this because like, it'll, be, it'll be yeah yeah so, i can't oh, hey, brother anubis What's up, bro? What's up, brother Anubis? How's it going, buddy? So yeah, my finger was my finger was jammed. So basically, basically, my my here's my hand, right? I was sledding, and my finger when I pulled my hands out of the snow, I heard a pop. And when I pulled my fingers out of the snow, this pinky was out like this. And I and I and I was like, oh, this is bad. And I took the gloved hands and I just cut and cracked it back. Oh. And then I was like, my friends, I was like, I think I need to go home. And then we went home and I lived with some really nice people at the time. And they were like, we'll take care of you. And they made a little splint for me. But now, now you see, this is a normal pinky. You see it? Do you see the alignment here? That's a normal pinky. It's a normal pinky. Boom. You don't get a straighter pinky than that. Oh, but look, there's a bit of a delay. Yeah. But look, yeah. here's the other one. It's coming. Notice the difference? Oh, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit wonky. This is as straight as this one gets now. Oh, no. The lifestyle that I lead. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, uh, long story short, that's probably the, that's probably the most I've fallen. But hmm. normally I hover. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. Thank you for distracting me. Yeah, sure. Thanks for you have up a good the call. I will. I'll, no. I'll let you go now, though. No, you, you are wonderful. You, you have, have a good one. one. I love you too. All right. All Bye, right. stream. Bye. Bye, Bye. But yeah. Um. Well, I was distracting. <laughs> but no, I love Cinder. Go check him out. He's he's really fun. Um. Influence. Those pinkies are—they are—they're inverted pinkies. He's got little brackets. Um, I can still hear him. Let's 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 do this. Let's go. Oh, we can't like we can't like I don't know how. We... I'm gonna have to like I'm very sorry, Cinder. I'm gonna have to close the stream because you will distract me if I keep it open. And like he, he's one of those like he he is a very good job. He like his stream alone. Like I remember like the first time I like saw his stream teleport suggest him actually. I had wanted to um. I had wanted to like learn, uh, not learn. I wanted to like just like just listen in, um, and then he started doing this one bit that is called Funny Mike, and uh, that's how I spent four hours not or not four hours, three hours not working, uh, and it's it's hilarious. Go check him out if you. you want to, I I know I feel real bad that I had to do that. Um, 
yeah, let's see what let's see what June asks, and then I'll go back into things. Oh, then we'll go back to the music uh, discussion, or like how I got about music. I love this song. I found this this is from Artlist as well. Like like there's some really good songs that like I like I found from like Artlist for like my uh, like license music licensing licensing, and like if it, and like I just like I thought they were good songs. I actually was speaking to Hawan, uh, the musician. Um, cause I want to bring him on stream as a, as a, a guest for a one shot one day. And like, we, like we, I've got a yes. We just don't have a date. Um, but he's a great musician. Go check out one. Uh, this song is brainstorm. I think we have some really good songs. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to sleep. But in general question, I was going to ask like overlay stuff on Twitch specific integration with D and D, like how to handle chat or how much power to give the audience through things like rewards for subscription stuff. Hmm. So that's an interesting question because it's something I have always been wanting to like. Bye bye, Georgia. Thank you for stopping by. You have a good time. You have a good sleep and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye. Well, if I don't see you then, I'll see you sometime. Bye. Um, so like with, with, um, with what's it called? Um, with giving Twitch like power like that, it's something I've always like been curious about. How do I like think about it? And like, how do I get chat involved? Um, it's it's a very tricky thing because like it depends on like what you're personally comfortable. Like, how comfortable are you with improvising up on the fly with these kind of things? And like, how comfortable are you with like um, working off of chats like chaos essentially? Um, and so like, I like it's. That's I think that's the question you you want to ask, and then like like are you do you think you'd handle that uh, that stress? Because it is stressful. It is like it is a lot to like take take in mind or keep in mind. Um, so generally, I did want to have like I wanted sub and bit uh, in in incentivization, but I realized it's it's hard to keep to keep track of sometimes. So I and I just stopped. Improvise a rule that rules kingdom king. I'm I'm. Oh, King An Angatha was the name I was thinking in my head. Like, I couldn't like pronounce it. King Angatha, and he rules with an iron fist, but he has the coolest motherfucking sword. It's called fucking. It's called um. It's called. <laughs> it's called the Hydra. I don't know. Or well, the Hydrian. The Hydrian. Yeah. And it's, it's a cool ass sword, and it it, it it cuts water. Yeah. Um. But yeah, coming up with uh, the inter uh, improvisational stuff like that. And so I do a thing with, um, it's a thing I do now. It's something I learned. Um, it's and like, I, I found was like, what was felt right for like my stream and fit the world. Cause I, 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 I not to like be like, take my world super seriously, but I do still like, I feel like sometimes if I gave too much power to chat, it would break a lot of things and not make a lot of sense. Um, and so like, I would to keep that, like, kind of like that seriousness or to keep the world grounded. I, I wanted to keep like chat interaction like level, um, so I like with what I personally have is I give uh, spirits that are healing. So, but the and because of the nature of the world having an animism system, um, uh, spirits can come and heal, and it's the same with inspiration. Like there, the, there's these spirits that will just come and help, and it helps because like Lo Nico is a shaman, so she is able to like interact with these kind of things, and it makes it a lot easier to manage. Um, but like, um, but there's also layer actions, which is like my, which is a new thing I've I'm, I've done. But I'm really like, I think it's it's a really cool thing that I've implemented, where like there's different systems of layer actions. There's uh, uh, simple, or there's easy, there's medium, and then there's or there's like, um, um, inconvenience, um, middling. I think was the word I was looking for. And punishing. So these are the three things. Like that's where I give chat power to interact with the stream and like through pricing them like at a certain uh, heights, uh, at a level that isn't too much because I still want like them to interact with it, but I don't want it to be super expensive. So like chat, just like they'll um, they will basically spend layer actions to interact with the world and they'll be a part of the world uh, and interact with the players and like that way they can like impart chaos and it's easier for me to manage because when i'm looking at obs which is generally where i'm always looking when i'm streaming dnd except unless i'm moving something on roll 20 i'm always looking at obs um i will see like over here there'll be a thing that say oh they've used a layer action 
Okay, lair action happened. Flushed. The water all rises in the lair. Um, or the sewer, sorry. And that was the first dungeon. I know I, I did in Rocky Vest, I think, actually. But then I brought it back for the sewer dungeon because I thought it was a really cool idea. Um, and it's just like... I think it's uh, like knowing where you think um, you want to have... Um, where you want to keep like the the chaos essentially and how much you want to give to chat and like some streams like will will be very open about like wanting to give them everything but like it's also managing thing that like, you got to like know that you've got to manage that and, like especially if like if like you like this if like i'm seeing like task averages from like uh 50 like when it gets going it will average from, uh 12 to 15 if we're lucky 18 uh how many of the people will there will use the chat interactions maybe three if, if if it's a good day um which is i'm hoping like like, cause like and like that's like why like it's not upsetting but it's more so it's just like i'm like i want you guys to interact with me and that's why i want them there and like i also think some of them are cool so i want you guys to use them um but like by um but because like, i know like there's not a lot of people using so i can have them be a bit like i can have them be like maybe difficult or powerful um but like when i know it's like that like people are there's a lot of people i can like tone it down or i can increase the price and have him almost be like fluctuating in like um their activity and just like knowing like how active your chat is or how active they're gonna be when you prepare these layer actions um as a strolling down the road make a dexterity save as the road opens up into custom that'd be cool that'd be cool like i do want to do something like, like with an anchor layer or something like where like there's pitfall traps where like a layer action where like the, the floor will collapse because there's an ankeg like just either like came scurrying underneath or like that was just like a like a secret dark mantle uh a cover uh that's actually another thing i i run in my world there's like uh it's like creatures have um um interactions with each other and like some of the creatures help each other and dark mantles help ankegs by filling in holes and like creating walls and stuff and that'd be an interesting one more chat uh chat layer action a giant tentacle comes and tries to grab you that'd be cool for the sewers yeah no, they're gonna make a wisdom save as a tentacle attempts to command you to do a little dancey dance. You're a cat and you, and you dance, dance, dance. I don't know the whole, I don't know the thing, so I can't actually make the meme. Um, but yeah, like, um, like layer actions, and like I, I tailor all the layer actions so like they, like those look cool. I don't know where I'd put them, um, until I build a dungeon. So I've like, I fashioned those layer actions all to, the location and i have them maybe interact with monster or release more monsters or use them to add to the storytelling of the, of the of the thing so it can be like a really interesting creative way of like exploring chat interaction and keep them engaged and also make it very exciting another tentacle pops up and commands you to sleep while dancing oof you sleep dancing those i think it wasn't there a plague that was sleep dancing a while back. um not a while back this was fucking millennia ago not millennia centuries um yeah so like with and um so going back to music uh because we talking about that so when i create playlists like this so let's say um let's i think my favorite playlist from the entire thing or my favorite one to like um actually this isn't the best one i think the best one is basket case i have a bunch for for tas and like you can actually see all the uh, like not all of these but the ones that like are currently like released are in um os uh, tas ost in the discord if you want to like use them in your own games because i personally think they're a really cool vibe and like so if we look at basket case for example uh, when i find it, it the idea of this is like it's for um they're fighting a yokai and like this yokai is this yokai is a um it's something very different to them uh they're it's very new they've never fought like a yokai that is like essentially like this terrifying this dangerous um Whereas other yokai use like a more jazzy synthy playlist. This was a very retro 80s vibes because I wanted them to realize this is very different. This is a completely new vibe. But at the same time, they're with like uh, the NPCs they were with. Like it was uh, Kira and Katsumi. Um, I wanted them to feel like there's there's this hope and like there is like it's very energetic and like there's like they're like kind of like... Um, they're all like they're, they're they're like like a like a like a, like a hero from like 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 a hero a hero in a movie so it's like less being tense 
uh, well, it's tense and dramatic, but at the same time, it's high energy to like kind of inspire the group. And so like, the image in my head, which is like when they started playing, was like like the the group like rolling out their fucking wheels, cause like uh, Katsumi and uh, Lo Nico, they were on rollerblades or roller skates. Uh, Lo-Fi Boy was on the scooter, and uh, uh, Kira was on her skateboard, and they just roll out to go and fight uh, the basket hag. Um, but, like this, and like when I create like playlists like this, like I'll pick. I basically go on art list and I'll just like find all the songs I want. Um, but then, as like I am, I want the song as I know what I want. I'll listen back through the entire playlist, and then I'll think, hmm, does this flow nicely into this song? Does this like it's it's very much like you got to think like an actual playlist. Uh, whereas in my other D and D games, I'll just compile a bunch of songs, and I'll just think, okay, this song is good for the intro, but everything else I don't give a shit where it's placed. But for this, uh, for like Tass, I very much think how does the entire playlist flow into one another how does each song like lead to the next bit and how does it all like flow in like the way i want it to um and i think another great example i'm gonna pause that because i think i want to show you guys something that's really cool and like it's one of my proudest moments with doing tasks um let me let me go to the VOD page but like there's a scene there's a really cool scene that like makes me very happy uh, survival. Um, I like that's like... Let's find it. Oh shit. Them and the crabs. And... In the, in the fire to smoke. There's gold bars with the number two. Hear her shout... Wait, stop. Um, wait. I, I have a question. I... Hey, um... In the moonlight. She... Oh, no, it's Pull not even... Like, they're eating first. Uh, that's why it helps a lot later. She guides you to the uh, statue. Call time. And she begins to circle you below. Um, asking but the music here. Yeah. Uh, still using her staff to guide you. Um, using as a window as you like, are just like seeing. I've never actually listened back to this, but I, I really want she to. She begins to start uh, swirling around you and dancing. She looks like a fish swimming and diving in the air. As a sit, sit so a that bit there. A water. So, like, I'm going to just go back a bit, just a tidge. Um, because, like, there's a... Basically, so, like, during that scene, I have a, I have the playlist of Otherworld, which is the playlist of... Um, is is for that... Like, for the location that scene transports Lone Eco to. But um, there's a moment where Lone Eco's theme plays... Um, and it, that, like, I skipped two bikes, but like, the build up for I really like. Um, you can see that she frames Sheehan's face. And so, like, my. And I don't know how it was. You can hear uh, it. Hi, Ben. Another jingle uh, that's a lot louder than the other one, uh, the initial one that she's made. And it sound, it gives off uh, slow motion. Almost, it sounds like it's in slow motion almost. And in that way, you hear a bell chime from within you. And then she begins to circle you low. Um, asking you to still follow, uh, still using her staff to guide you, um, using it as a window as you like are just like seeing the surroundings, as she begins to start uh, swirling around you and dancing. She looks like a fish swimming and diving in the air as her si silks mimic uh, water that swirls ethereally around her. As she begins, to, she begins to speed up, but as she speeds up, she. Stops once more in front of Sheehan and puts a hand out for you. Asking you to hold, um, reaching out for you to hold her hand again. So you, I'm going to pause there. Because you hear me, you can hear me smile. You can hear me smile in that moment. Because in in that moment, Low Nico's theme, that was Low Nico's theme playing that song. Um, and that's, that, that came on and I was like, fuck. Cause like I didn't like that like although like the flow of that was like how I wanted it to go I didn't expect it to like line up put that well, and so she reached out of her hand and then like basically like the theme starts kicking in, and like it's oh, it's just good shit. <laughs> and you can hear like you can hear Georgia smiles a lot because she knows it's her theme so. Um, as you take, 
as you take as you take her hand. That where like we where we pause for a second. That was me sending a message in the Roll Twenty chat saying I am the best DM on the planet. Let me like you like let me let me let me find it. Um, like there's in that moment like, I was like fuck I I know I know I know what's up like let me where is it. Um, I think that's when they were just like doing, doing that. Here, like this moment, I'm the best DM on the planet because I realized like that's when, like that was that moment, like that's where we start laughing because they they saw the message because like, yeah, like that's like that was fucking hype, how like that start playing Lonely Coast theme song because like it like it, it was just, just, the energy essentially like of it all like it was just like it just out on like. So like accidental, but like at the same time, well not accidental, but like so like just perfect in the moment kind of thing. And that happened a lot in the uh, the Rocky verse one shot as well, where like the moment like swells, where it gets really exciting and really like fucking intense. But then, um, but then in moments of um, what's it called? But then in moments of um like where like the combat was really picking up, the music was doing that was like was perfect for like that kind of moment. And so like although like I build the playlists out to like do stuff like that, I don't expect it to. So when it does do stuff like that, it's so fucking exciting. And like it's interesting as well, because like sometimes like chat, like you guys won't like understand like why that like might be so interesting or so exciting to some of us. But like when like for example, like like I don't think it's like actively mentioned that's lonely Eco theme you hear it when like she does her voiceover but like um we spoke we and like and like but like georgia knew that's 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 lowest theme and like i knew that's lowest theme and so i put it in the temple playlist and like just stuff like that like little things as players we or like as um as dm and player like uh in like that like things we've like planned with that kind of stuff it's interesting how like when it lines up perfectly it's beautiful and yeah where um what i'm doing then is i'm going over just we meant to learn how. Oh shit! I'm glad. I'm glad. I thought I thought you joined during the um the what's it called stream. That's interesting. That you joined on that one. I was, I'm, I'm glad like you had fun with that one. That was a very fun session. I had a lot of fun with that one. Um. But yeah, we're spilling my secret, but also discuss, discussing just how just prepping and streaming D and D. Um. So yeah, like and like when I build a playlist, I I try to think how can how does it thematically like line in with one another. And is it like, does it flow nicely as well? Um, yeah, so that's the music side of things. And like, I think that like, if I didn't put so much care and intention into a lot of the way I pick music for Tass, I don't think it would be as, as good as it is. And I don't think it would be as enjoyable in both visualizing it and also as, and playing it. And I think even experiencing it through the stream even. Because I think... Um, like it's it's like I like I always say it's very different to like most D and D games with how they pick music. Cause I, from experience, I would generally pick very like much medieval, uh, fantastical, just like a practical. Um, what's the word kind of? Um, what's the word kind of uh, music? Oh, thank you D twenty by the sword for the raid. Hi, welcome to welcome to the vibe in. Um, I'm Kaza DM. I normally stream art and D and D stuff, but today we're streaming um behind the scenes. In preparation for my uh, mini campaign that we'll be streaming at the end of uh, the week. Um, but welcome in. How you doing? How was your stream? Um, but yeah, like, and so it's very much like I, I want like I wanted to have a very different sound, and like so I took inspiration from stuff like Samurai Champloo, uh, Cowboy Bebop, and um, like those two are the big ones for inspiration of like why I picked the sound I want. But I can't remember what, what there's an anime I think I picked Devilman Crybaby as well, uh, with the way just they use music in their in their in the in their shows. I wanted that to like inspire how I want this to like this to be a soundtrack essentially. If you're on time, which piece um, piece of Twitch DD property prioritize? Um, the art, I think. I I think like I want to because I, I I I can improvise. I know I can improvise with everything else, but like if I don't have the art ready on hand uh, to present. I, I feel I've let myself down and I feel I let the viewer down whenever I stream that side of the D&D &D stuff. 
everything else I feel like I can very much like get away with. Like even the map, I feel like I can create a very general map in a very short amount of time and like get away with it. Um, but I think whenever I don't do the art in time, I, I feel bad. But yeah, that's uh, that side of... Um, that's the music side of things. We're going to next go into overlays, which is the harder side. We are having a fun one-shot adventure. And, like, I mean, hope you're having a good stream. Yeah, no, uh, it's a good stream. I feel like we've, we've been discussing a lot of cool... Um, also, hello, Luke Mac. Welcome to the Vibe In. What did you guys... Uh, what kind of one-shot did you run? Um, so, like, yeah, we... Um, today's stream is where I'm focusing on just discussing on the behind the scenes streaming dnd and like what um what i do with streaming dnd and how i go about it and all the things so if you have any questions about streaming dnd or have any advice you would even like to share feel free to feel free to drop it in chat um but yeah overlays <laughs> everyone's worth sending me so overlays aren't i i enjoy overlays um let's add image no not image slideshow image so jailhouse rocky Overlay. So I don't know if you'll you'll see all the things. So we want two versions for um Shellhouse Rocky. So like there's this version and there's another version underneath. So um, let me rename this. No handout. And there's another version with image. Jealous Rocky overlay with handout. Because you guys know I like to have little handout of stuff. So I put it up, up here. Um, I'm going to hide those for a second. Um, our DM couldn't make the game, so we had a little adventure now. Another plane of existence with the same character, lots of token of. Oh, that's fun. I, that's, uh, actually how we ran the, um, how I ran the mom shop. Uh, my friends, like, wanted to stream, uh, not stream a game, sorry, play a game of D&D. &D, uh, but their DM just wasn't feeling like they were ready. Um, and so I asked AJ and Sam, do you want me to run a one shot? And I'll run, like, I had mom, the mom shot ready on hand. So I ran that. Also, thank you for the follow D, uh, D20 by the sword. If you're enjoying the vibes and you would like to keep um, part of the community, hop in the, the Discord. We have, it's a wonderful art community. Um, and it's got, it's a bunch of artists. I run a West Marches game, but I also, um, <laughs> fucking wow. <laughs> um, but I run uh, a bunch of, um, I run a West Marches game that's set in my streamed game's uh, uh, lo location. Uh, but I also... Um, what's the word I was going to say? It's also, like, if you want to promote your streams, feel free to hop in and uh, drop your stream promo in the, the promo room. And if you want to check out any of my art I do, feel free to hop in uh, my Instagram or my Twits. I post them all there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to hop over to Rainmaker, actually. So I'm going to... So Rainmaker is what I use for my overlay, um, my alerts essentially for overlays. So I'm gonna just log in through Twitch. Worry doesn't get duxed. Hopefully I won't. Oh no, I will. We'll be fine. Let's get about where I'm going, by the way. Also, let's get the Kirby's on screen. I, I I feel like I, you guys aren't seeing the Kirby's do the things. Game capture, RPG, RPG, is this this one? There you are. You missed Corby's. There you are. Um... But yeah, if it does, if I do feel like it's getting a bit too much, I will probably take him off screen because I also think like they can get in front of everything. So that will be a worry, but hopefully we'll be fine. Um, so we'll just, just let me know if it looks like it's too much on screen or too distracting. 
and I shall keep them in mind. So basically, I this is uh, Rainmaker. This is like what I use for. It's similar to stream elements, um, but like well, the way I go about it is I use it for all my stuff. Um, we need to duplicate this. Duplicate. Edit. Where are we? Jealous Rocky, no overlay or no hand up. So like, yeah, I use this for like stuff like th uh, that. No hatred. I'll, I'll know what that means. So yeah, this this is this does all the things like that. Um, so I have my lurker gif, which is Homer going into the bush. Um, and like that's like just like a trigger, uh, a command trigger, which is like basically if I. I can't, remember how to, I can't remember how to do this actually. Oh yeah, you click there. You add like a trigger layer, which is like an event trigger, and like you put a command in, and it searches for an image or a noise, and does that. And, like with like because like it's a D and D stream, the way I go about it is I don't. Um, I try to avoid having a focus on. Um, I I don't I don't put um. I don't I don't put the what's it called uh, any sand alerts on, or I try not to have sand alerts. Sometimes it glitches and it'll have sand alerts. Uh, but I try not to keep them on stream for for these. So it has the alert for like the uh, the handouts. What's this? Let's change. Let's replace this to the new handout. No handouts. So you want the alerts? I'm gonna put the alerts down here. I think. And we want chat up here. Like that. If so, could someone type in chat again? Uh, Why do when like I don't have chat here on hand, I just do this. I was, I was right like poo, essentially, just like I'll repeat. Um just to make sure like it's not like overlapping or like it comes the way I want it to come on chat. Um could someone just just type a thing, someone any anything? Just so I see how it comes into chat. Because I want it to come down. Perfect, it does. Thank you. You're a star. But yes, yeah, so, like that's um the vibes I want and like then I have alerts come down in here. But for like stuff like this, I don't need I don't actually need this, so I can just hide this. Well, I don't need to hide that, actually. I'll keep that open. But then I want um, to have another image layer. Because I don't want... Mm, I lie. I don't want to rely too much on the site. Because sometimes the site will drop. And if it drops, I I, it, like, I don't want it to lock me out of an overlay. So I won't use it. So I'll hide this. But like I don't. there's not much to stress on this side of things. It's just like, make sure... Like, chat alerts. So then you copy the URL and then you you pop it in here. So you want to make a browser source and Rainmaker. Rainmaker JR. No hand over. Hey, hi Demi, how you doing? We're just talking about the prep of just making a D and D stream, and how I go about it. So you can put it there, and like then you'll you'll see chat will start showing up on things on stream when it wants to. If it does, let's see. Oh, it does because my head's there, so like it's not. Yeah. Oh shit. But yeah, like there. <laughs> um. See, I'm gonna move that underneath here but i want another version there so i'm gonna go back and you don't edit this because like it has the um the base but you want to duplicate or you could honestly i don't even need to like duplicate i could just use uh D, &D uh 2 
We could change the color of the text. We could. I'm not gonna. That's fancy. That's really fancy. And it's a lot of effort. <laughs> and like it's very like it's very like little. It's like it doesn't really matter that much. But like you like you can change the color of text and like I use this essentially for all my um I use this for all my um my 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 stuff. Rainmaker JR no or with hand. It does. And depending on like the stream, sometimes like it'll like take me out for like I like I will want to go to bed after. Uh, art streams generally I can hang out after. But when we finish a session of tasks, I am completely wiped out. Uh, mainly because like like I build up the entire day around tasks. Um So I, I like I essentially I just like I focus on that. Um, but yeah, no, it can be extremely draining, and it can take you out of, out a lot. Rainmaker with handout, we'll put there, we're going to hide that, we're going to lock that. We're going to lock that, and we're going to lock these two as well. You don't need to look at the old place. Um, but yeah, so like that's the, um, the first part of the overlay building, is we try to get the browser stuff sorted. So next, I want stream elements. Stream elements. I'm gonna just do this just in case it doxes me because I feel like it will dox me. But yeah, like so, like um, with I the way I look at it is like um, I've sponsorship. Is it if it's raid again? I will. I will. I will. Cry. I have a hello fresh sponsorship. What the fuck? What? I'll I'll take that one. That's that's in, I'll I'll take that. I'll take that one. That's that's interesting. I'll have to remember to like look at that after after the stream. Um but yeah, so like overlays and stuff I you try to have like I try I try to look at it um, as uh, two things. I think I can do this now. Let's see. I no, I don't. This isn't part of the place. So let's go back. Yeah. Let's put on the chillest playlist from Fotas. Rota Iso. This is like I read to this playlist. I love this playlist with like all my heart. Um. But yeah, so basically with like, um, and then so I use Rainmaker for basically everything. I could use just, I should just use one of these to be fair. It's like, it's more than it needs to be. But like, what it is, I'll do it. <laughs> Your brain feels drained. What, you, what were you doing, Hidemi? What, what was all the things? Um, browser. Stream elements. So we want SE. Uh, JR. Overlay. Um, with handout because like the uh, that base is using a handout base so I don't need to stress over it we just do that and we just do this and we just do this make sure it's the right size and then that's whenever like we get alerts they they will show up where we want them to show up um you pop that there well we'll rename, rename this no we don't need to rename that we can leave those um and then we have a duplicate version Yeah, duplicate submit. Oh, I gotta click that. And then we edit this one. And this is basically just for like the um the 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 emote confetti. So we want to change. Can we change this position on us? It's in settings. Change image. Um, where I have to upload it. No handout. Nope. And then we do this and we go back to layers and then we go to this. And then we make sure this is the right size. Then bang. And that one's pretty simple. That one's really easy to do. Um, save. Rocky, no overlay. No hand. 
and I can copy that. And I don't even need that anymore. Hello, hello, fresh. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. You guys. You guys are beans. That's 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 like that, that's very surprising. Do you use any random generated tables when world building or prepping for your session? Save on time. Up? I will get into that. That is something I wanted to also talk about. I look here. Yeah, like this is like very much like I'm talking about everything, everything that like that goes behind the scenes. Like for like tasks, I'm gonna go over. Um, generally though, I I do, but I use uh specific ones. I don't like the like the most the the most common one. The one that like is always suggested. I think it's the fucking worst. I think it's trash. Honestly, I, I hate it. Um, like not to not to get spicy about it, but like fucking, hell, it's really fucking shit. Um, I use uh, behind the name is a really good. Um, and I also use like uh, for like locations, I'll use like a Japanese um, town name generator. Like is like. I think it's pretty good and like it like it's, it gives you like real places but it also like gives you place like it combines a bunch and like I tried like use that to like and like feel what sounds like right to me for that rant alas this one ain't rant uh not rant rant kind of vibes but like it's it gets me it gets me angry it gets it gets me it gets me going I want to know what like I Sam or Hunter do you guys remember what I wanted to rant about earlier I, I, I forget for the life of me um yes yeah, so like those are the overlays for like um rainmaker and just like yeah so like i i probably should categorize those as two different things so i will uh create folder or group them no oh, no handout yeah no worries and then handout Because like, yeah, like this one, I think like I'm gonna be a lot more like open with like not like needing to like need, and that's for the entire thing. Because I don't know if like it's more so. Like, do I have the time? Do I know if I have the time to do, it, or do I have the time? Uh, is it will be the question. And so basically, that's that. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else is there. You're gonna stop seeing this uh like this side of the stream in a second, yeah. Because I am going to do this. Chat box. Um, like I mentioned how I don't try to have like a lot of things on the stream at all times. Because um, sometimes like it will get in the way. We need to rename, rename this one. Oh. Hi that boy. How you doing? What's wrong? What's Oh no. This one's with a handout, so I will do. That is six hydrates. I will six hydrates after the stream. Thank you for the hydrate, though, um, that boy. That goes behind that. I'm, I'm going to put my cam back up here. And we're going to get another one. Because, like, there's two versions. Like, as I said, like, I have. I um, have two versions of, like, this overlay where, like. It's like a jigsaw, essentially. And so, like, this is something I've. is new. Is where I have. Um, like I'll have um thank you for the seven eight hydrates. There's the um chat thank you, Sam. There's like um chat will like come down, but like be I, I in the old with the old over it would spill out of the box essentially. But I wanted to keep it in the box. So now what I do is I have to build it in two pieces or three pieces really. Uh the back the back piece, which is the, the this like block. Then I have the overlay from like rainmaker which has the chat come down and i have the 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 image overlay in front of that to basically sandwich it together chat box and overlay i was gonna say i better have it I don't know why I wasn't going to go block my breathing, but like, that would be. Sometimes it's weird like this, though. Like, like that. Well, to be fair, I know why it's weird like that. It's because I didn't realize I didn't put it in. 
I thought I did, but I didn't. So like, yeah, it'd like start like that. Or like that. So it's perfect. Don't need stress. Um, I'm going to check the bot out when I get a moment. No worries, seasonal bot. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope you've... I've answered any questions. If you do have any questions before we go, feel free to drop them in and I'll get to them when you when you do have the time. Um but also drop them in the, the Discord. Look at my slinging cast. I do see I do see you slinging. But I'm a slinging. There you go. Off you go. Off to space town. Um But yeah, so like there's like the that's the essentially that's essentially the overlay done. That's like the that part of the overlay is done. Like that's but then you got like there's the stream roll twenty. So what you want to do is you want to you want to get on roll twenty first. So like this is like all the things that what's this? That's just all play. I need it like let me let me make a note actually because I forget. Because that's some that's what like I, I like I don't I, I don't want to raid I don't want to do raid Shadow Legend sponsor because like that's like me fucking having having to play raid and I ain't got time to play raid. I'd do it if I didn't have time, but like, if I did have the time, but I didn't. But, hello fresh. I assume, uh, I assume I don't need to stress about that, because like, it's, it's food. Unless it's a cooking stream, but to be fair, people want a cooking stream, so. Fine. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, because you guys want me to have water. I'm not going to have water, but I'm going to pour myself some more Pepsi. But I, I will, uh, I will be back. Um, I'll leave you about five-ish, ten minutes. Uh, before I get back, I'm gonna throw any pre rolls on, so you guys don't get any. Uh, so the future uh, viewers don't get any uh, pre rolls themselves. But I shall see you guys in a hot second. And when I get back, we'll talk about like the the roll twenty side of things, um, and how I go about like, um, on like that on the the visual that, that visual side of thing. And I'll try to remember. Fucking mosquito! Get the fuck out of here, bastard! It won't go away. I get it after. I do need water. But yeah, I shall get back. If you have any questions, feel free uh throw back, throw them in chat, and I will be back in about five-ish minutes. Uh, I hope you guys have been finding this very educational and very helpful. Um, and again, yeah, like I'm always like welcome to like ask and answer more questions if you have anything that you are curious about uh, for with streaming D&D or just like content creation in general for like this kind of stuff. I think I'll probably want to even talk about promotion because I think that's that's something worth talking about. But yeah, I'll be back in about five-ish minutes. See you in a bit. Oh, I'll link the Discords quickly. Uh, if you're new here and you want to join the Discord, there's some. It's a really cool Dini Art community and it just does a bunch of stuff. And it's got some of the coolest people there. Go check us out. Uh, and Linktree, all my links. I'm on Instagram and Twitter and I'm there if you want to uh, check out the things. And if you are interested in learning more about Jailhouse Rocky and the build-up to uh, Jailhouse Rocky, check out Throne Top Sands, my D&D stream. Uh, there's the VODs there. I'll be, I'll be back in about 5-ish, 10 minutes. See you in a bit.
I had uh, accidentally forgotten to go to the Wiz Palace, so I'm gonna be back in about five not five minutes. I'm gonna be back in like a hot sec, but like I just remembered. Give me a sec. Um, yeah, if you're enjoying the stream, uh, thank you for sticking around. I know it's I know it's a long one. Uh, if you're new here, um, thank you for joining and staying around for like and like listening in and like also partaking and giving or asking questions and just doing all the things. Also, congratulations, Geekit and um, and Oswald for winning the. Oh, oh no, it wasn't Oswald. Sorry, it was XK that won the uh, the last battle royale. Well done. And also, seasonal part. Well done for winning that. Um, where are we? You you guys revolting? What's what's the plan? Um, but yeah, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. And if like you are enjoying the stream and you feel like this is useful information, please do share this with with people that you think would 
would it would think this would be interesting because i i i'm happy to like impart as much knowledge as i can this will be available for like anyone that wants to know, learn or know these things and i enjoy sharing it yeah share away and i shall be right back in a hot second you went for a walk <laughs> i feel it like. it'd be like that as long as you like lurking you your kirby's fighting but yeah i'll be back Hey, welcome back. Oh, the music stopped. Sorry. It's rude. Or it didn't stop and I just didn't hear it. <laughs> but yeah, hi everyone. Welcome back. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Uh... I didn't mean uh didn't, didn't mean uh nudge the mic just then but yeah let's let's get back into things so we were talking about 
we're talking about uh, overlays and the visual visual side of things. Um, so I use Roll Twenty. No, I am pointless now. Oh, did you actually? Oof. Oh, six Hydra to remember. I should have probably done this. I <laughs> uh, sound just ending right as you go. Back. Okay, cool. That should that cancel like five at least. I gotta say that's that's a lot of that's a lot of a lot of sips, a lot of hydrates right there. But yeah. So with building this side of the overlay now, we um. We're gonna build the no handout version. So like we can kind of have it be, I think actually we don't even need that. Like we can create another folder. That's just like kind of just, um, non mm -hmm. overlay, but the thing. Got a man to make some dinner. Thanks for chill vibes. No worries. Thank you for some my Hannah. And I hope you, there were some things here that were of use and hopefully like it's like, there's some ideas that like you might want to take with the uh, parts of New York. Um, if anyone wants to check out, Bards of New York are a wonderful group of D&D streamers as well. I should have tried them out sooner, but I keep forgetting. I'm very bad at this. Go check them out. More. Have a beautiful night. No worries, no worries. You too. <clears throat> so yeah, um, overlay build things. So like that's like I don't know what to call this, but this is kind of like the overlay part that doesn't have things that really matter, you know. Or more so, they don't matter in the sense that like it doesn't matter how big the box is, you know. So what we want to do is we want to I'm gonna put it over. Cause like that way I can like it's like you can still see the things. Is it like how does it work? Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. Is this is is why that did that? I want to like show like the whole thing, but I also want to show like just the process. I guess I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna go about it. But yeah. So like we've got the the handouts. <clears throat> so the way this works is I might rerun this tomorrow as well. Actually, I think it might be worth a rerun in. in in the afternoon so i'll probably if you're watching this at wednesday 3 p.m bst it's well not 3 p.m bst it'd be about it'd be about 8 p 7 p.m now if this you're watching this during the rewatch welcome um but yeah so like this kind of thing it's the way um the way this this works is now i want to like have these image slideshows and this is a this is a cool thing so these are very new so character sheets this is something I've, i feel like I've, I've gotten very late on like this is something like a lot of other dnd streamers do uh but i i didn't do it for a very long time character sheets jr i got i got in on this very late but that doesn't matter because like i still have some really cool cool shit so it's fine so we just do this and we don't want it fade because i don't like fade i think i think we want is it cut let's do this 100 and then 100. yeah it's gonna fly through so let's give them an extra that's transition, so that's like not the, what we want. So let's go. Let's give them four thousand each. We don't want it to be too long, but we want it to be just just right. But cut is the one. Or is like swipes? I think swipes and show. How's this look? Okay, no, it does look jank because there's there's two underneath these. The idea is like there's um. Oh shit! Let me just move myself. The idea is that like two basically uh, one is going to be like the character art as is and then one is going to be the token art underneath um 
So let's put that there so we can make sure it fits in the box. Fits in the box. And then what you do is do that. It's pretty neat. And so this is the idea behind it. So I think I'm going to have to extend it, actually. Because I think it's, it's switching through them pretty fast. Let's give them 6,000 seconds. Um, but then, and also, this is the really cool bit, though. Is sponsors. I am, um, well, I mean, the players are cool. But, like, I've, like, never had sponsors before. So I'm like, this is something I'm really excited about. Um... I have uh, sponsors for this stream, and it's pretty cool. Cause like it's 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 just it's, it's just it's never happened before. And I've gotten some really cool sponsors. So like we have the local, um, uh, UK uh, dice roll UK. We have uh, Phoenix Dice. We have Games by B. Uh, we've got Bard RPG. We've got Georgia Mars Jewelry. Um, we will also have um, McClunky Squadron and maybe uh, there's going to be also everyone else's project. So like we're promoting like all, all, all like our own projects and also promoting just the other cool things. Um, and so like we've been sponsored. Um, sponsors are Pogaroni Pizza. They are. And like it's like this is the first time we've done it. So like, it's very new to us, but we've got some cool stuff like... Um, like yeah, like like there's there's a game by B um there's Georgia Mars Jewelry who's who does jewelry. Um there is Phoenix Dice who do dice. Uh I'm curious if like is like, could we have them sync up like I don't think we want them to sync up, do we? We want them to be like different. Oh that's because it fades. Let's do fade. I think fade will actually look nicer for these then. Fade might look nicer. Yeah, so we've got some really cool sponsors for this whole thing. And like some of them are uh, codes such as TAS2020 for phoenixdice.com and uh, games.b.com. But also Bard RPG is a Kickstarter I worked on. Um, and there's also Dice Road UK has like, I've got an affiliate link with, uh, with them. And they do some really cool dice. Um, and just, yeah, there's some, there's some really cool stuff. And like these are like all like the... Yeah, there's just some really cool stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to say. Uh, let's pop you there to make sure it doesn't do the things I think it's gonna do. But yeah, no, it's wild. Like we we just we just it's it's just it's so new to me. Um, but so like sponsors are it's interesting. So like this is something like it's not a lot of people will tell you. Or I've, I feel like not a lot of people. This is making me childishly giddy. I'm glad because like, I'm I'm excited. But you don't know how excited I am because like, I'm like I'm just about, like. like um sponsors like it's because this is the first time we've got sponsors like it's just like it's wild to me that like people want to sponsor the stream but also like how like it happens because like it's it's if you don't know how it, how, to, how it works or how to like even get one they're like hard and like it's like i still don't know how to do it. like but, like i'm like this is me just like partaking like from the experience i had trying to find sponsors and trying to like get sponsors for the project um i'm trying to get this to do the thing that i wanted to do but i want it to fit nicely in but like also like not hi vix how you doing i'm just we're just talking about sponsors right now or how i like how i went and got my sponsors and how i found some of them so my favorite one's the last. That will that will come last because like that one's actually a really fun story. I would sponsor you if I had something sponsored. That's very sweet of you, Oswald. Um, but like yeah, like it's so like the whole thing of like when I when I started uh, TAS, I initially was thinking, do I want sponsors? Is this something I'm gonna like have for the project? And like generally, I my idea was like, nah, I don't think I'm gonna like. It's not something I'm gonna expect or like look into so i'm gonna just leave it um 
But then, like, as time went on, I thought, this could be, like, like, this is, this is cool. People watch this. People think this is cool. And also, it'd be really cool to, like, to get, like, um, to one, bring in, like, like, I, like, my, my, my dream, my goal, my big goal is to get, like, one of these, like, like, to get a dice maker that, like, spawns in the stream that makes low Nico dice, Rocky dice, uh, fucking low five boy dice. Like, that in my head is so fucking cool. And I want that. That's the dream. That's the big, that's the goal. Yes to all the sponsors. Exactly. It's, it's, it's spicy. Um, so, uh, Carlos, if, uh, if you make custom dice, uh, But yeah, uh, but just in general, like, um, a lot of it was like, we, um, like, that's the goal. That's the end goal is like, we want like cool custom shit, but also to help like fund the stream or at least like fund potential giveaways. And so like, uh, for promotional sake, and like, that was like a lot of the initial was the uh, idea of like, this is, this could help with promotion. We, like we're doing giveaways. It'll bring more people into the stream, but also bring eyes onto the dice makers. Or just the, the content uh, makers. Because it wasn't just like... I wasn't looking for just dice. I was looking for just people that like made TTRPG things. And so like... That's actually kind of cool. Um, but you yeah, know, I feel I get that. Like, I, you can't see my room, but it's a mess. And I want to I wanna, like have... Like turn it into a workshop. Or like even like... If I could, I would 3D print like my character, uh, my character designs. As like D and D minis, if I could, but like one, I ain't got the space. Also, very poor ventilation. I've only got this one big window. That's it. Um, <laughs> but like, it was my so yeah, it was like things to like uh, basically, uh, essentially organize and fund giveaways for the stream. So I reached out to um, Phoenix Dice, um, the people that I did uh, dice giveaways with before Two E Dice. Uh, I don't. I didn't reach out to Nanagon Dice, but I did. I, I did. I, I completely forgot to. I, I wanted to. Uh, Flutes Creations, um, Games by B because they ran a, uh, a giveaway with us once. And I don't. Th I think those were the only dice makers. Um, hi, Kako Maze. Uh, is that? Do I pronounce it right? Can I just? Should I just say Fury? I should just say Fury, shouldn't I? Um, but like these, like I reached out to like um, essentially just sponsor giveaways potentially. Um, but we went through, like, it's like you, a lot of it was a discussion. Cause I initially mentioned like, this is like, they, like they'll want to know, they wanted to know basically like what kind of like, what are the analytics you have? Um, um, like what are, like, what's, how much reach do you have as a content creator essentially? And like how, and so like, I like, so essentially it's just like, I'm like, I mentioned I'm we're streaming on Sunday. So I'm only going to count like like what like my average Sunday views are because that's the only thing I thought was relevant. My art, like I view my art streams as a very different thing to my D&D streams. So I mentioned that like on Sundays where we stream D&D, uh, we are averaging around 12 to 15. With how much promotion that has gone into this so far, my prediction was maybe 15 to 18. Because like I've been noticing there's a plus two rise every month as we as we've been going. And like, there's nothing that like has shown me that that's decreasing. It's only going up. So I was like, okay, I will, like I'll mention, this is how much I'm averaging. These are how much like, uh, full views we're getting. So like, it's usually around like 1,500 to 200. Um, it's lately gone up, which is really nice. Thank you guys for enjoying task, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, and like, it, and like it helps with stuff like this. Cause I want to organize more cool dice giveaways, but they want to see the numbers and I see that like you are. You can you can raise awareness for them essentially, and so like I had um, given them that information, explained like this like I'm doing a three week or three session campaign over the course of from July to August. Would you be interested in sponsoring the stream? Um, and like like this, and like you reach out like I reach out to a bunch of people. A lot of people like just couldn't fun uh fun uh financially um ex like a, um fund a giveaway but some places uh, offered instead of doing a giveaway they'd offer a gift card or they'd offered like a just like a, a discount essentially or an affiliate link um i forgot the word affiliate link so like that probably would have been very helpful in these early conversations um and so and i kept in touch with the ones that like i enjoyed the product of but also the ones that like i think were um 
the ones yeah the ones that i just think like would have been probably most like interesting to my community um and that i had like a decent relationship with so like games of b for example she we did a we did a not she sorry we did a uh organ, um a giveaway with them before and they want like i i, I mentioned how i wanted a, a custom a kaz dm dice tray or like a ca custom kaz dm um dice patch or not um yeah dice patch and and so we we were in discussion about that beforehand anyway and we brought that on for and that's if they would be interested in uh, sponsoring uh, um, uh, the Jealous Rocky. Um, and so, like, it's just kind of getting the, getting the, getting the like, you've got to re, like, that's, that was the part that I didn't know you had to do. And that's the part that the, was the toughest part to learn. It's, and it's the same with just networking in general. Reaching out, you just have to, or you have to be the one to, like, open the door. Um, and, like, that was the thing that, like, I... It's like it's the same. It was like it's the same with networking. You just gotta like open the door and like get like meeting people, and like it's annoying because like I wanted to, like I wish I knew this sooner. If I knew this sooner, I would have like there would have been a lot more like potential sponsorships or potential giveaways. If I knew running giveaways was essentially sponsoring a stream, it may it make it a lot easier essentially. Um, so what defines a sponsorship to you? Because we've done giveaways and stuff, but I don't know what counts. Uh, that's exactly it. Like, that's why I would count giveaways. Because they're sponsoring... They're sponsoring the stream in that way. Like, they're, like, they're... Providing on that side of things. So, like, you don't, like... Um, I don't I don't, I don't know the, the definition for it, but, like, I would define that as, as the sponsorship. And, like... Like, these things are where, like, I'm endorsing the product um and just like and what they are like that's another form of that but also like and and just getting these affiliate links and like i think like um like with like uh, like bard rpg and um georgia mars jewelry like those are projects that the cast are providing by because they're giving me their time like i i want to help push their product and like push their just the things they make and also my projects and so like that's why like like bard rpg and stuff like that um i need to slow that i feel like that's too fast actually i'm gonna slow it down um and it's just like endorsing things that like i think like i think are cool and neat and like it's like games by b she does some really cool stuff so i keep saying she i i actually can't remember what their pronouns are so I, like i should for them they um but they do really cool stuff and so like that was um so i really wanted to like keep them on board for this because like I, I liked it like a lot of their stuff um and so, like, I just thought framing our partnerships differently because, in general, I don't push into a partner with anyone. Yeah, exactly. I, um, I remember, like, I was, like, considering, like, a partnership with a coffee company a while back when I was, like, starting looking into sponsorships. And it was the same like, conversation of, like, uh, would you be interested in sponsoring a stream? But then I realized, hmm, I don't really care about coffee. Like, even when I was a barista, I didn't care. Um, and I, was, I spoke about it many times on the stream, and, like, it's, like, it's not... A punish I would care about, but I like. Oh, thank you for the retweet, Miss. You're a bean. I don't know why that's playing through that. I don't know if you heard the alert, but like it shouldn't have been audible. Um, but yeah, like I, so like with Phoenix, that's I think they've got really pretty dice. With games work, um, games by B, some really cool things. Um, Dice Roll UK, stunning dice as well. I think I I. I want to get to that one in a second. That was fun. I would. I know you would. I. I, I think I was meant to. I think it's homebrew. Um, homebrew co. I think. I think I was meant to me message you about them. I think. I think they were like interested in, in like sponsoring streamers. So I, I. I'll have to look into it just to make sure. But I think they they were interested because I I I've, like I'm like like there was a few tea companies over here that do stuff like that. And like I've. I'd be interested in a few things like like um spoken to them before. Mm. Yeah, it's just like getting that door open. Like that's the hard part. But like knowing that you can do that. Is it interesting? It was like, yeah, this was like, I think this was like May for me, which is long enough, I think, uh, on my part, uh, for it to be long, a long time ago. Um, but yeah, and like a lot, uh, so it's just like opening the door and reaching out. Uh, the coolest sponsorship, though, for me at least, and the most interesting and the one I'm, I'm most excited about is mainly because, like, it's one, it's local. Um, I want to sponsor more local places, more local, um, just. TTRPG projects that are happening here because like I don't see enough of it I feel and also I the price considering like uh, compared to a lot of the other places I've done 
um, I did sponsorship giveaways with. Um, I noticed they they they're, they're very expensive dice, and like I like I feel extremely grateful that they offered uh, to give away like these really cool dice, and that were like a lot uh, financially. And like I'm I appreciate that they wanted to do that, but at the same time I was like, I want to grab some, but I can't I can't afford it. But then I looked at dice at UK, um, which is a wonderful story of how that happened. Um, I'm not going to go into full detail because I don't know if uh, Carl wants to go into the full full detail of that unless he wants to keep a secret and keep like, that part of that little um, stuff. But basically, I post uh, in the last session of TAS, I did the fishing mechanics. Um, but during, and I posted them up, up on Reddit, I posted them in a few places because I thought they were fun. I thought they were really interesting. And I had, um, and Carlos reached out. Um, I'm Gucci Little Perfect. Uh, Carlos reached out regarding um, putting that up on on, on their blog uh, for Dice Roll UK, um, as like just to, just to talk about the, the mechanics and like just make it a bit more organised uh, because my table was trash. I didn't I didn't know how to format it already, so I was like, yeah, this is my table. Do what you want with it. Um, but I changed the things. So, like a lot of it was uh, based on um, Shreylo. Hi, hi, Doug. How you doing? I was gonna call you Bag then. I know, like you were saying, like I'm the only person that does that, and it's weird. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, and so like when, um, Carlos reached out about the blog, uh, I just mentioned, uh, if you, if you want to just like, um, to, um, just link the stream and like, here's like an example of like it in action. Cause I thought it'd be interesting to see how it works. You're melting me. It's hot. Yeah. No, tell me about it. It is hot. I feel it. Um, and like, and so like, uh, and I can't remember who, like where, if like, I think, oh yeah, that was, Carlos offered um, a gift card um, as like a thank you and like, as a giveaway for, for, for the stream. Um, and that made me think, oh, is this, could this be a sponsorship? This could, this could be one. And so um, we got into a discussion uh, for that. And like, um, there was coming to like the right terms that we like, that like we were both comfortable with. Like I... I didn't want to push my luck because like one, I thought this was really cool. Two, I feel like I'm I'm like if I if I sh if I if I come on too strong, I can I can scare them away, and I was worried that was going to be the case because I feel like I am a very excitable person and I can come on very strong sometimes. Um, and so I um, but then like we came to terms and like it was really cool that like they 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 were they were they were cool about it and I was looking at some of the dice as like we were talking. I'm like fucking hell, these are really fucking cool. Like let me let me let me pull them up. Oh, oh no! I was gonna say, is this like this isn't this isn't this isn't right? Is it dice roll UK? It's dice roll UK. That's not useful dice. Dice. There you are. Um, but they're gorgeous dice. Um, and so like, I can't, what, what, what was I saying? I was saying I was on a tangent somewhere. But yeah, but it, like, but being local was a big one uh, for me as well, and that like made me very excited about the whole thing. Like, like, where are the, I think these ones, these were like, I thought these were like, I, these were the ones I immediately like saw. Look at them. And they're the ones on, like, these aren't even like the codes. Um, I do believe the Phoenix dice and I think all the links work. The codes do work. Um, but the commands uh, don't work in chat yet. So if you want to check them out, go check them out. If you want to do the things, uh, you can go to dutchroll.uk slash casadm or gamesbyb.com and use task2020 or go to phoenixdice.com and use task2020. If you want to, um, yeah, like, like the gemstone dice were like the ones I like were immediately like my eyes were on, but like also like they were like really cheap for like considering some of the others ones I've seen, and I'm like oh, I want these and I can like these like seem reasonable for me to buy because I'm a, I am very cheap. I'm curious what these fancy dice roll. Did, uh, sorry, Carlos, did you go to um, Games Expo um, a few like last month? Or was it the beginning of the month? But they and but that's it. They're, they're gorgeous dice, and like I was really in those obsidian dice. Look kind. Of, let's see. Do they look tasty? That's the wrong Discord. This is the final section of Tass, and you guys can't see that. It's a secret. -ish. But Epi will kill me if I if I show it. Like I have to ask permission first because I know she she doesn't like sharing all her sketches. But like oh, she has like these. She did some sketches of Kira, and oh, my heart. I did not, I'm afraid. You did not? What was I talking about? I can't remember. You did not? Ah, oh, no worries. No, that's cool, because I only ask, like, I... 
I met a few dice makers. Those are these are fucking delicious. Look at them, clean as hell. Um, but like yeah, um, the what's it called? Um, the um. These are nice. Um, I'm getting distracted. I'm, <laughs> I need to stop looking. I'm getting distracted. Um, but yeah. Where was I? What is Games B by B about? They are. This are those, oh, they're, they're the mini ones, aren't they? Yeah, like I remember like these. There's. I was wondering, like, yeah, like I think, you you um, there's some of them are mini dice, aren't they? Like these ones. Look at him. It's a choking hazard, is what that is. What that is. <laughs> um, those cold ones. Let's have a look. See, but yeah, games are B. They they basically make a bunch of like um assets, not assets. Um, like products that like are kind of like not supplements, but like things that like you can add to your game. Like this, games by B. That's their Twitch. There they are. Oh, oh they baby. Are these ones tiny as well? The gold ones, but they're nice. Um, but yeah, like games will be, they, they do a bunch of cool stuff. So like they, we did a dice tray giveaway, um, was the most recent thing we gave away. Let me show you the dice tray we gave away actually. Um, cause a lot of these are like, um, they're, like they've got the patterns on hand, but, um, what's the word? Like this one's really nice. This one's new, I think this one's, uh, recent paid or recent made, sorry. It's taking this time to load, so like apologies. Um, but yeah, they do a bunch of stuff, um, really cool stuff. Um, but like, I this is really nice. But what I saw, uh, what like actually immediately drew me in was, um, I think like I saw this, uh, like it was like one of these ones. Um, let me find it. It wasn't this one, but like this was the one we gave away. Um, but I think it was a, it was like, wait, like, like I mean, this pencil case with a great wave. Um, but then I saw this and like, that's, that's, that's mine. That's my aesthetic. That's my thing. And so like, I, that's like when I discussed like the whole, um, doing custom awards, making an Ermia one specifically. And we gave away and like, uh, games will be offered to like give away this design. Um, but they do like dice trays. They do, um, the patches, I, I think I see, I see these the most common, but these are really cool, like the pronoun, the pronoun patches, like I think it's shaped like a D20, or D12, but now they're really cool, like, oh shit, it's because it's a B and it's a hexagon, oh my god, beautiful, stunning, that's, that's genius. Yeah, like, even like, like, like dice packs, I think like they've got these scale dice packs that are really fucking, scale mail, like people that make scale mail is fucking wild, but like, yeah, they do like these like scale mail bags, which are really fucking cool. They look, they remind me of like primary school and I want to eat them. I don't know why they just do, but they just they just do a bunch of really interesting, and cool, like just like kind of like things to take to your D and D games that you play in person, and they're all really cool. That's what games will be just scale is looks like. Yeah, it does. It's really nice. Um, do not eat the dice, but I will not. It's <laughs> it is a choking hazard. <laughs> I feel like that, that, that's becoming one of my many phrases. I've been, I, like, I've referred to many things as choking hazards lately. Um, but yeah, and so, like, um, getting, like, that local sponsorship was really fucking neat. And, like, I, I was, me and Scarlet Quinn, when we went to Games Expo, because he told me about when he went to, like, he net, the way he networked across um, various different, um, when he went on con circuits, or not con circuits, when he went to, like, a local convention when he was, um, when he was starting streaming, like he met a lot of people that way, and then like that made me think, oh shit, I could like re use this to network and uh, reach out to places as well. And so like when we went to Games Expo together, I'm like, oh shit, maybe like well we'll take a few business cards and like reach out for like potential uh, sponsors um, for stuff like this because at the time I was I was very sponsor conscious and like thinking about it. And and here we are, but then I worried like am I having am I getting too many sponsors? Um, but I think, like, this is the nice balance. Like, three, like, main main ones. Or no, is it three or is it four? I think it's three. It's three, but then there's also, like, the project ones, which are, like, George's, uh, mine. Um, there'd be Sammy's podcast and uh, Jacob's podcast and McClunky Squadron. 
So it's a nice little like just mix, and but a, but a lot of cool stuff and a lot of um a lot of neat things that are being sponsored. Um, but yeah, that's the sponsorship side. The sponsors, I think that that's the the hardest thing to talk about because like it's how do you how do you ask to get sponsored kind of thing, and like it's it's a, it's a it's a weird conversation, but I think like um. I think like it's like when we were talking about like getting different like um, thought process into like in with with uh, building and streaming and building streams and stuff. It's like thinking um, like you you got to have different mentalities and you got to have like you learn a lot of skills real fast if you want to like be successful and like get and improve and keep improving. Like I did, I didn't like get. I don't think I became this. Or the way I talk with like spot. Well, to be fair, I think like it comes a lot from like being a freelance artist. I've like my when my business hat comes on, it comes on, and so I, I talk like I try to talk uh, very business. I think Carlos actually was very funny because I I think we both <laughs> like it came in unprofessional. And, like we we went professional for a bit, but then we came back out um, in a conversation. Uh, but like it's like having that like professional mindset and like just being like respectful because like there is the this is still people's life you're talking about sometimes some people can't uh sponsor you but they would like to or they at least like in the support your uh, product and also just some people just might not want to just reach out or do sponsorships which is fair i was just like kind of learning to accept that like this isn't like you can't take none of this personally it's just business um and i think like like i think vix if you're still there i think i i even like was i think i referred to like sponsorships for example like with um I think was it Fortune Watch uh, when you guys used that? Yeah, no, ask away. Yeah, ask away. Uh, understandable. And if you guys have uh, questions about sponsorships, feel free to uh, ask away. Um, but like with content creators like that, like uh, streaming DD, where you don't uh, you, you sponsor another um, writer or an artist or someone, who, and like you use and like their um, and like use their supplement that they've written up, and have that sponsor the um, like their product sponsor the stream and like have that linked with your stream um and you just run this adventure that they've written and have that like that's like one kind of like crossover response and it's i think it was a neat way of doing that i think that's how i would even like i would do that if i wasn't like so in love with like a lot of like my like my my law and my world and like i was very open to um letting other people do things like i'm, I'm so like terrified of getting other dms to run the west marches even um yeah um and again chat like if you if you have any questions regarding sponsorships streaming overlays anything ask away i am i am a f not fully open book but an open book ready to answer any questions about stuff like this where i can help i keep going over here but i just i just keep just 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 thinking I mean, look at this stunning i'm sorry epi i'm sorry don't kill me don't break my legs i need i need to just unpin discord and just not look at it yeah, no, that's, that's a really appreciate it, Carlos. So yeah, if any of you guys have any questions about um, Dice Roll UK, ask away. Um, yeah, no, and again, I, I I really appreciate you reaching out, Carlos, because like, I wouldn't have like known if I didn't. Like, the fact like, like it was how coincident, like, it's exa just how, like, silly these kind of things happen. Like, you post a fishing mechanic on Reddit, and, like, you, you, got, you get some really cool dice sponsorships. Wild. <laughs> that land it's, it's 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 such a cute story to me like i i it makes me very happy every time i think about it because like, i remember like, um i mentioned it in the task group in the group chat when um when like you messaged when we when like we we we, we solidified just like the sponsorship uh, agreement and like, look at these dice we're sponsored and like i was so fucking excited i think i was i don't think i was in a voice call but everyone i spoke to that like uh was in my circle i was like yo look at these dice i'm sponsored <laughs> um but where are we what are we next um so next is roll 20 so how you stream is or how you want to do things so when it comes to range of features of favored enemy how do you run that like where do they store the information like, they write them down just keep it all in them head so i the way are we i've only run a one ranger or two but like one like um never past one session for either of them um Maybe cuts one was a one shot and one was a West March and the like the player wasn't able to like commit to like the 
a uh, another session like since uh which is fine like that's that's the whole idea of west march you come in when you can you leave when you want um but the the um the way i would one i think like with range like letting them know that like or like having if you know someone wants to play ranger from the start i think having a section or a focus on what they want to have as a favored enemy environment is like a way to make ranger fun because i think like rangers get a bad rap like this means like not going from like not having played a ranger and like not had a good look at it but like from what i've seen i feel like it's kind of like monk where you have to like adjust the game to the ranger and i think you could have a really fun game with a ranger like, like it's like if their favorite environment is urban environments and they're hunting vampires have an entire campaign focused on it's an urban saying where they're hunting vampires or a forest saying where they're hunting dragons something like that and i think it'd be such an interesting and fun like kind of like way of running and it's like almost like you limit yourself within these forest environments but you got to create some really interesting stuff it's like create um uh what was it um limitation breeds creativity is what i believe um and i think you could do some really fun with that as a player um as a player, I think. Hi, hi, zombie melon. Thank you for the raid. Hi, hydrant. The hydrate done. Oh, I know you. I saw you stop by one time. Also, hello, koala, and hi, melon. How you guys doing? Welcome to the vibe in. Uh, to those that are new, uh, I'm Kaza DM. I stream D and D art normally, but today I'm doing a behind the scenes and talking about uh, streaming D and D and the process that I have on building streams and uh, producing uh, this kind of content. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to sleep though, it's more than understandable. It is nearly one o'clock. Uh, but thank you for somebody. Thank you for dropping your um your your viewers with me. I hella appreciate that. And I hope you have a had a wonderful stream. And if you um if you are sticking around, feel free to ask any questions or give me any advice or any thoughts, because we're we're sharing all the things. Um there are also alternate abilities in Tasha that can replace. Yeah. Yeah, there is also that. I think though, like with base ranger though, I think yeah, like you can like designing the encounter around the ranger is like would be a i, I think would be a fun challenge personally because i think i think it'd be interesting but i um with playing i think um with storing that information firstly like i'd write in the feature section but i'd also write in my bio and stuff and like in just a, just a note this is my favorite enemy this is my this is my favorite terrain and just like keep that in mind and then just like have it be like noted down let the dm know that like these are your things and you'd like to play with these and you think that it, you could do some really cool stuff with it or even like give them uh give them strings why they these would be fun to like um run as a as a thing hopefully as well that's that's helped with your question uh if there's if if you have more questions feel free to ask but i understand if you need a bounce and again i hope that, that that's been helpful and uh when you get a chance uh, check out tas uh, also, those that are new, uh, if you haven't already, hop in our Discord. It's a wonderful d and art community. Um, and also, I, if you enjoy my, or want to see my art and enjoy it, check out my Instagram and my Twitters. And I just mentioned Tass, um, Throne Atop Sands, which is my stream D&D game. This is us building or preparing to build the overlay for this uh, this streamed, uh, the, 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 this little side story of that main story. Um, and you can catch the VODs for that and see all the things. Yeah, it has. Good night, then. Norris as well. Thank you for stopping by. You're an absolute star, and I appreciate you. And I, I um, what's the word? And I hope you have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. I just want to wish it was an, it was one more quest an hour question an hour later. I feel it. I like when when you when you when you get pulled on those strings. You you keep going. Kaz does do awesome. Thank you, zombie. Also, zombie, we were actually talking about this. We were talking about that giveaway that you won. Uh, the um. A games by beat giveaway um because we talk about the sponsorship because um we one of the gave the giveaways we done um zombie melon one it was it was it was neat i can't remember what the stream was for but that was that was one of the things cast our slaps i can't believe was it you zombie melon or was it demon Qua it was demon koala sorry my mistake mama's my, my mistake melon i'm very sorry also i'm very sorry i was talking about zombie koala i uh, thank you x cat you're you're a bean that was very sweet of you um yeah no um sorry I meant I meant I'm a demon caller my mistake I have I feel like I I I confuse I for a while I confused both of you I think a while back um 
like just now. But to be fair, in my defense, we are the same. See, exactly, exactly. Um, but where are we? So yeah, uh, we were talking about VTTs. So I use, oh, so to those that are virtual tabletops, um, I use Roll20. That's my main one. I think, I've, I personally believe I do a very good job with running uh, d d on uh, Roll20. Um, I like, the way I like to think about, like I'll pull up Roll20. Um, is it this one? This isn't the one. Here we go. So with TAS, uh, for example, like if I, let's open the map for, um, I want to do a map that isn't like going to spoil anything, but also like it kind of does. I can do this one. It'll be fine. But like they've, they've already been here. Um, so this was Isot this was ancient Isotope, which is a, a, um, which is a city or a, a ruined city underneath a city where ancient Bakoran, which was like three feet tall people lived and is overrun with the yokai and other monsters. Um, but the way I run, um, so where, the way I run D and D on this in general is I have dynamic lighting and stuff. So like I, I make sure that like it's, it's got dynamic lighting and like they can't like, uh, pass through, uh, certain things and break the game essentially. And like sometimes I forget that and that's why sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, but like you fix it when you, when you, when you catch it. Um, but I, what like I've recently started doing is like re realizing that like you can use the camera as like or you can use the map as a camera so like when they're in a certain place zoom in but when you want to like reveal a bunch of stuff zoom out and then like you can use the pan to like go to different places and fast and like I did I think I like I learned this uh, or I did this first on um uh into the rocky verse where I did a scene let me pull up the map like, hello Elfie how you doing we're just talking about D and D streaming behind the screens, and just streaming in general. Let's archive. Where is? Oh, did I delete? I bet I deleted it. I may have deleted it. Beautiful. But yeah, so like, what I was getting at with that was, I uh, basically use the. The zooming is just for you though, so only for, yeah, exactly. It's only purely for the streaming side to make it as cinematic as I can. So I would zoom out to reveal the entire map. Got a vanish have a great stream, buddy. Big love. Norris Melon, love you too. You have a good stream. Oh, you have a good sleep. Thank you for the raid. Have a good. One. Yeah, exactly. It's just it was just for me and like I, I would use it basically just as a way to add more like just drama to the scene for the viewers and like it's like because it doesn't take that much out of it for me so sometimes i'm just zooming around because i'm just sorting some stuff out on the map but like generally when i zoom out the map and like make it big like that or zoom in that's me trying to be dramatic and add flair and sometimes it's good and sometimes like sometimes i'm just being silly and i'm just like zooming to the other side and there's our oh, shit check and see this um i made one vtc couldn't stand roll 20 what the features of it tell me about what the features you like about uh or tell me like what you didn't like about it also, I'd love to hear more about your VTT, actually. I, um... So, mainly, it's because, like, I don't, um... It's the one I came in on. I'm very much a person that's out-of-the-box uh, approach. And I found it very simple. That's actually another worth thing worth mentioning, actually, as well. Um, with streaming D&D, &D, um, sometimes, uh, that, like, making sure everyone's hardware works and everyone has, like, the right kind of, like, equipment for a streaming D&D, &D, um... And so, like, um, and sometimes that means, like, sometimes someone's PC will not be able to handle uh, a powerful VTT, such as, like, <laughs> the, I think the reason I didn't want to use Fantasy Grounds. What is this playing? This is not a road to... This isn't. Yeah, it's just started playing, playing, playing music. Um, what's another place I like that use in TAS? I think I we haven't heard Nagahara, but I like Nagahara, I think, if I remember. Yeah. Um Yeah, it's very much like I found Roll20 very like very easy on hardware. But also I found that I could make it a lot more palatable for players, such as like for example, if I 
um especially with a lot of the new features i, I do but i do also pay for the uh, pro membership mainly because i use the dynamic line i use a lot of assets but i try to be very organized about my the way i lay out so like weapons uh, magic and like it's very easy to make it organized like that and like just like uh editing like free action bonus action stuff like that just make it like palatable for myself and then like understandable for my players and like i want to hit long rest but like i don't know if i can because like low probably hasn't mm, you can it's just even nicer though. it's fine but like just stuff like that i make like i try to make it very much like easy to um control and manage on on um on the player end um And like also like uploading art and stuff and like making it like even like um like my favorite feature is stuff like this like let me if i get yuki's token is a great example for this um so if i make yuki's token huge for a second like i can just do this like multi-side random side and then he's got no tails um but like this is like this is like a feature i learned very recently where like you can have like tokens that like kind of like change um into different forms and like, it's, and like that's how I do stuff like um, if we get the yokai for example, let's pull uh, the shibatan. Let's make the shibatan big for a second, and then we do this random side, different different yokai, different yokai, and it, it's really cool like that. I'm trying to get like the third one because like there's three different variants of of yokai or shibatan. This one's my favorite. This one. Um. Yeah, and like so like I like how like I've been able to make it very Oh you guys didn't see it, did you? I might, I might, you might have seen what I, what I was showing. Um Did you mm, It's about here, you probably could have seen. Um It got close. Yes, yeah, so like I, I use it to like uh, be very much like um, like I, I like how like it's very easy to play with and make it work. We saw perfect um, and like make it just like these little things very adjustable. And like I like how like very fast I can fix issues like dynamic lighting not working done. Um, they they um, this color on this thing is a bit weird done. Um, and yeah, just like little, like I, and like their sheet's not working. Easy, like I can easily fix that as well. And like I, I feel like I've done a very good job at like making it very player friendly and also very friendly for streaming purposes. And I think just because, like, because I'm streaming it, it makes a lot of my life less stressful because I can manage a lot of stuff very easily and I know how to fix it. I found Raw 20 too awkward to use. Didn't like having to get people to reach. Mm, that's fair. No, I, I get that. I do I do know at the beginning, it, like, it did feel kind of jank. There was that learning curve. But then, like, when, like, I kind of got used to it and made, like, make it make it more sense to me and make it easier to, like, work with, I feel like I was able to, like, make, um, I could justify why I'm giving them, like, why I'm putting them. Like, I see almost as an expense for the stream, and so it justifies, like, a lot of stuff for me. Um, plus, I use it for everything. All my D&D games I use it for. I did know you could upload upload gifts. I I haven't. I do want to do. I did want to like use it for like maps and stuff. Um, but like I think my uh, dungeon draft doesn't let me do that, which is why I use for my map making. I'd love to. I I want to do more map making streams. Map making streams are very fun. Um, yeah. So I can understand completely the um the issue with the BTT. I I like uh, top down tabletop for example. They use um or like shanks at least. He uses um, Foundry, not Foundry, uh, Fantasy Ground, which I did want to grab. I was I was thinking about it. And I've had a few people suggest Foundry, but like Foundry is like the one I'm least likely. To, I like just like the thought of Foundry kind of like makes me think, hmm, I don't, mm, I don't know if I want this. Make sure it's not a large problem. Mm, yeah, no, I, I, um, I think like Roll20's upload uh, limit is five uh, megabytes for like the lowest membership, but if you got Pro, it's up to... 10 megabytes which is a which is a hassle for me because i make very big maps and like i have to cut them into like here's something you guys don't see on uh for tas uh let's go on to um the map layer for a second bang i have to jigsaw the map
Um, and someone, like, even for small maps, somehow I have to jigsaw them. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, I use Roll, yeah, I use Roll20. I, I feel like I've gotten a very good job at making Roll20, like, manageable. Windows Capture. Roll20. JR. And I'll, I'll I'll show that as well in a second. Like that once like I've got to like go into depth with. So I'm gonna like do that. And so basically I cut out like the like overlay kind of HUD shit because mainly um I need to cut the bottom specifically for like um the new uh, specific stuff I do for the stream. But then like I also cut out, like this. I don't know if I cut out the. Let me check. Oh, this is oh my god, this is the wrong overlay. This is the, that's the wrong one. I may have crashed the stream. Hello? Oh, is it is it all fine now? Oh, it's still struggling. Hopefully that's back. Oh, there we are. Perfect. So, um, it might just go, go wonk again. I thought it would. There we are. Is that better? I can hear you fine for the image that's reduced in pixels. Oof. Yeah, I have no, I have, that's, um, my, my, my OBS was just struggling until it was tanking for a hot second. Let me see how long these, these ones, these, uh, slide through. Um, where's Discord of another character? What about the slideshow? Five thousand by five hundred. Okay, so yeah. Um, what did I want to show? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, yeah, no, that's what that was. What I was curious about. I don't want to trust my one. I wanted to check something. I think I didn't want like this, this bit here, because like I needed it as close to the aspect ratio as I could get it. Um, where was I? Let's pop that there. Oh, shit. Uh, where was I? What was I wanting to do? I can't remember off the top of my head. So let's put our overlay back on for a second. So yeah, we want Roll20 to fit in there. Just bearing in mind that, like, we some of it's gonna get cut off because, like, that's just that's just the way it works. And, like, knowing like that, like, I as a just player, I favor one corner. I will like do this. I'd, I'd rather cut off this side of the of the map than the other side. So what I'll do is I'll just go to like roll. To, where is it? Roll twenty jail has rocky. Bang. Put in that folder. Yeah, and I've and now this is like what the overlay would look like. This is finished, um, and this is pretty neat. I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty, 
I think, like, compared to, like, a lot of my other overlays, like, there's not a lot of triggered uh, things. I do want to, I wish I had the time to animate, like, special alerts, but alas, we, we don't sadly have those. Um, but, like, yeah, that's essentially the, um, the visual side of that stream, or on that part of the overlay. The next really interesting thing, I can't fully show, mainly because I would need the cast here for it. Uh, or at least someone from the cast, but like it's we we, we don't want to bother them. We want to let them let them do their thing. So we want to we want to get um let's say let's say this one's Kano. Or let, let's I'm just gonna write Lo-Fi Boy for like today's example. Uh, so we're gonna write Tenfi. Do this, and then we're gonna want not Discord. We want where is it? Where's crop? There you are. There you are. And so what we want to do is we want to crop all the way down here and i think this is the most no no it's okay you can look i think this is the most interesting thing about the stream i think this one technique i use because like it's not I, I learned this one i learned this like uh from hanging out with turk from the grudge catch and then when he like talks about chroma keying and just stuff like that and like it um it was a tech like from like just listening to him talk about that technique i like i learned that oh shit this is a really cool idea and like i'm it took me a while to like finally get like it to like want to do it for something but like this is like one of the uses like so i i basically have this headshot of um of lo-fi boy and like let's say i want to put him in the corner here and then i'll have to do this um i'll have to get rid of the overlays for a second to show you how this works. Basically, you want to right-click on uh, Lo-Fi Boy. And you want to go to Filters. Let's move it over here. Wait, before I do that, let's get rid of Roll20 because you can't see anything. You want to like right-click on Lo-Fi Boy. Filters. And then... And then add... Uh, what's it? It's... Chroma Key. And just that. That's it. And now he has a green screen applied to him. There's a bit of like the map that's just showing, which is easy fix. Easy fix. And that's it. That's that's how I do that. And that technique is like one that I like use in the intro as well. Uh, which is a very interesting thing that I'll, I'm happy to talk about as well when, you, when that comes up. But like, let's, let's, let's clean this up. Like this technique, it's um, it's a very new thing. But like, if I do this, for example, like if I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Like, look, it'll change. Like, oh, you won't see it change because like I'm a. Oh no, you will see it change. Uh, so you'll see it change here, and you'll see it change in the corner as well. But like, still. Let me let me join as a player. Let me oh, can I join as Lo-Fi Boy? I can't. Bastard. Yeah, I can't. Oh. Hold the phone. Oh, oh, that's why, that's why. I was really panicked just then. Oh, it's Royal 20's uh, house color. So why is that pink? Like, I like I like it because like, I want it. Like, I like I make all my things pink. Um, um, oh, shit, look, look, that's me. So why chroma key instead of uh, having an image that was a trans? So if I had an image that was a transparent background, so let's say for example, um, like this, that was a transparent background. Uh, you see, you'll see the map behind it. The chroma key is there because like it like creates a new transparency layer for that one image. Uh, if it, I don't know if that makes sense in the way I described it. But like if I like open up World Twenty for example, like you you can see like if I like when I move the map, you'll see the map move. And so that's just designed to like. But like if I use the chroma key, because like the original image behind it is green, it doesn't understand that. Um, or it it like it understands that nothing's behind that green block. Whatever's behind it doesn't exist. Doesn't matter. Delete it. Gone. 
and I and it's a, and like that's been that was like that was like I think the one thing with the new us the new overlay we have for like uh, Tass as my favorite thing. That's and like this is what I think makes the stream special. This is where I think the stream is most special. So I'm a bit dense. What's this feature for? So this feature is so this is actually um no you're not dense. It's okay. I haven't fully explained uh, this this specific portion. Um, but the idea behind this is the reason why I think like this is so special with TAS um, is we don't like when we talked earlier about like VTubing um, initially we had just pictures but now we have these headshots these emotes which are designed to just do this if we like need to like change a character's emotions we can just go to this And like this is designed so that like um, to alleviate the fact our, like our players don't have their cameras on, but you they can still emote their characters through these headshots. Is the uh, is the approach we like we've implemented these for? While like if I go over to this one for a second, uh, these um, if I put up the NPCs, the NPCs their ones are a bit different. Theirs don't need to be chroma keyed because those aren't on roll twenty. Those are on, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. So the players, uh, the reason like those ones are chroma keyed is because that's like the players' um, icon in in roll twenty. So they use those to like control their characters' emotions and how their characters displayed on stream. While me as the DM, I have these ones, the NPC corner, which is this side. And when I want to change an NPC's emotions, I have to like go through the files to find the the motion but then change it like that and that one doesn't need to be chroma key because that's on that's on dis uh, on obs not on roll 20. oh someone donated huh i'll have to check i mean i'll check that after i'll have to, I'll have to save thing um but yeah so like that's and like that's the one thing i think my i say my stream but like our stream what makes our stream really unique in regards to like VTubing D&D streams. Because I don't think any other streamer does that. And I think it's very visually distinct compared to a lot of other people. And yeah, no, exactly. it's funny, but like, it's also really cool. Because um, like, like, I can use that to push the characters. Like, like, like there's only so much you can like do through like... Um, like using roll 20 and like through like describing your actions but i think like having all these different emotions be very characterizing like you can tell like a lot about the character through <laughs> through just like the way like their um they emote i think my, my favorite one's this one the the deadpan ones are my favorite ones And you can use them to tell, just use it for like a lot of great character um, display. Hang the oh for fuck's sake! Her deadpan is missing the white border. I'll need to make a note. Let's make a note on that deadpan. Yeah, <laughs> then like that's. Uh, let me show you the folder. You guys, I don't think you guys have seen the folders for those. Um, but I don't need this anymore. Or I'll keep that there just like for like a visual example of like how that works. And I'll go and roll 20. But um, let's open like an image. Image 2. Can you guys see? I'll oh, use roll 20 stock on screen. Yeah, like see if I do this, and uh, browser. So this is like one MP. This is the NPC Katsumi. This is the NPC Hiroyu. She's missing a lot of uh, new emotes. I need to make some more for her. Kiko has a bunch. Kira, I need to do a bunch more for Kira. Yuki, the uh, the uh, the wolf uh, or the Kitsune has a few. Um, and I try to make these for every like major NPC. Or like this is a new thing though, so we're just still getting it. But like this is all low Nikos, and she. She is still like a lot of like the the player character will have more, and the idea is to have more like, built in. 
So do you need plans for audience interaction with the overall flow of the game? Are you inspiration? I do, yeah. So I have, um, I mentioned it earlier, so glare actions are my main one. So like, they're the big ones. For like, whenever they go into a dungeon, uh, there's the three types of glare actions the chat can redeem through uh, channel points, which is like the little star point at the bottom of chat, if you see. Um, they're, they're over here. Like, they'll be usually, uh, they'll have an emoji in front of them, and it'll say glare action, uh, then the name of the glare action. And so, like, um, there'll be um, inconvenience, middling, punishing. And the idea of those is to, like, interact, like, give chat a way to influence the dungeon and have the dungeon act out. So, like, chat basically plays the dungeon. I play all the NPCs and uh, the players play the players is the, is the idea I had. But there's also, like, um, I don't know if it's there. It's, um... Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Um, but there's also like um, ask ask the party a question, which is just like kind of like a role playing thing to like get um, get uh, you to ask uh, the characters a question, and they'll answer it before the um, at the beginning of the stream, the middle of the stream, or at the end of the stream. Just like kind of like be a way to build character and like learn more about the character. Um, there's the healing uh, redemption and the inspiration redemption, where you give inspiration to a player or you give a healing to a player, and like. I only turn those on for the D&D stream, so they're not, like, um, so they're not always there. So, cause, like, I have different ones for my art streams, I have different ones for my other streams. Um, uh, but I, keep, I try to keep them relevant to the stream that, like, they're related to. Um, so yeah, there, there is ways to interact with the chat. I did have, like, sub and bit interactions, but those didn't work the way I, like, they were a bit too hard to keep, keep on track, personally, I found. Um, as opposed to this is kind of, I, like, if they, I see exactly what they want redeemed and it's a lot easier for me to understand um but i'm always looking for more ideas for uh redemptions you can uh so you wait that is that's actually the next thing is and that one's um that one's an interesting one so if we go to browser source uh, let's go let's go here let's trying to think what do i have that like would have an image just open that i can just like quickly just grab i think we'll, we'll go to uh we've got a bees page because like, this is how we grab the logo so let's copy image or copy image address so games might be but the i that's uh, going to the next port of the overlay but bang but you see like how like that has like the the whole like the white and the black um, you can crop, crop out the black because I think that's just because like the the image is a bit over the size. You have an idea? Do tell, do tell. Yeah, no. Let me know. Let me know what your idea is. Like I'll I'll be happy to talk about it. Um, yeah. So like this, the next portion is going to be a very interesting. I'm gonna have to like just hide Discord for a second. No, it's good. OBS, yeah, sorry. Mainly because I don't wanna. I don't want to expose myself, just in case. I feel like I will. I feel like we can we can talk about this actually as well. So let me create this. So if I go over to Discord, upload. So I have, these are like the chat bubbles for each character. Because these are how we signify these characters are talking during uh, sessions. The idea is like, it's like mimicking like in like RPGs where like the speech bubble does like the, the dot dot dot. And that's like, that's how we know that character speaking. Each one's kind of related to each character. This one's Kano. This is Moran. This is um, um, uh, Randall. This is uh, Rocky. And this is Teo. Where are we? Oh. Sure, 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 fix. I'll open that one. That's actually a good one. I like that one. All right, fine. I was worried I was gonna get duxed. I saw the name here. I'm like, hang on, what's that? This is uh, a token Vix made for my uh, my character. He's basically a cat boy, and he's a microwave. He uses the microwave as a weapon. Yeah, no worries, Carlos. I, I shall be ready for that. Um. 
So yeah, I'll, let's let's talk about let's talk about this thing here. So let's go over to Discord for a second. Ignore my messages. Ignore the way I've laid everything out. Don't worry about it. It's none of your business. Sorry, that was mean. But basically, um, the way I plan um, this this used to be a, like the idea for this was meant to be like a Patreon. Um, was aimed to like for Patreons as well. Um, but like, I have like this like, for things like this way to do like. But now I use it as a way to like keep myself organized for tasks. And like, every character has their own private chat with like if we ever have like a private meeting and just want to discuss stuff about the character. If the characters have like uh, connections, they have their own private chat where they talk together. Um, I did have like a portion for like handouts. Um, I never kept this up to date because I'm a fucking asshole like that. Um, I never had the time to keep it up to date and I feel real bad. Uh, this is actually one I, I do always come to because I think this one's actually really useful. Uh, I use emojis in Roll20 for like referencing different like uh, different things. Um, I have a key zero means that, um, they're vulnerable, one is resistant, two is immune. And like they have just all these things to reference just the different types of conditions. Uh, and there's also this like just like for my personal Roll20 key, like free action is uh, free action. Oh, this was for the players that didn't understand. BA bonus action, RA reaction, A action. Where are we? Um, I didn't mean to open that. That was actually accidental that time. Where are we? Um, so yeah, uh, this is going to be where we talk about some things with like the more, I think this is the more technical side of the thing. This is like this, over everything we've done, I think the one part that I like was the most troublesome and annoying to like do was this. Uh, we need to open, is it in D&D &D or is it in stream? It's probably in stream. Is it? All right, so we're going to have to go to Reddit. We're gonna have to go to the uh, the VTuber subreddit because I for some reason haven't saved this one. Uh, basically, what you want to do is um, I think I click this one. No, I don't. It's this one. I don't know the difference between the two, but it's something. But basically, so it's a bunch of shit comes up, and then what you want to do is you want to cry because it's terrifying. Um, but so well, now what you want to do is you want to have like. You got to go into like, this is also how you do like uh, PNG tubing and you want to, let's say, all right, let's grab this image for example, for, for today's example. Let's go, our right, image URL, um, bang. All right, that didn't work. All right, so we're not going to do that. Oh, well, never mind. I'll embarrass myself. All right, this is a transparent layer. Like you can't see nothing, but the, that's the whole idea. Like that's like, it needs a, an image for the, for this portion. Um, so let's do this open the original so we want to copy image for this or copy image address go here not here go there and we want it talking image i think and then we want to copy the image address of the um the transparent layer as well and then we get uh, the discord user id of the person i usually try to make sure it's in the same server as the um as the uh, the person that like I'm pulling it from, and you want to be like that, you got to be in Discord uh, developer mode for that. But like you you do that. Sorry, I keep opening that. But you do that, and then you just generate CSS. Um, if you like this, there's this section here: keyframe, keyframes, keyframes speak now. Um, use that to basically just adjust. Like, is it like is that the talking bit? Is that not the talking bit? Um, do they bounce? And normally I would turn that to zero on like personal things and like on the original overlay because I wanted them to stay in a box. We took, we didn't do that. Um, I'm going to have five pixels would look like, um, we're going to have like this a hundred cause we don't need it to be dark, but then we copy that CSS and then we go to create browser source chat bubble and then we go bang. I really like this song. That's not the button. We pop, we pop that in the code section. So like not in the uh, URL source, but in the code section. And then in the URL, what you want to do is you want to go to Discord Stream Kit and install for OBS. Don't worry, you don't download anything. But it wants to crash your PC. It's the worst. Beautiful. And then you got a voice widget. And then you just check the it's the right VC you want, and then you just don't mess need to mess with anything else because the coding is what like messes with everything. 
that does nothing um if like and like for example if like if we go here let's go to the let's go to the table where's the table let's go to the table so like uh, in a normal uh, situation it put me like that for um a stream if i didn't have the code but because i do have the code it's going to embarrass me and it's going to do that oh no it didn't do anything it wasn't there it is see the little 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 little, little speech bubble so that's that's what that does that's that's how that works wait 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 poo but yeah like that's um that's that and so like when like we use it in a game it would be like we'd have uh do this we go to this is on roll 20. we go here and then it'd be like that so like that's 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 how it that's how it works yeah it, it like and it see like it all just comes together until stunning and it's not to not to toot my own horn, but I think it's one of the the coolest looking D and D streams out there. Not to not to disrespect anyone else, but yeah, no. Um, jokes aside, um, yeah, exactly. Like like that came like I did that. That was we did, we learned that technique at the for the for the project from the beginning. The old, um, like the old one, which is this one. Or oh, this is like the second version of the old one, but like this one has like that me, a uh, light up like that. But um, I think this one is a lot more visually exciting, and you can do a lot more with it because it's it's it's, it's cooler. And like it's like there's the worry. Oh, I don't know who's who's playing that character. Well, like now you see the speech bubble like that. Now you know who's talking, and it's a lot more. And you and even if you can't tell what like if the character's saying or like if that character's talking, you can at least see like they're doing something through their emotions. Yeah, where are we? So that's the overlay side of things. Wait, oh, that's not what I meant to do. We can get rid of this because we don't need this anymore. It's because I'm stupid is is the reason why that like it, it was working. I just like I accidentally muted the whole fucking thing because I'm a ding dong. Um, yeah. Let's put that there. So yeah, um, that's that. I'm trying to think what else did we want to talk about. We talked about the visual side of things, the music, Ovalin, um, chemistry one shots, uh, and yeah, that's that's all a lot of like the pre-production side, um, running the game and just prepping the session. It's I generally approach in a similar way I plan a normal session. Um, I don't really like think about it like I don't like that's I don't I think like, I'm very good at not to toot my own horn. But I think I'm very good at ending my sessions and like creating a very nice ending. Like sometimes like if I need, I know where to like make it dramatically end. I think the only time I like, I not disappointed, but like was kind of annoyed because I had too many things that were dramatic happening all at once. But I couldn't have them end that like, like that next session. It needed to happen that way in that position. So I had all the things happen at once, uh, which was, I think was a, which was a big mistake. Um, but generally, I think I'm very good at like creating that dramatic, um, that dramatic draw to like want to come back for during the next session or during like the break uh, section so when i do plan sessions i do think this would be a nice place to like put a pause or like where like they'll go for like a little break or this will be like this is where i want to end the session but planning a bunch of content to like work around 
and then prepping like the how chat will interact so like layer actions with jailhouse rocky being what it is there's going to probably be a lot of layer actions, a lot of things you can do to um is what i want i want a lot more like I, I want a lot of like different interesting interactions to like be able to be summoned and like activated and like create like a more interesting kind of like situation and like almost have it be like where like you guys influence a lot of like but depending on like what they want to plan i think like the first session is because like that's the planning session the way i'm gonna have it is be like depending on how that plan's planned that'll influence a lot of the channel point interactions you guys would make on the next session um i'm trying to think what else did we want to, or did i want to talk about it? where's the discord Cause i mentioned in the about section well no it's what um promotion promotion the sober promotion that's the <laughs> i'm in a mood um promotion so promoting a stream that's that one's tricky mainly because like it's like some people like it's, it, it can feel uncomfortable and it can feel weird to do um with like so we'll start with social media and using like twitter and instagram uh firstly twitter i think is the one like i'll want to talk about oh no shit promotion we're gonna stay for a bit because i want to talk about something else instead uh we're gonna move over to something really cool we're gonna move over to the intro which uh we have made so i'm gonna do this So yeah, that's the intro of uh, Jailhouse Rocky. I'm gonna have it loop because like, it's 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 really cool. I think properties. So like, so this is um, this is one of the things when I started streaming D and D, I wanted. Uh, you might have noticed uh, it's got a very like Japanese inspired aesthetic, and like that's also like uh, because. Um, one the world is inspired by japanese and indian mythology um and just like different parts of like um well not different parts but like just different like ideas and stuff like that and, like, so not very western or Euro uh, eurocentric and like we wanted to like go away from that in looks and al along with that was i wanted like this to be not like any other D, &D stream so i wanted to like give it like a anime intro so i did this uh we tried to make it like i wanted to make one for the first uh inch uh for the first campaign uh for the first um season because we're, we're currently still in the first season but we're halfway through the first season season but i haven't finished um finished that just yet um but this um but with jailhouse rocky i like i feel like i learned a lot of new things and like i could make it in a very small simple parts so I um I basically did like a bunch of like art and put it all together, and like the handouts for example like that's like normal throw on the top sans hands out handouts but they all come together to like to make these like this one big hole, and like I learned a lot doing this like this is also where I like this is when I had that uh, chroma key moment where I, like that idea in my head like made sense. Um, and like in that moment um. With the chroma key, I had like um. I can't remember what the word is for it. Um, in that moment, I what's the word? It I can't find it. Um, I basically did. I rolled dice on uh, roll twenty. Uh, but I made my dice green, and then I took them into my video editing software and I uh, chroma keyed the green off of them. And then I put a black like overlay over the whole thing, or like I had a black them roll on a black mat, so they chroma keyed out and had the images underneath to create the dice rolling. 
uh transitions between the art um and then with like this like the the landscape that's just like one big long drawing um of like the mountains of kasakawa um and like the character the character the key art of the characters like that's all just like i like that was the character i did um and then i had like bits where um transitions related to each character so like um i had with uh randall it's like crystals growing up because that's 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 a thematical thing that's like it, uh, with randall um with um kano there's a cannon that flies by the side moran there is a shadow that walks through past the screen and creates a transition for Tay, which is an arrow and then rocky is a slash because he's rocky and that's <laughs> that's like um that and like that's one of the that's the cool the coolest thing i think i've done for this entire stream personally um but i'm gonna like just mute myself and i'm gonna have the music come back in i feel like it's like i've got like i'm gonna pause it here um and then we're gonna move over to like one more scene um on the when we're talking about the visuals because like there's one last thing which is the the cards for like the pr back um ending and stuff like that so give me a second i'll be right back It's uh, it's pretty simple. It's literally just the character art and like their eyes, um, shining through. But also the the background of like uh the mountains and the bars, um. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back to uh, the normal thing. So the final thing um uh, to talk about then is promotion. And that's the I think that's like the hard the the one that like I think is like is not getting used to but like kind of like just like accepting that like that's like if you want to grow that's like you're gonna have to like go through a bit of self-promotion and like suck up that like ego or like not that ego the pride maybe i think you could i don't know why like like for me at least i think it's like the whole like uh like i'm i don't want to force my projects on other people but there's also understanding that like it's like this is how you grow essentially um so like what i would do is i had um so I would basically on Twitter, I think, on, well, Instagram uh, would be the first one. I basically would put up, I put um, with promoting Jailhouse Rocky, I, if you go over to Instagram, I did a few things. So if you do this, let's go over to Instagram. I'm glad it goes over to mine because I was worried. Like if it loads it onto someone else's, what if it's, what if it's, what if it's sinful? Um... With Jailhouse Rocky. Uh, the way i promote the way i promote tasks even like is similar i use the character up as like the first thing i put that up and then like uh, i mentioned like thrown like um thrown top sands and then the character and like stuff like that um with jailhouse rocky what i did is i uploaded each character so like, i had taya i didn't explain what they're for but i just said like the, these are the character I, I put all like a bit of like a little introduction to the character and just explain that like, this is like what it is and i slowly basically fed uh, more and more information regarding Jailhouse Rocky and like I think on Rocky I didn't even like need to like, I just mentioned this is the final character but like I think on Rhino's like this is the date and stuff but then I basically gave it a bit of time and then I did the little intro review which is basically the um which the intro video but I cut out bits of it so that it's a bit more um viewable for on like on phones so like it's basically the same thing um and then um 
poster, which is which is which is the poster. Um, and like this is where like I on on PC on PC you can't do it. I have a question: What is sin? It's uh, Jacob. Can can we can we get the band hammer, please? Um, sorry, uh, Vix. It's, it's just I can't. I, I, I can't can't do that. I can't 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 I can't answer that. So I'm sorry. Um <laughs> But yeah, um and on Instagram, um and like it'd be the same on Twitter, but like on Instagram what I did is like I mentioned this is the stream, this is the day. Um the different time zones that I thought were relevant, mainly because my audience is in between is on both coasts of Canada and I think there's two people in England, I'm one of them. Carlos, you may be the other one. <laughs> um, yeah, and like, and like where to go watch it. And like, uh, there's the sponsors, Dice Roll UK, Games by B, Phoenix Dice. All the main three sponsors. And presented by Kaz and McClunky Squadron. And then just like a little Throne Top Sands sticker. Just so that like people know this is for, this is a part of Throne Top Sands. Um, I don't know much I did that. I can't answer this because you know this. Um, but like with, and this was actually a recent thing that people talk about on. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, Twitter about like tagging uh, people, and like so like what I would what I did was like I know who was playing. Interesting. Um, what I noticed was, um, well, not what I noticed. What I did is they tackled the players in on this side. I think, like, yeah, I tackled all the players on this side. But on the front side, all the um, the sponsors and just like who was the present uh, presentation side of things, uh, because when promoting stuff like this, it helps uh, to get eyes on it. And I think, and like the whole um, tagging, who's relevant helps <laughs> it's pretty i think it's pretty simple but like um because like they will like signal boost and like buy signal boost and, like even if like they're not like like if it's just the players and, like they don't have a big audience that one like that one story share still gets added to the analytics and it still pushes it up in in instagram's eyes and it makes more people want to see it or makes Instagram think oh more people want to see this so i'll push it in front of more people and so like it's understandable that don't tag people that aren't a part of the thing but like with the uh, sponsor and stuff like and like they're they're there to help support the project and they are supporting the project they're like they'll help they'll use their audience as well to draw more eyes because it's kind of that's a whole thing it's a very cyclical kind of thing it's neat like that um yeah when i promoted it and stuff on instagram it's like i like i explained where like to go watch it where to what to do, go do a little brief synopsis of like oh the things happening in Katsukawa prison factory and that's it um with twitter i would upload in the same way um with Twitter, I think it's easier in regards to, like, you can bump the posts as you go and, like, keep promoting it, essentially, which is what I do. But, like, the issue with Twitter is if you put Twitch, if you put anything that is linked to another website on Twitter, it is already, it is basically given, like, a, like, minus 10 to, um, to reach or whatever you want to call it. So, it, like, is only, like, put in front of very few people. And like even then, like when you do signal boost, it's like getting it out of the way. So like, that's why you find like some people do like oh link tree or like not link tree, uh, Patreon, but they wrote Patreon in the in a with like uh, numbers or uh, it's alphanumeric. I don't know what the fuck you'd call it, but things. Um, and so like, and yeah, so I posted on like uh, Twitter, on TikTok, I posted the promotion of the uh, the uh, teaser trailer, which is just a real. Um, I wish I had like a special font for the entire project, like I. I think that would have made it look really nice, but like I don't, I'm like I'm not good at fonts. You know, I love fonts. I can't, I can't make one. Um, but like with, with that, just putting it, I basically just put it where you could uh, on Discord, sharing every single Discord I like that had the self promo space. And the cool thing with like the art, that is still promotion. So I would put, I would like it was, I could get away with putting that in art sections on Discords. Um, I feel it's very sly. It's very, it's very cheeky, 
but like it's still like hot at the end of the day and like i like it's just like a kind of one sentence saying, oh this is for a stream um and so like generally most places will be okay oh, this is cool and like that puts eyes on it and like the more likely people are going to look at it if it's in the op section than the sub promo sections on discord it's just the way it is <laughs> but like just sharing it where i could is what i did um and i think the cool thing with like when tas at least and arguably it's kind of similar with this in that like um on instagram you'll see the poster challenge this is one big like this almost like a more proactive way of marketing i think anyway at least it's like where i get like my audience or my potential audience to actively create things for the product and get all the project and get invested through that so like i don't think anyone anyone's entered on instagram yet yeah, I, I think we've had a few two entries on twitter but the this was something we did like with uh tasks at the beginning and that did really well so it was like the idea was like it only felt right to do it again but with the first one if i do this the we had a bunch of entries and like that was like that all added a lot of like eyes like they like a lot of these people that like did create posters did get invested in the in the setting and wanted to partake in stuff and like for example like sunny here for example he became an actual character in in the um in the entire like um in the campaign and he and he's a character that is like has been seen and like, is his poster has been given to players and like on the landing page you'll see like um oh goodness on the landing page you'll see you'll see other people's posters like these are all like across from twitter and instagram and like just other things like i've done to promote myself like there's my my sticker there's a new poster challenge up here when we did the sticker club um and just the whole idea of this is like but like also like we're gonna go back to visuals for a second because i think when streaming dnd like i think if you are doing so like this and you have like a landing page like this and have it presented on stream like you use it almost like the hub and like it's not just a hub for the players but the hub for the watchers so i i need to update this but like it's like this is like when this the day and time is generally pretty on point but um i need to update the the information but like it's generally used to like explain this is the current situation like that is happening in the world i did want to like have it be every time like, someone in chat made something made a funny comment i wanted to like have it scratched onto the the cork board but i never i never found the time to do it sadly um but yeah i think that's basically everything that's literally everything from a to z on me streaming DD. That's a fucking line and a half, I gotta say. Yo, Sam, I just saw you pop up. Uh, not to call you out there, buddy. But um, how does it sound? All right, give me a second. Let me, let me give you a second. That's basically A to Z on me streaming D&D. Do you like it? Is it good? Can I, should I put it on a shirt? I should put it on a shirt. Um, yeah. That's... Sorry if that clap popped in your ears. I'm very sorry. Um, but generally, that's everything. That is all the things. If you have any final parting questions, uh, now will be the time to ask. Because uh, I'm going to be looking for someone to raid and finishing up the stream. So yeah. Um, yeah. I am going to just do this. Because I don't want to get doxxed. Um, but yeah, no. Thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you for giving me your time. Oh, I don't need to do that just yet. I'll do that after. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Thank you for listening. For asking questions. For partaking. And... I hope this has been a very educating and un and a cool little like experience to like get a chance to look behind the whole thing and like see how it all comes together and like although like we didn't fully like put everything together some of the pieces just aren't there yet but a lot of it is just very, very like kind of self-explanatory oh we just add some text here just do all of this for all the characters uh, here and there um but like it's hope that's hopefully explained like basically everything on all things thanks for the company i'm glad no this is like it's you guys hanging out and just uh, being here like that's yeah that's that's what it is company and i enjoy getting to like one share this kind of stuff with people two also like, and, like even with my art streams it's the same kind of thing we're here just enjoying each other's uh, vibes <coughs> sorry i'm very sorry i shouldn't have done that i don't normally bump on stream but like i just 
I don't know what happened just then. Is what is all I'm gonna say. It just happened. Um. But yeah, no, it's um. It's been it's been such a fun time. It's been a grand time, and like you guys partaking and doing cool things, and just like yeah, it's it's always a fun time. And Carlos, thank you for hanging out. Look, I I think you've been here since the beginning, and so hopefully like this has like, been a really cool bit of insight on just like on on um not only like the the the, the partnership on um with with the stream but also like a cool little just like experience of being a part of just 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 in general the whole thing because i like i it was it's been very fun for me i've had like a blast talking about all the things um i'm exhausted i won't lie <laughs> it's been a very long thing i didn't expect the stream to go this long but like i'm glad it did at the same time i feel like there's been so much happening um so much done um and i feel like i hope if there's at least like one if you've learned one thing from the stream we we've in the six hours we've won we, we did we did we did what we, we started to do and hopefully um you'll get more people wanting to stream D, &D or at least like appreciate the effort that goes into streaming because like a lot of people don't like this isn't some to some people this is like bare bones to some people this is like a this is a whole new world uh to some other people this is rudimentary and like there's like they have so many other layers on top of it i think garage catch for example uh not one fun their stream like the way like they have like a lot of interaction through theirs is insane um from what i've seen at least like garage catch, i've seen a fair, like a lot of but not, not one fun i've seen like i think i saw one clip but just the production on that alone was enough to like be like fucking hell, it's insane and we're gonna get one last battle royale going um but yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this on the end card. Um, so I'm gonna do this. Holy shit! <laughs> oh no, Vix! Oh no! Gotta get them pokeballs. But yeah, if you've uh, enjoyed the stream and you're new here and you want to um, join the community and be a part of it and just like do all the things with us, we do a bunch of cool stuff. It's a wonderful D and D in our community. Um, we are night every week. We do uh, 5e West matches that I run every, um, or I try to run every week. We usually get three sessions a month. Um, and like, there's a bunch of like cool contests we're doing. Like uh, again, the task poster contest. Um, and like, I'm always like, I am within reach. If like you have any questions regarding streaming DD, and like, there's also a bunch of other people that are very smart and know what they're talking about are there as well, and they will answer any questions that anyone has. Um, is Shifty one of your favorite Pokemon there, uh, Vix? I think Sam, this is gonna be the this is gonna be the one where like me and you it's do a little fate moment and you 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 destroyed me. I can't believe this. Fucking rude. Getting fucking banned and unmod. Fucking the audacity. But yeah, um the um there's the Discord. There is my art. Uh, not my art, sorry. Yeah, there's my arts. You can, if you enjoy my art or want to see more of my arts, go up to my Instagram, go to my Twitter, go to my YouTube, go to my TikTok. There's all the things. I post on all of those. And like I, on Instagram, I post my all my art. If like, well, most of my art that is, um, like all my art that I post goes to Instagram first. Uh, Twitter is generally where like, I keep up to date with like projects and like I usually share a bunch of cool stuff as well. TikTok, I put up uh, speed paints and also my um, D and D tips. What did she? What did I do? Someone? Oh yeah, he uses mod powers. You're right. You're right. True. True. Should we kick his ass? Um. And on um. And on YouTube, I post the vods for tasks, but I'll also be posting this vod. Um. So if you want to learn how to stream D and D, and I also have like me just going a bunch of tangents and just go like. It's a long form thing, but it's a fun time. Oh, um, where are we? Um, what's the last thing I want to talk about? Or well, not talk about? I wanted to promote. Um, yeah, the vod for TAS. If you want to catch up to all the sessions of TAS, um, in preparation for this Sunday, uh, seventeenth of July, eight PM PST, go check out the vod for um Thorn Top Sand. See how. Rocky got to where he is and find out like what he's going to come back to by the end of like if you catch up get caught up completely up to date and also check out that level 21 shot that we ran it's it's a fun time um 
I also have merch. I did mention the Game Boy. That is a bit of merch. Um, the one you're seeing on screen, That's you can grab that from my Redbubble, amongst other things, such as my Throne of Top Sands, um, the various bits of Throne of Top Sands merch. That's that. We need to upload the Lo-Fi Boy and Rocky merch soon. Well, I say we, I need to. Uh, but we also have other stuff up there if you are interested in that as well. I do a bunch of, like, there's a lot of my other graphics design stuff is there. Um, what else? What else do I have to, what else do I promote? I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, that's everything. So I'm going to look for someone to raid. Um, Sam, you there? If you could type out the raid message, that would be really appreciated. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bump my mic. I didn't mean to. Why did I go to YouTube? I wanted, I wanted to go to Twitch. It'd be really awkward if Sam isn't there and he is and I've got to type it. We can see how long Cinder gone for. Uh, most people in the music industry consider him to be one of the more influential musicians of the past, like, of like our century. Uh, fantastic guy. Um, how long? Kaz, I'm never stopping, baby. Uh, Ka Kaz, I'm going for a little while longer. I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna play a song now, though. Um, so if you wanna pop in here, um, you're more than welcome. So we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna sing some Daniel's. Somebody, somebody's channel point for some music. Okay, wait. Let's so read Cinder. Right right now. All right, I'll, all right, we'll start the song in a minute. We'll wait till the song starts. So yeah, let's get that raid message going. All right, I'll wait till the raid starts. We'll just play. We'll just get a vibe check. Yeah, go show Cinder some love. He is a wonderful person. He's hilarious. And so and he's so fun. Where are we? Yes. Yeah, um thank you for thank you for hanging out. Uh, thank you for giving me your time. Thank you for just being cool beans. And I hope you've enjoyed this this time. Um, I will be in the Discord for a bit. Um, in a bit, maybe. I'm probably going to eat first, of course, because I'm starving. Um, but yeah, you guys have a good one. Uh, and if I don't see you on the next stream, which will be Thursday, 8 p.m. BST, hopefully I'll see you on uh, Sunday, uh, on 17th of July, 8 p.m. BST, for jail the first session of Jailhouse Rocky. But if I don't see you then, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening.